Yes, we're back with this game. I guess this is my only game now. <laughs> Which is fine with me. You know, I'm enjoying it, so why not? Uh, we're going to look at some games that are not mine so that I can learn how to position and stuff. Because like uh, I concluded in the past few streams is that um, I'm very bad and I want to be not so bad because I like playing with Mason and Jay, but I don't like to ruin their games. They don't seem to care too much, but there also are random people that probably care more. Uh, yeah, I don't want to ruin their game. So <laughs> I want to get good. It's also fun to get good anyway. At least I think so. I think it's fun to try to get better. Uh, that That's a way to make stuff never get stale. Um, so we're gonna watch some Mesa replays. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well, I have to block my screen for a bit, otherwise I'm showing Steam IDs of people that might not want that. Like, I don't think any of them would actually care, but I don't know. I didn't ask, so I'll be nice, I guess. Block the screen so that I can go to Mazer's profile. And uh, match history, and now we can unblock the screen. Hello? It's so hard to tip out of this game. You have to do it twice, it's weird. Uh, so he said start from the top left, so let's start with this one. When you play at my level, this is like a very fast game by the way. Um, at, at my um, noob elo, games usually last at least 45 minutes. <laughs> nice. Uh, so Maser is here. Oops, yeah, it's ready for download. Why? Why is that happening again? It happened yesterday too. Okay, I guess I'll have to restart the game immediately. Because restarting it worked yesterday when I couldn't download the replay. So I'm gonna have to block the screen again. Annoying. Korean internet or mega lol. I, I don't know if it's related to that. My internet is good. Or at least good enough. Like I, I almost never lag in this game. I feel like the only times I've lagged it was because of something graphics related. And again, it has been very uncommon. It only happened like twice total. In my uh, almost 100 hours. Does it work now? Yep. That's weird. Just like yesterday, it doesn't work immediately, and then you restart it, and then it works. Actually, let me get me let me get my phone as a second screen. Speaking of second screen, looks like it will arrive next week or the one after. It's kind of vague. I ordered it from Amazon US because there's something fucking crazy importing an LG gaming monitor from the US, despite the shipping costs and import costs, is cheaper than buying it here, the country where LG is from. It, it, it makes no sense. Why does LG want to screw over its own citizens with really a lot more expensive price for the same thing? And why are they sucking American dick like the Korean authorities usually do and, and give them the cheap stuff? It, it's weird. For the exact same monitor, on Amazon US, even after all the shipping and blah, blah, it's $250, which is still kind of expensive, but you know, um, I know you, you have to pay at least a little bit to have a good refresh rate and all that stuff. And I'm buying it for this game, so might as well get one that gives me um, a slight competitive edge, right? Um, but in Korea, it would cost $350, so it's just $100 more for no reason literally no reason because you know it, it's from fucking here i'm pretty sure the manufacturer is here too uh anyway let me get my phone before you watch this uh, replay
Oh, that's the wrong phone, XD. <laughs> yes, I have two phones. I have one that I used to use. And I still have to keep it because I have a Korean banking app that you can't move over to a new phone because of security reasons. Uh, this is the correct phone. Search up my own fucking channel. Very embarrassing. Also, I have to turn the VPN off, I guess. Man, so much setup for so little game. Okay, now we can actually watch the replay. Mason, do we have any clue why that is? Why the fuck would a Korean brand be cheaper in the US than in Korea? It makes no sense. I, I have had a company of my own for about two years. Importing is fucking expensive. Just logistics are fucking expensive. I can imagine it's especially true for something fragile and big like a monitor. Because the things I was transporting were not fragile at all and very small. And it was still very expensive. It was also not that heavy the stuff I was importing. There was another thing. What are those gamer textures? What do you mean? Let me pause. Gamer textures. I don't know what it means. Ugh, speaking of gamer textures, look at this spaghetti over here. Black spaghetti. Also, stop yapping and watch the game properly. Okay, I guess I will never get an answer to my question then. So, so far you moved half up. Actually, let's go a little bit back because I was indeed not watching properly. So you fall off, you have your creeps moving as many of these frontwards, as you place the turret. Oh, I have to sneeze once I... <laughs> I had to pause for that. You're not even watching the right character. What? Someone stole your character again? I, I hate how they don't put it in the correct character in the replays. Also, if you spectate from someone's profile, you don't actually start watching them, that's just weird. I know it's a game in alpha, but that seems like a no-brainer that if you spectate someone, you actually spectate that person, right? With the replay, it makes more sense, but when spectating... Okay, so let's go a tiny bit more back in case you do something because you're already off the line over there. He's, he's just hovering. He's fake grabbing the zip line. Okay, the Creeps are already in front of Maser. He stays Time behind bombs. him a bit. Time bomb. Okay, so you are in a fairly aggressive position. Now even more. Okay, so you're clearing creeps that are fairly front so that you can push, right? So that he now has all these things in front of his tower. And I guess that's why you could deny. Because you're close, so he can't really go in and melee it. So yeah, this is how you pressure, I guess. I don't understand, though, why you took no creep damage. I guess because your creeps were also there, but... I, I I'll pause it because... Okay, you took no creep damage, even though you were going forward, because your creeps were also there. But then... After you killed them... Yeah. Let me... Why was my screen doing that? Frogger context tracking. <laughs> I'm happy you didn't forget about that emote, Maser. It's very appropriate. I just want to try to imprint this in my brain. So I'll probably pause a few times and frustrate you, as usual. I mean, that that's my job on Twitch. Twitch is not my job, you know, but still. As a figure of speech, that's my job on Twitch. It's to trigger you. I think just like how you like to suffer in your games, you also like to suffer in the content you watch. I think that's a pretty proper analysis. So you, you have insane pressure from him from the start. I don't really understand why though. Like, yes, I saw you were moving forward. But if I do that, I tank creeps is the thing. That, that's what I don't really get. And I also don't understand your opponent was also killing your creeps, but he did not go forward against you. Maybe that was just his decision, I don't know. 
Why is my phone doing that? It's, it's... Normally, if I have Twitch open, my... It just takes... Oh, it's because it's not playing. Okay, never mind. I fixed it. XD. The push of my skills, I always have creep advantage. Ah, so that time bomb that you put immediately is actually why this is happening, right? Mm, I guess... Abrams can't really do that. Like, I, I could unlock the book first if I really wanted to. But that doesn't really help, because this, the minions are too spread out. And it's only in front of me. So it, it's not really good enough AoE. But still good to know if I play characters that can do that. Like uh, Kelvin and, and Paradox and Geist and... I guess you're waiting for him to shoot that, right? Yeah, exactly. You're waiting for the deny. That's something I've also been trying to do uh, lately. The problem is that I usually uh, have shit aim, so... I didn't know Paradox was British. But... Okay, here I have a question. Like here, you are hiding behind the gravestone, shooting a single creep from a very long distance. If I do that, you get mad. Well, why is it okay in this situation? You, did, you, you literally did what, what I am not supposed to do. So in what kind of situation do you do that? You get pushed with punches and shit. Yeah, I guess because if you shoot from very far, you can't really push because it takes so fucking long to kill stuff. And if they then melee, they have more DPS. So your creeps die faster, so they push, right? That, that's logical. But before I press play, I want to know why, why can you shoot from very far behind the gravestone here? I was almost dead, and this way I only need to pay attention to left side creeps. You have 590 health. Let me rewind a bit. I don't know if that's a replay bug or something. What? Okay, I see a lot of replay bugs here. Let's go back a bit further, I guess. So here you were pushing, denying some orbs. And then because you were running out of creeps, I guess, or, or you were dying, but I don't see it in the replay, you went back. What you looking for? Oh, someone's looking to make a stick. You can't read. Oh yeah, indeed. It was almost that, not I was almost that. You see these small screens. That it's probably not a coincidence that I hate phones. I hate phones for many reasons, and one of them is that you can't fucking type and you can't fucking see anything. Seeing is actually not that much of a problem as typing, because I don't even have fat fingers, not at all. But you always make fucking typos on it. Some people have like really big phones that would help, but I don't have that. I never paid for a fucking phone, I always get it for free. I have my methods, no, I'm not a criminal. Uh, but yeah, I don't like spending money on phones, it's such a waste for something that I don't even really want. I got this phone, you know what, what, I, what my strategy is? I just don't buy a new phone, and then at some time it starts to get ridiculous, and then people are like, what the fuck is that phone? And then people just randomly give you their old phone. But that's not that old. You know, like the phone they had two years ago when it was brand new. So it's not actually that old. That's exactly what my phone is now and what my previous phone was too. They were just gifts from people that felt bad for me. It's pretty OP strategy, free phone. Anyway, uh, let's play. You know, I, I might be bad at this game, but I'm pretty good at the live game, XD. I'm very... Uh, very good at capitalism simulator. Or this is more like communism simulator, what I just said, but whatever. Pulse grenade out. Yeah, it's need almost dead. I can see that. And this means you can push a bit, right? Around the corner, very nice. Bob. These are dangerous times. Tell you what, I'll throw in a free keychain. 
let me actually check what you're buying. It's interesting as well. So first you bought a headshot booster, I guess, so that you can poke him better, right? Yeah, it's just to, to poke him better and pressure him more. And then this one helps you with denying, right? Because your bullets travel faster. And it's also good for poking as well, extra weapon damage quite a bit. So I, I think that's why you bought these things. I don't know if your gun has like a slow travel time, the bullets. But I guess, otherwise you wouldn't buy this, I suppose. I guess you can buy this for any character. When, when I look at builds, some characters just don't use this, which I assume are characters with high bullet velocity. But even if you do have fast bullets already, it will still help with denying, right? It's still good, no? Uh, this, is, this is just from Curiosity Maze. Can't you just kind of buy this for any character if you want to? Why would you buy this on Bebop? Good point. Because that he has like no velocity at all. He's just there immediately. It's a fucking laser beam. Hello, Headmind. I'm trying to learn from Mace's uh, replay over here. That's why uh, the pulse emote has been used for the first time in ages. Because uh, I didn't really do uh, replay analysis in uh, Duelist Origins. You're getting fucked, but at least you push a bit, right? Because you melee the creep. And you stay near your creep. You left click your face. Very skillful. That's something I forget to do a lot. Wrecked. I also find it very hard to hit orbs right above my head. It's kind of hard to move the camera nice. You keep left clicking their face. I like it. The soul difference is smaller than I expected. It looked like you were wrecking him, but it's actually kind of close. But I guess he is a lot lower than you. That's nice. And you're pushing. You're trying to poke him, yes. I'm surprised you didn't poke the tower a bit too. Why, why were you walking backwards here, Mazer? Was that because you felt like you needed more creeps to stay? I know your last creep was almost dying, so you couldn't stay near the tower for a long time. But I felt like you could have poked it a little bit while walking backwards, maybe. I guess shop after finishing one off. No. Finishing two off. Oh, you can jump over that. How, how did you do that? How can you jump over the barrels like that? Is it just a regular jump? Because it looked like it was more than a regular jump. Because it was... Was that like a dash jump? My aim looks very funny on replay. Yeah, a lot of things are a bit junky, funky in the replay, right? Dash jump, okay. I, I should practice that as well, like, like in that exact position, because that's really nice to go over the barrels immediately. That, that saves like a second or something. And that kind of stuff adds up. Now we're getting technical, I like it. I, I need to have... I also really need to train while I'm not in the game. Because when people tell me stuff in the game, I'm only like half listening. And even if I do really hear it, I forget it immediately because there's just too much distraction. Like if this was Duelist, it would not be that big of a deal because in Duelist, most of the time, nothing is going on. Like on the opponent's turn, you don't necessarily have to pay attention. Sure, you get more thinking time if you do, but you know, you don't have to. You can just, nothing really happens. Um, but in this game, there's shit happening all the fucking time and you can never stand still and there are a million things you need to track. Like you have to track how much souls do they have so that you know if they have their ult yet. You have to maybe check what upgrades they're buying. Um, you have to check how many souls you have so that you shop on time. You have to check your health, their health. You have to check all the creeps, what health they have. You have to check your positioning if you're getting killed by creeps, if you have creeps left. Uh, you have to check if you're getting ganked on the map. Um, you know, that, that's just a few things. And then when you buy stuff, you also have to think about what's the correct thing to buy now. You have to spam your abilities when they're not, uh, you know, when the cooldown is over, you have to use them probably. Uh, depends, but 
You have to watch your bullets and reload on tactical times. You have to aim correctly. No, holy shit. You, you know what I mean? I, so many things are going on. And you kind of have to look at the time as well so that you know when the camps spawn and one when the creeps give uh, all their souls inside the orb. So you really have to deny everything because otherwise they get full value. Um, no, I mean, the replay shows what happens in reality. Oh. I mean, you did tell me you have shit aim, but it's probably a lot better than mine. In New York game on 80 ping, it looked different. Looks like you were playing with Jay. You know what you mean? It's not turn-based? Yeah, exactly. But, but you know, even if it wasn't turn-based, you could also play a real-time game that is slow, right? But this game is not slow. Or that's just not complex. You can make a real-time game that's not complex, but yeah, there's a lot of shit going on. This is a reminder that this game is less complex than Dota. Yeah, I'm very scared of that game, honestly. It sounds very intimidating. I can imagine it would be fun to play a game that complex, but I need to learn multitasking <laughs> before I try, even on noob level. Also, when you look at main map, the orient yourself, like you imagine what you can't see on the screen and you sort of see the route. Also, when you look at the minimap, the orient yourself, like you imagine what you can't see on the screen and sort of see it. I don't know what that means, sorry. And might I, I ordered a bigger screen from uh, Amazon because my screen is, oh yeah, maybe that's good information for you, Maser. My screen is 17 inch and what I'm gonna get is a 27 inch. So that's like what, a 60% increase or something in size. So that might help. What that means is you see the map and interpret the route that you can't see from your current point of view. I know I'm supposed to anticipate what opponents are doing if I don't see them. Is that what you mean? I'm sorry, but I'm just retarded in this game. So even though you rephrased it for me, I don't really know what you mean. Blah, 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 blah. Like you, how do you dodge that? Did you dodge that by the sound? You heard some bubble and then you just know you have to jump backwards. I mean, dash backwards. Nice. Oh, actually not that nice. What a beautiful green fist. Very disgusting. Go where I want them to go. You have way more souls than him, though. You already have your ult. Unfortunately, your ult is not that useful uh, in a 1v1. I guess if he gets really close, you can swap him into the tower. But he's not getting that close, so... Nice. Nice. Just harassing him. I've noticed that you go face before you go tower. That also happened earlier in the game. I guess it's because you creeps do damage to the tower anyway, or the tower is just not as important as I think, maybe? Because I felt like the tower was important. Wow, he fisted you from the wall. Very impressive. I wonder how you cast that green punch. Because the way it's cast is, is a bit weird. Next. I should try that in samples. It could help me predict his punches as well. Okay, I guess you will soon start tanking creeps if you stay, because your creeps are dying. So that's why you walk backwards, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's your new set of creeps, and you can also buy something. Let me check what you buy, actually. Previously, you bought Mystic Shot, Weapon Damage, and Spirit Power. The spirit power is something I don't really get yet, to be honest. I know it gives some scaling with certain characters, but it's it's uh, pretty vague compared to vitality and weapon uh, stuff, like bullet damage. Uh, your next bullet deals bonus spirit damage, 27 spirit damage. Yeah, like I don't really know what it means, unless it just means you actually do 72 damage. That sounds very strong. 72 damage in the early game is insane. 
But I, yeah, I don't really know how spirit damage works, to be honest. Um, enduring spirit gives you spirit lifesteal and bonus half more spirit power. So that's a way to make yourself more bulky, but also gain more spirit power, plus eight without even buying spirit items. So I guess your character skills off spirit power, that's why you're doing this. But again, I don't really know how that works. And this does spirit shield health, weapon damage, passive is ability to deal bonus spirit damage if the deal, eight damage or more in a single hit. I guess certain characters do 80 spirit damage. This is only 51 per pulse, so that doesn't work with that. Doesn't work. It works with your ult. Um, and maybe you can buff your pulse grenade to do 80 per pulse. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I, like I said, I don't really understand the mystic stuff. It works for my carbine. Oh, okay. Let me check which one is that kinetic carbine. Uh, start charging your weapon. Yeah, I never really read the full text. Let's do that quickly. Charging weapon can increase movement speed once fully charged. Your next shot will release the energy, dealing spirit damage and applying at times to the enemy hit. The damage dealt is an amplification of your current weapon damage. So it does spirit damage, but it actually scales with your weapon damage. So then it makes perfect sense to buy something that increases weapon damage and spirit power at the same time. The damage dealt is amplified, so that you can slow time on yourself by pressing one well, empower shield that's available. That's really cool, but I don't know why you would do that. So that means you can't scope with kinetic carbine. Is that true? Because that's the scope button, the, the right mouse click. But yeah, I'm not sure why you would do that on yourself. That's cool though, that you can. I like those kind of, you know, like in Duelist that you can not just heal stone opponent minions, but also your own. It gives just more play potential. So 20% bonus speed for movements, one time, one second time stop, extra damage amp from spirit power, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't really understand the rest, to be honest. <laughs> It's my English, I think. I like his pokes. It's very intentional. Yes. Macer apparently thinks about his game. That's what he accuses me of not doing, which is true. I don't think that much during the game. I, it's not like I don't want to. It's just, um, like I said, there are so many things going on at the same time. I'm not really capable of that yet, of factoring in a million things at the same time. The spirit is your ability damage. Our own pulse. <laughs> so yeah, poking. Oh, I love using this when they try to run away. Now you're walking backwards because the creeps are coming in, so you would have to tank them if you didn't go backwards, because your creeps are not around. I don't know if, if that's you, Macer, because, you know, you actually move, unlike me, or if it's your character, but it looks like you're always kind of dancing. It's it's nice to watch for some reason. Like, you, your character is just gliding across the ground all the time. Maybe it's both the animations and, and your movements, I don't know. You get wrecked by your tower. Good luck not getting shot. The pulse grenade seems really nice for the lading phase. It's pretty good uh, area denial slash damage slash um, kill creeps. Okay, you're waiting to orange. Oh, he punched it because he's a good player, unfortunate. So you were kind of AFKing there, like you were not really doing anything. But I guess you couldn't do anything because you had no creeps. So you couldn't go forward. And I think that's why you were trying to poke him slash deny his stuff, because that was the only stuff you could do, right? And like you always say, you can just let his creeps come over to the tower. If you have to, I guess. Cube saved. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so funny that you move the cube where you punch. Nice ult. That character is so disgusting, but also really funny. I understand why Abra played that. It's yeah, it's a funny character. And apparently, it's also a pretty good character. It looked like he was not dying to the swap, but then he did. I guess the swap also has time delay. Actually, I want to quickly replay that, how you made that kill. That's good to see. Oh, I guess he already died here. What? What? Huh? What's happening? Okay, I, I think I got wrecked. Is this where it happens? No, this was much earlier. I remember this. I think we have to go all the way here or something. I don't think I'll go backwards again. That doesn't seem to be uh, very stable yet. And this is pretty annoying. Well, I guess I can learn something again. I'll just rewatch it. My ability shows skills on the timeline. Oh, really? I know it says skills in death here, but I don't see a strike for it. You mean it's all the way over here? We're, we were not that far in. I guess it's happening right now or something. I don't know. I'll just watch this for a bit. It's not like re repeating the same stuff is bad for learning, you know? So, I'll accept it. Okay, I remember this. I guess the kill really is all the way over here. Because your games are only half an hour. Yes, only. So, let's go here. Only fan here, as usual. Good luck not getting shot. Yeah, I really saw them that you pulled that stuff. Bomb ready. There's a disgusting sound behind you, but nothing happened. Good luck not getting shot. And then you bought extra health, okay. It's nice that it's an item that also gives extra weapon damage, even though it's a vitality item. So it's like aggressive and defensive at the same time. I know 5% is not much, but it's something. It can make the difference. But the extra health does, obviously. It's actually quite a lot of health for the early game. 160 health is like tank an ability or something. Oh yeah, here he escapes with two different cube mechanics. And this is where you take a big uh, soul lead. I guess because you could kill a lot of creeps without getting a knight over there. And in general your pressure. And here you time stop him and swap. And then he dies after the swap kind of... Kind of with a delay, but I guess it's just how the ability Get works. Position can make the difference. Bombs ready. And now you're completely fucking the tower. And you have time to buy stuff and heal when the new wave arrives soon. Actually, I don't see new safe, wave okay. coming yet. Because I think you can see that on the map now. Here we go. Are you ganking now? I guess because your lane was kind of one, right? Amber Guardian. What the fuck is an Amber Guardian? You saw that? What the fuck is an Amber Guardian? Also made some good news, I, I uh, reassigned the key for pinging the map so that it doesn't happen accidentally anymore. 
Now my pinging in the map and self cast have put it on different buttons. I'm using an MMO mouse anyway, so I'm still not using a lot of buttons. I have more buttons than I need. Okay, he's back in his own lane and he's killing the Guardian slash creeps. So now the laning phase is over. Everything is immediately confusing for me. Like, I, I really don't know what to do after the lane phase. Not that I'm good at the lane phase, but at least I know what to do. I'm just not good at executing it, but... But after the lane game, it's just like, what, what am I supposed to do? So that's uh, good to watch. And I guess uh, the answer here was ganking. Boom, boom, boom. I'm surprised he didn't go on you. He had way more health than you. Is that Yamato really behind? Let me check. Uh, a little bit, but not much. Maybe Yamato is really weak in the early game. I don't know. But yeah, a bit surprised. Uh, maybe you had a lot of allies around you on the map. So yeah, the second thing you did after finishing your lane was finish another lane that was not finished yet. And then you start doing camps because there is no creep wave here, right? And then you're going to do the slot machines here, I guess, yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't think about this, that you can punch and shoot that in between in this camp, because I, I have done this camp before. Oh, you don't kill the other slot machine, I guess it means you were actually looking at the map, and so you were needed. I'm kind of surprised you're not dying here on 300 health, when there's a big clusterfuck going around. That didn't seem to affect the blob, the time stop. Okay, back to heal quickly. And buy as well, I suppose. Let me check what you buy. Because I want to learn the items. And think for myself while you buy it. Bullet life, steel, bonus health. Mm. Don't see a specific reason for that. Except, you know, it obviously makes you more bulky. I, I do see that again. You're buying a vitality item that actually does help with DPS a bit. Because it gives bullet life steel. Well, that, that doesn't give DPS, I guess, but, you know, it, it's not just pure health, is what I'm trying to say. It, it helps with 1v1ing more than just health, just like with uh, this stuff helps you to move faster, to gank faster. It also gets some weapon damage, and this thing gives you spirit power, and this gives you fire rate and more stamina. That's also... Wait, what? Am I, why am I the grandma now? Why, why, why did I become... The grandma. I was like, you didn't buy that. You bought other stuff. I suddenly realized that. Why did it switch? I didn't click here. I'm stealing the cam. So this your attack by Yamato. When you stopped the the machine. Okay. You see, I, I just don't see shit happening as always. You have a different hero like it. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck that happened. Maybe someone can make a replay analysis of me doing this replay analysis and tell me my mistakes. Like, how did it randomly swap to Grandma, to Great Talon? That uh, will be interesting to find out in the replay replay analysis. The analysis analysis. The analysis analysis in the replay replay. I'm having a good time uh, with words over here. I like words. Why is that guy behind you not doing anything? There was an enemy behind you, he didn't seem to do anything. I know that here you were using not charged melee, but the melee that's almost impossible to parry. The short melee attack, which is also more DPS anyway. 
that's something I should uh, remember during the games because I do a lot of charged uh, punches. And I get parried when I play with Macer and Jay. Not on noob level, but... That swap was really nice because that meant he was forced to stay in 7th old for longer than he wanted. I guess you're trying to escape here. Slash still be useful. Oh, nice aim. It was a Verrocka moment. And he died. So yeah, big Cluster going on here. You press left mouse button. Hmm. You see, I, I have... That's why I reassigned the map ping button, because my fingers just sometimes randomly press the other buttons, apparently. During the game, I never have that. I never accidentally scope, but... Okay. I actually wish I accidentally scoped sometimes, because then... Um, I would maybe hit more shots. <laughs> Resident sleeper. Okay, we back. You know, it would be very brain dead, but it would kind of make sense if your character had an ability to reduce Respawn timer, because you know you're literally time boy, time girl, whatever. This is one of the characters that I actually really like the art of, like this and um, and seven. I think they look really nice, because honestly, I'm not a big fan of the art style in this game. But those two characters, I, I do actually like, and I think the blob is funny. It's a funny design, so not bad. I guess there was a dash jump, but I feel like there was a bit more to it. You kind of did a erected bunny hop, bunny hop. I see someone appreciates the spirit urn is waiting to be claimed. Gathering time. Time Just camping. The time bomb is really nice for laning and camps, it seems. It's a bit too easy to avoid in PvP after lanes, I think, but still is good utility for everything else. You can probably punch shoot that thing too, right? Yeah. No, you cannot, apparently. You can, okay. Just need a specific angle. Yeah, that's also good to see uh, how to do the camps efficiently. It does depend on the character, of course, how you do that, but still gives some ideas. Nice. I can't really see in the replays how you uh, how you apply the swap, how you apply your ultimate. If it's like, uh, if it works like a bullet or it's just a target, so you just literally click the character and you don't have to aim. I can't see that uh, in the replay, but if your character wasn't so hard to play, I would definitely like to try it too. Because like I said, I, I like the art and it looks really fun to play. But I I'm just not ready for characters that require skill. I really struggle with uh, Beatard, minion, uh, hero, with uh, Abrams. Stuck in the ice zone. Man, in this kind of fight, I'm just completely lost. It's just too much shit. Too many colors. Kinetic dash. Oh, let me actually check what you bought when I was accidentally looking at Great Talon. Uh, your next dash jump. So you actually do have to dash 
first and then jump. You can't jump dash, right? Or, or does it also work for jump dash? I wouldn't think so, but your next dash jump does not cost an extra stamina. Oh, that's OP. That's like one free stamina. Okay. And you gain fire rate and bonus ammo until your next reload. Lasts up to eight seconds. So I guess for eight seconds, you have 25% fire rate, which is probably pretty significant DPS increase. And five extra bullets. So I guess if you shoot five bullets within the eight seconds, then you get five bullets for free. Right? But if you don't shoot those five bullets within eight seconds, then they just disappear because it's temporary. That's how I'm reading this. And you also get bonus health and regen. This kinetic dash ability is basically... It's, it's kind of weird it's in the weapon category. I know it gives you fire rate and ammo, but the 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 text lines both give health. And the other thing gives stamina, which is also not really weapon damage. But that's that's a very good item, I guess. I, I think if I buy this, I'll forget to dash jump because I don't do that that often. It's not that hard to do. I can do it, but I'm just not very moving. <laughs> I'm just not very mobile. I just AFK. Uh, but yeah, that's a matter of time, maybe. And then what else did you buy? This we already read. We've already seen that. New experience, extra health, enduring speed. Okay, you upgraded the sprinting boots. Makes sense. I also really like this item. Like, I, I don't, honestly, I don't follow the guide that often. I buy this earlier than the guide tells me to usually. Because doing earn runs without this is really fucking slow, among other things. Or just in general. Abrams is so fucking slow without that stuff. Um, fortitude, a lot of bonus health. After not taking damage, you'll have a second gain. 4% max health regen. Another passive, when your boss at 5% health, you have bonus weapon damage and movement speed. I have this in my build too, but it's very low on the list. So I don't get to buy it often. So yeah, this just makes you a little more tanky. And movement speed. I guess this is the kind of item you buy if you're not in the front line all the time. But you do some camps and you move into fights to do a swap, right? That's like your initiator. So you're not actually in the front line that often. So you're usually above 75% health. And then you also go out quickly after the swap. And then it's nice that you go back to full health quickly so that you can go back in the fight quickly again if you um, get another swap. That's, I think, why you bought it. Oh, and you bought, fuck. And you bought something else. Slowing Hex, deals spirit damage and slows target movement and dashes. Again, I don't really know how spirit damage works exactly. Oh, it's an active. Okay, it's an actual item, not, you know, not a retard item. It slows target movements, movement and dashes. Also silences the movement-based items and abilities. That sounds very good for such a cheap item. It's not affect targets, stamina usage. Uh, and you get sprint speed and spirit power. This does seem like a complete tech option because it doesn't help your own character that much. Just a little bit of spirit power and sprint speed. And sprint speed means you're out of combat. So it doesn't even make you move faster in combat. So this, is a, this seems like a complete uh, tech item. But it does sound pretty strong against very mobile boys. So what is the only opponent's team that you need that for? I guess Infernus and Lash are both... Aren't they both very mobile characters? I think so. I think Mazer probably bought it for these two. And then the other thing was Mr. Burst, we already read that. I buy 42 to early when there are fights 24-7. Makes sense because your character is not that bulky, right? Get wolf. Nice aim. Kinetic dash. Oh. 
I don't have the luxury of mercy today. Here we go. <laughs> nice. They're done. I love that that time stop on the shot. Like it looked like she was playing like a Faroka, but she actually wasn't. Just she had to AFK. No option. The time stop is not an actual stun, right? They, they can still shoot and press abilities or no? Or is it actually just a stun? I guess it's different from a stun in that they can't do anything, but if they already press something, it doesn't stop that, right? Like if they were already ulting, they're still ulting, they just can't press ult during the time stop. Is that correct? That's what seems logical to me, if, but yeah, I don't know. More farming with a nice angle for bullet punch, which is something that is actually really easy to do. I've noticed with Abrams to punch, shoot, punch, shoot with uh, the mid bots. It's something even I can do. That's nice with the kinetic dash that you had enough stamina to make another jump after that. Because the, the dash jump was only one and then you could jump again. Or another dash, I don't know. I don't know if you can dash, jump, dash. Or if you can only do... Yeah, I don't really know how you chain those things. And if you can in theory do it infinitely or not. You know, if you have... If you buy only stamina items. I don't know if you can do six chains, like six jump dashes or something. I I don't know the mechanics behind that. Slid down the stairs, that's also something well I do do that, but not always. Spirit urn is waiting to be played. Something I should always do. Wanna buy a mug to go with your gun? I also have to learn the jungle because I always find it very hard to find those secret shops. Ah, that's nice, like, when someone is trying to run away, then the swap means, yeah, that you're in front of them, kind of. That's a cool use of that ability as well. I guess you threw that time bomb to deny their farm. And also gave you zoning, of course, so that they couldn't get close to you without taking damage anyway. Or using a movement ability. So you shoulder and then run away. Let me check. The yeah, it's too late to check the map, but I am guessing you couldn't really finish her. There were too many enemies there. So you just poked her. The gameplay is really fast compared to what I'm used to. This is probably why I do so bad when I play with Maester. Everything just goes too fast for me. Get right. I actually put Calvin as my number two hero, Macer. Because I felt like uh, Moan Trill was pretty fun. I still have it as my number three, but... I kind of like the idea of, uh, of a support character that can also do shit on his own. Which Calvin is, it seems. I kind of want to learn him. Also because he seems pretty strong, if not very strong. And I definitely need some OP shit to have a chance, I think. Also, I'm noticing something with your gameplay is that, yeah, you, you play your abilities much more often. Because something I do a lot is uh, I try to make sure I have my abilities up in case I get into a fight, but you just uh, play them if there is a good situation for them, and obviously if they're not on fucking cooldown for half. That's what I like. Good job. The sewers were dancing we for some reason, and another farm. Yeah, I really don't farm that much if I look at this. I know sometimes I don't even farm at all. 
But also in games where I do not forget to farm, I don't do it as much. But actually, if you play my level and I would farm here, then the people fighting on the other side of the map would get mad. So, I don't know. I hate team games, is, is the thing. You bought Headhunter, let me check why. Bullet velocity, weapon damage, bullet shield health, passive. Landing a headshot deals bonus damage, heals your four portion of max HP briefly against your bonus move speed. Like, this is just simply a good item if you have good aim, right? That's it. So, not the item for me. For how long? It's three seconds move speed duration. About six, per six second cooldown for the passive to be able to trigger again. 8% lifesteal, heal per headshot. And a lot of bonus headshot damage. And yeah, faster bullets. More weapon damage, more bullshit health. Okay. Not sure exactly, you know, why in this situation on this character you buy it, but it just seems like a generic good item if you have good aim. Good luck. I'm and I guess your 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 gun has low velocity because you also bought the velocity item early game. Oh yeah, it's a component of Headhunter, the velocity uh, magazine or something. Yeah, I was about to say, I was surprised you weren't dead. Oh, actually, we can play now because you're dead. Um, I just stopped time. All the damage bonuses work with Carbine. So, you mean all these items you bought, right? They all work with Carbine. What? Was, who the fuck said that robot voice? Which character is that? I guess Bebop. Okay, we spawn time over. Man, you guys are so ahead. It's insane. Going there because Yamato was pushing way too hard, right? I didn't even see how she died there, but the spirit urn is waiting to be claimed. You didn't kill that many waves. I guess your teammates were doing that already, so you were farming instead. And you were in some fights, obviously. And there goes an objective. Nice. The kinetic carbine also seems pretty five head because, you know, it's literally hard to time. Because you have to anticipate when you need the fully charged shot. And then you have to also calculate the charge time correctly. Headed to yellow. So you really need to anticipate what's gonna happen to time it correctly. Of course, if you're farming, it's not that difficult, but when we are anticipating fights. Oh boy. Punch, shoot, farming. Oh, it's right fucking there. 
Nice. You're getting aped. Ow, the wall. Did you just jump over the wall? McGinnis wall? I didn't even know that was possible. I guess because you had some momentum in the air. And she placed it kind of low. You must try the open space. Yeah, the opponents are kind of getting back. Especially because they have 6v2 right now. I guess it is uh, open space because um, these two characters are pretty good when it's not open space, right? I'm not sure about Blob, but I know Abrams is. <sighs> Abrams is kind of poor, though. Like he's one of the two poorest players. So like I said, this gameplay is a lot faster than I'm used to. And a very obvious reason why is that you're actually doing shit all the time. Like I, I very often just don't really know what to do, especially if we're winning. Like if all the lanes are already taken and high up Let's go, man. and there's no fight going on, then I guess I should just farm jungle, right? Because yeah, I, I basically just see you uh, participate in fights, clear jungle, and rarely a creep wave. Let's go mid. Do it with style. Flash is missing. And now we're going mid. Amber Shrine. I don't know why, why it says Amber. I saw that before with the Guardian, it was a fucking Amber Guardian. So who punched it? Nobody? Okay, you he left it with someone else. So I'm curious, did you communicate with your team who's gonna punch it or something and that's why you could just leave? Because I can imagine that it's a good idea for most of the team to leave. Because when you kill mid boss, the enemy team knows that your entire team is there, so they'll go there to kill you, maybe. So I, I can see why walking out of there is good, but... I don't know if you, when you play with random people, if you can communicate that, like, oh, you will punch it and the other five will go out. Also seems a bit risky against steals, if only one person stays. Because then maybe they cast a stun and then punch the Riju. So yeah, I don't really know how it works, but whatever. More farming. The best of society has your number. I went out looking for Lash. Okay. I didn't. Check the map honestly, so even in replays, well, maybe especially in replays. Ape, ape, ape. He didn't do that much damage, but considering how behind he is, he kind of did. Looks like Abram's players are uh, a lot like me. I've literally never seen that item before because I'm always him.
Wait, wait, Nacer, did I just see that correctly? You can reload your regular gun and charge kinetic carbine at the same time? That's really nice. And then you can do two things at the same time that you kind of don't want to do. Thanks for the win. <laughs> you like that phrase, don't you? Good game. Oh, I feel like I can learn a lot from this. I think I will watch another game. Especially laning phase is useful. I'm just going there. Error, replay not ready for download. Holy shit, I have to restart the entire game again. Just to find one little replay. But I want to do at least one more. Uh, actually, let me check Discord. I see some kind of thing there. Looks like maybe having fun, but know how the matchmaking works. There are way more rages right now than before. I've noticed that too yesterday. I think Abra is not here, but I'm kind of responding to him. Become more used to the game now, and almost people feel like they understand the team game, they get mad at it because they feel like they know what should happen with their team. Makes sense. I've noticed that too, that people are getting more and more mad. <laughs> Be right back, store, okay. I'll just start with your replay. It's probably gonna take an hour for that shit to go on with anyway. And after watching this replay, I will uh, train. You know, play against other noobs or sandbox or both. Probably nobody's hearing this, but. Macer, stream, yes. I think I'll get some water, I'm thirsty. Error replay not ready. Yes, we're done. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, I guess I'll try one more time. Nobody's watching anyway, so no need for content. XD. time if the replay doesn't work again I'll just stop uh,
Okay, it's working now, it's decompressing. Every time I've seen that, it just works. Makes sure I actually didn't have that many souls that game at all. Like, he had, he had the lowest in his team. Oh, this is a different game. I was like, huh? I, I thought he was doing very well last game. But yeah, this is a different game, never mind. So yeah, in this game, he doesn't do that well. Fucking 11 deaths. And only two kills. Yeah, he, he was actually the Froka of his team. That's some scary shit. That Mazer can also be the Froka of his team. He's not the Froka of the entire map because of Pocket, but... Yeah, yeah he, he almost had the lowest souls and kill count of anyone. I know the KD stuff doesn't matter that much in this game, but... The souls do. So we're gonna watch some uh, high elo stuff, I guess. Very scary. That's not Mazer. But that means we're gonna watch uh, some really strong opponents, right? So maybe we can learn some stuff from that as well. From watching Colts play. Pushing the lane by going in and melleying. This is solo against people, right? Yeah, solo against people. I'm personally a bit scared to get close to the tower against people because he tends to hook me into the tower and do a shit ton of damage. Because the tower then usually melees as well when he hooks you into the tower. Maybe you can parry that too. I'm not sure if you can, if you get hooked. Got to make every second count. Dash jump, I suppose. Welcome. You want to buy a mug to go with your gun? And he pulled what? Okay, more poke. I guess it also works on NPCs, right? Or not? I'm not sure actually. The headshot booster also works on creeps. And even if it does, you know, does it also work on NPCs that don't really have a head, like the turrets? Don't hit against Mazer. Just because he has way more movement. This will buy us time. So far, things seem to now be going I'll fine for him. Like, look at the salts he's popped. It's later in the game that stuff gets fucked, apparently. Yeah, he's one of the richer guys on the field. Uh, let me check what he bought. My velocity mag, like last time. Last time, this is, he didn't buy last time. This is new, so my guess is he bought it because um, Bebop can do pretty good damage in lane. It's pretty uh, annoying in the lane. I feel like in general, restorative shot is a nice 
mix of offense and defense, right? Like it's if you feel like you need a bit more sustain, but you're also not behind, you don't really need to buy a vitality item. You don't need to heal them. That's the perfect mix between offense and defense for early game items, is my guess. Oh, you can shoot through the bridge part. You saw that? There's these gaps between the bridge and they you can actually shoot through them like you would expect to. Get lasered. Yeah, he gets denied a lot now because of the laser. They should run. Now Bebop has a little bit more souls. I think Mesa probably wants to melee those three creeps right next to each other. Unfortunately, they spread out, so he kills them with a bomb. That's nice. Hope salt. Okay, got, he got wrecked on the last bullet with that creep. He didn't die to his bullet. He didn't die to his creep. Oh, old. I guess that's how he dies, yes. Purple beam is pretty stupid. Doesn't do that, that much damage against the Guardian for some reason. And now Bebop suddenly has 1000 souls more out of nowhere, which is a very big difference in the early game. I feel like it's. Okay, nice time slip bullet. I don't even know how he fucking hit that. Like, he, there was no vision on the Bebop when he shot that, I felt like. The, so that was nice. Someone's looking to make a statement. Bebop is a balanced character. A lot of people seem to think he's bad, but I don't know why. He, he seems balanced to me too, in you know, in the ironic sense, so. Nice. Ow. Nice. Revenge. One last to know it. Where the fuck did that bomb come from? Was that still Beowulf's bomb? It still explodes after he dies? If you like that, I, got some other stuff I kind of expected that to be cleared by his death, but... I mean... In real life it wouldn't work like that either, so it is actually logical. Kind of bad, but Giga knowing to lane against. Okay. I feel like after laning, he's, he still seems good just because this. The the hook seems really nice for killing heroes that are good in the back line. Or, you know, just killing anyone in a big fight, pulling anyone in and to kill them. And the purple beam also seems very strong after laning. Also, I missed the new items you bought. Let's check. I missed the shot again. So that you, you told me before, it works with all the carbine stuff. During spirits, spin boots, same stuff as before, also same. This is the really annoying part. Yeah, that's exactly what happens when I lane against people. This. I get pulled in, get a bomb, and get punched around, and then also get killed by the tower. I don't really know how to avoid that, except uh, reactive barrier. I mean, it doesn't really avoid it, but it means you don't die when that happens. Also, I saw at the beginning of the replay, Maester, that you end up... Um... Oh shit, yeah, nice. 
that you in this game end up as the Verrocco of the team, which is pretty scary that you can be the Verrocco of a team. That that's uh, pretty intimidating. So I'm quite curious how the fuck that happens, because out of the lane phase you're still doing okay, right? You're still richer than some people. I'm quite curious what will happen here. This is a great way to live. Guess you go on a farm now for the first time. Yes, indeed. Nice ghost. Mid boss has arrived. Get wrecked. Get wrecked again. Okay, what are we gonna buy now? Pragmatic, stylish, okay. I love it. Someone's using we'll move with speed, I like that. I like that item is what I'm saying. I'm not I don't know if it's a good decision, I don't know anything. And extra health. Time to make my move. I should through this. Bombs ready. So that's what basically the night the opponent away a, a bit, right? And put you in there to clear the wave. Decay. Wasn't Decay the slower movement speed and no movement abilities? I think that's what Decay did. I thought you bought that previous game. No, I think the gay is something else. I think that reduces your healing or something. Yeah, I think the thing you bought was slowing hex. Or something like that. Avoid the ult. Impressive. But he's back to full health. Because it's Infernus. I guess that's what happens if you load for too long with Kinetic. Do you still use up the ability if you make it run out? I guess so, right? More purple garbage. Mason, I'm curious, if you bomb a level 1 camp, can you just fucking leave? Does it kill them? Because you were shooting them, but... I wonder if you can also just leave. And get the money. Because those level 1 creeps have no health. Time. Let me check what you read actually. This was supposed to be a kill on shift, but Nicta was like not as recognizable, relatable. You know. To Vindicta, not to you. Nobody really know why you're falling behind at the moment, right? Your, your souls are getting low compared to the rest. But I don't really see why, because you're just farming and killing creeps. Like, what else can you do? Let me check the KD rates. 
I guess all the people are getting a lot of kills, and that's why they're getting rich. 14, 14. I don't know if that's a lot of kills at 30 minutes. I don't really have a feeling for that kind of stuff yet. Especially because I play at such different levels, like when I play alone or with you guys, then I don't really know what's normal. I kind of hope they don't release the second map until very far into the future. I don't even know if that's something that these types of games do. Make more than one map. But you know, even if don't if if uh, MOBAs usually don't do that, doesn't mean this one won't change it. Because this is a pretty original take on the genre, right? From what I've heard. Okay, that means you can't one you one ship, otherwise you would have stayed, I imagine. How rich is he? Yeah, he's pretty rich. And also, in general, a high damage character, right? There's that robot. Stealing his camp, maybe. Is, is that is that just your the, the animations of your character, Maser? That weird swirl around the corner you did there where it looks like dancing is that just how your character animates sliding or something or is that some kind of movement some special option i like how you came in to just deny his camp and <laughs> nothing else it's pretty uh pretty mean and i guess he uh will kill you for it he's mad that you stole his camp a spirit urn is waiting to be Yeah, because claimed. actually now that I think about it, I, I never thought about it before, that camps seem to... Oh, in the back instead, feels Batman. Um, that camps seem to not leave soul orbs, right? You just get the money directly if you last hit it. There is no denying. Well, I guess the denying is last hitting it, but no orbs in the sky. That was a Farocco moment. Wait over there for them to come over and shoot him in the face. Time stop, and then they come in the back instead. Worth, to be honest. You know, as you always say, it's just to send a message. Looks like you're saving up money for something bigger. Oh, we bought Fortitude as well, actually. So that means there's a lot of fighting going on. Oh, and you bought slowing hacks. Yeah, we were just talking about that when I was like, no, decay is not the slowing thing that was slowing X. Holy shit, there's something in all those crates. Story time. Oh, camping. Oh, Predict is also here. Looks like this Predict is a real team player. This also uh, looks very relatable, what happened there. I, I already know, because of the stats that you see before playing the replay, right, that you kind of get wrecked this game. Is this just variants, or were these opponents really just a lot better than the game before? Because in the previous game, you were fucking everyone up. I find it kind of hard to judge if if this is variants or power because of course I see the difference between a noob and a good player, but I don't really see the difference between a good player and a slightly better player. Nice. Oh, unfortunate. That would have been so cool if the walker was still alive and stunned him. 
can't blame the team, of course. Of course. It's Time to do my thing. At least you are playing a character that's a bit of uh, a bit team reliant, right? Because the swap doesn't do that much without the team. <laughs> Die. Well, that was actually somewhere you could blame team. You stole your kill. So clowns with three people, they ignore clown. Some people just like clowns. I don't know why. I don't like them either, but... I've also noticed you don't do waves as much. Like, I mean, you, you do camps more than waves. Is there a reason for that? Because I think he told me waves are actually better money. I guess unless you can do tier 3 camps very efficiently because you are Magenus or something. Or were just your teammates already clearing the waves, so you were just farming for that reason. My entire team is doing waves, okay, yeah. Gathering time. Bombs ready. Okay, just got an answer to the kinetic carbine stuff. If you overcharge it, if that's the correct term, then it does use the ability still. Like, you know, when, when it runs out, where you can no longer hold the bullet. Has been delivered. Here we go. Come and get me. But again, in this game as well, you're just constantly doing shit. And that's a big difference with me, is what I'm trying to say. I see the gold. Was that an intentional dodge when you made like one step to the right and then the hook missed you? I found it really hard to dodge the hook. I feel like it comes out very quickly. Not much reaction time. I guess I should pay attention to the sound. That, uh, that would be helpful. Actually, the, I feel like you could make a pretty OP mod for this game where you make uh, a separate sound setting for sounds that are actually relevant, you know? Like punching sounds, uh, ability sounds, and then for example, gun sounds you make less loud. Because the gun sound, you, you don't really need to hear that so loud, right? It's not that important because it's very easy to recognize gun sounds and you don't really react to it the same way as you react to abilities. Because it depends on the ability, on how you have to react, that's all. I've been in queue for five minutes, what the fuck? Game dead already? Feels bad, man. Is it late? No, it isn't, it's just 11 p.m. Okay, weird. Maybe you actually do have a high uh, elo or a so there's just, just not many people at your level to queue into. How do you even view your elo? Is there a way to see that? I'm kind of curious how close I am to the minimum line. For the pile. 
long slide. You can't see it, okay. Unfortunate. That's really cool with this character for clearing camps that you can charge your carbine before you go into the camp. And then also have to deal with it with a time bomb. But yeah, you're getting behind on souls now at this point in the game. Which is kind of weird because you're not really doing anything besides killing creeps and farms. Oh yeah, it was illegal to kill farms, uh, whatever. The jargon is weird in this game. Get wrecked. I like how you go in, shoot someone, go out. I've seen you do that in the previous game a lot as well. But they're all chasing you. Holy shit. Nice. The kinetic dash gives you a lot of extra movement speed too, that's also nice. And you go back in immediately, I guess. Okay, it's out. To help your teammates. Also, something I'm noticing when watching your fights is that everyone tends to run, run backwards a lot compared to what I do. On the other hand, the opposing team does walk forward a lot. But yeah, I guess you just can't really move forward in all situations. Got a game progress, good luck, thanks. It's getting cluster fucky over here. Nice parry. That allows you to escape. You actually go back in, even though you have no health. Like, this is something I wouldn't dare to do. I would definitely die. Now you got a kill assist. And now you heal. Like, I, I know you can help there. But I think in my games, I usually wouldn't do it. Because I would just die if I tried to help. And that doesn't help. Let's go purple. Headed to purple. You can't waste time. We can't shoot through this. The air is being dropped. Ah, shit. It's not the first time to die to purple. If you do, you don't go. I. A lot more deaths incoming here at the end. What did he buy actually? Warp stone for teleports, more movement, improved cooldown. Oh, I didn't even know that. It, when I'm looking at the modifies for improved cooldown, I thought it only uh, applied to your abilities, but it also literally says in the text, your abilities and items. That means, well, I, I knew it helped with the usable items, the active items, but I didn't know it helped with passives that have a timer. I, for some reason, didn't expect that. That it also improves the cooldown on um, passives with a timer. Some passives have timers. Like they can only proc once per... Yeah, like this one. This one can only proc once per five seconds. 
So improved cooldown seems very strong as well. Well, maybe not very because 16% is not that much, but still it's nice. And there's also the superior cooldown you can buy. And yeah, warp stone beside it also gives spirit power and weapon damage besides the teleport with bullet resist. How long does the bullet resist? Last five seconds. Okay. That's quite a lot, 30% bullet resist. So it's also a good item, I guess. I, I feel like maybe all items are good or something. Every time I read stuff, I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Maybe not on every character, but... Farming. Time set. Yeah, Mace is actually still not that poor, well, except compared to a few people that I guess are all of kills. You can check that. Time yes, he got fucking 16 kills. Holy shit. This guy is a god, I suppose. Looks like. Mason will lose his game just because Shiv is in the opponent's team. Killed by people Cook. This is exactly why I feel like the hook should be good after laning as well. It just seems very useful for picking off people. for the sounds but I'm always tired so I'm also always stretching. Uh, let's skip this boring part. He's gonna die very soon after respawning. So he gets off the line early instead of just dropping in the fight. That's something I tend to do. It's just drop in the fight, old, stun two guys, and then die. I know Mazer can't Abram solve, but regardless, I think I should also just um, not go into old like that. <laughs> because I always die if I do that, so it can't be the correct choice. Okay, the fight is over, I guess, because they went mid. I guess they're gonna try to kill them off after getting the rejuve. Maybe even steal the rejuve. Almost. And now Mazer's dying. Yep. Like nothing even really happened. He got hit by like three things or something, but. I'll be stacking bodies all night. He just died. Rejuvenation credit. Why does Mazer have rejuvenation credit?
Did he somehow steal it? Oh, no, they did steal it. Okay. I just noticed their team got it. I guess it was stolen. I didn't see how that happened exactly. Maybe Mason really did steal it because he did swap into the Riju, but I didn't see him punch. Enemies have reached our stronghold. Pocket is getting wrecked this game. Like he's so much bigger than everyone else, even in furnace. Ow! Holy shit, I don't know what hit Mazer, but they did about 800 damage in one hit. It looked like a big bomb. Who has a bomb on the opponent's team? I guess it was a people bomb. That's not a nice word to pronounce. People bomb. And then he's gonna die one more time and then lose the game. Nice. I guess the main takeaway from watching these two games is, um, well, a bunch of stuff in the laning phase that already has been told me many times. And just being way more active. Like, it's not like I, I didn't know that. I just don't really know how to be active and useful in a game in certain situations. Like if if um if there are creep waves then and nobody is there, then it's very obvious that I can go and do that. Or if the urn is up and there's not too many enemies near there or the drop off point, etc. But you know, there are situations where it's not so obvious what you can even do. How does Mazer die in the next few seconds? There aren't even any people in the base. Attacking. Well, we'll see, I guess. Not much of a dangerous situation on the map yet. Yeah, I really wonder how he dies here. Because he's gonna get ganked. Not not ganked, but gang ganked. Just the enemy team will all go on him as soon as they see him or something. We're already past the death point. So it's kinda weird. The replay bar is not really well timed. I guess he's dying here. I don't even see why he's dying here. I see him get hit by stuff, but yeah, this is exact the way Mazer died there. That that is basically how I always die. Like there is a lot of shit going on. I get hit by random shit, but I can't even see it. It's all off screen, and then I die without doing anything. That that was probably the most relatable Mazer death right there, which is there. Heavy. It was just walking around, jumping, trying to not die, jumping around. Don't actually see anything, and you're dead. But yeah, it, it's true. The these marks on the bar are not very accurate. Like the death happened a few millimeters after this dash, but whatever. Uh, also, the shrines are dying. Okay, game over. I don't think we need to watch the rest. Well, maybe Macer's gonna try to do something. Oh. Fucking Infernus is even in the base. Hilarious. And pretty annoying to have the fire in your base there. I guess. GG. Do be the nature of these games, yeah. 
that's one of many reasons why I'm bad at them. I can't really say them because I've only played one of these games, this one. But I'm sure I'm bad at the other MOBAs too. Or shooters. Or both. Definitely both. And this combines them, so yeah. No miracle. Yeah. I like how uh, even though he was the Faroko of his team, he still had a good assist rate. So yeah, I guess he did get teamed. How can I delete other replays that I downloaded? There was a delete button for that download and I, de I don't think I did it with the other replays I watched. I don't want them to just be somewhere on my disc, but whatever, I don't know how to remove that. Uh, so what are we gonna do now, chat? Hmm? Yeah? I guess uh, play in the Noob League? Because yeah, I don't really want to ruin people's games in the higher ranks anymore when joining Mazer until I'm not completely useless. I don't have to carry, but I have to be not useless. Time to apply what you learned, yeah. Is there a way to view your ELO? Nope. I actually just asked that to Mazer like uh, 30 minutes ago and he said no. I would like to know that as well. I'm interested, like, how close am I to the minimum? Because um, sometimes I queue into noob games where I actually carry. <laughs> That's why I'm really curious what the, what the lowest ranking possible is and how close I am to that. It's really weird that, that I can be good amongst certain people. Because if I look at Mazes replays, I can very clearly see I don't really do anything. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just stand still. I don't hit anything. I don't do anything useful. I don't farm camps, etc. Yeah, I, I don't know uh, why they don't show you that. They probably have a reason for it, but. Let's just uh, do Noob League. I have played only two games ever with Calvin. In, in my first few days of that log, but I decided to put it on number two. Because when I was looking to all the characters, I was like, I think I might enjoy that thing. Because he's support, but he can also do stuff on his own, right? Like Ivy seems kind of useless if you're not helping your teammates. But Kelvin seems like you can do some stuff on your own and be great support. And I like the idea of that. Because I play in Noob League, I don't feel like I can play a complete support character because, you know, people don't make use of it, of your support. So Calvin seems like a nice mix and he also seems very strong, like OP. I don't know if I have a good build for him actually. Probably not. <laughs> Probably only have public ones. But, uh, I mean, not probably, I know for sure I only have public ones, but I don't know. Maybe some of the public ones are good. From what I've heard, they are not, but I don't know. They don't make them like me. Some people pretend they know things, right? Okay, I'm playing against McGinnis. So I think I'm going uh, monster rounds because then you take less damage from turrets. I will not buy it though if she doesn't play turrets in the lane phase. She might not uh, go for that. Tifa, Ackerman. Yeah, I've never seen any of these names before. This pocket actually got the name Batman without any dashes or numbers behind the name. So I guess uh, he's feeling pretty good about himself. Um, so I can go forward now, right? Oh, here's the heal creep. That's exactly the thing you want to kill first. And mine is here. Okay, nice. I didn't did not get the knight on those. I have to hurry to kill the creep over there. I think it's already that sad. Oh, I did not hit that orange orb for some reason. I think he just hit it first. I'm just poking the tower now instead of his face. Maybe I shouldn't. I saw Mazer always poking the opponent. I'm doing that right. Oh fuck! I'm getting fucked by the tower. It was dumb. 
I need to go back a bit, but maybe I can deny this one. Huh? Oh, okay, it, it did not get killed by Mjinnus, that's why. He got killed by... Uh... So he didn't get any money of that in general. But I indeed missed the creep. If you don't miss a creep, you get $300 here. But I only got 275 not sure what happened to the other one. Oh shit, there's a lot of low health creeps there. Ah oh, shit, I really need monster rounds. She's already placing turrets, very annoying. So I'll just let them come to the tower. That's what you should do against this, uh, I think. What? Why am I... Why am I dying? I was just going to punch these things. And I had creeps and the tower protecting me. Okay. I guess she already placed a lot of turrets or something. Like she... I Maybe I'm blind as usual, but I felt like she wasn't even shooting me. I didn't really see how I died there. And the creeps could not attack me. They, they were getting fucked by the tower. So... Hello? I need to go back and train. Now I don't even have enough no dollars. Stands in my way. Well, that was kind of my own fault because earlier in the game I um I should go shopping. I kind of ran into the tower, right? Because I was poking here. And that's one of those things where I'm just not really paying attention. Fight you're about to start. And that's why that happened. Because I was so tunnel efficient on poking her, which I was doing, she was Pretty close to death, she had like a quarter health after I did that, but then the tower was magma in me. Because, like I said, tunnel vision. I think a creep died off screen two even. I missed two creeps there. I mean, that, I guess that's what happens if you die early. I denied an orb at least. Maybe I can also deny this one. I can poke her here now, probably. Yeah. This is what I saw Mazer do. But let's get out now because I'm kind of, kind of fucked. I'm making it very easy for it to shoot me. I think that's why I also died earlier. Fucking turds. I just bought monster rounds and it's still doing a lot of damage. Even though that will decrease damage from turds by 35%. Okay, that was a bit reckless from my opponent, but I think she's getting rewarded. Why did she not die before me? I am the boy. Okay, look how behind I am already. Why am I not playing at my elo? Maybe I am, but I'm just dead off my game. Because I'm the worst player on the field already. By far, even. That's what happens if you die twice. But how the fuck do you die twice to Manginus? Like, I'm worse than usual. Defeated. And the Guardian is already dead. I don't know what, what happened here. Like, I did not send creeps for once. What the fuck is this? Why are there so many creeps and turrets? Can I just concede? Like, I've never been wrecked so much when solo queuing, seriously. And I'm even gonna die here. I don't know what happened. I did not tank creeps. I did tank the tower for a little bit, but... I have to escape. I don't want to die a third time. But my genesis is like pretty weak in the lane. I don't really understand. Like when she came into me and then I barge stun punched her. I don't really understand why that didn't do any damage. And why I died before her. Because I also had more health. I get maybe she was already so far ahead with souls at that point already. But she didn't even buy anything. You see that? I just checked, she does have way more souls, but she bought only one item it looks like. So how the fuck is that possible? Like, it seems like I only get worse the more I play this game. Which is very uh, depressing. Let's kill them like this, I guess. Getting some money now. I'm gonna do extra damage to the tower now because of monster rounds. And I'll also take less damage from this thing because of monster rounds. In case I have to tank it to finish it off. I 
think I am killing the tower over here. Yeah, okay, so I guess I did something useful over here. Uh, is there another wave? Yes, maybe I can kill that wave before retreating. I see a lot of enemies not anywhere near me anyway. But actually trying to kill... I can! I see the entire enemy team not here. So I, I'm seeing all six in different lanes. I'm actually alone here. I do have to watch out, right? They, they might come here. I'm not supposed to operate that. Coming to the guide. I'm also killing it very fast because of monster around, so... I was trying to get out of that by dashing, but I guess I was late. It did a lot of damage and a stun, that was not great. I'll take you all on. Why am I still taking so much damage when he was not attacking me? Was I standing in something? Tanking creeps, maybe? I was kind of ignoring them because I wanted to kill that thing. Do something useful for my team after being a complete retard in the lane. Uh, now I'm leaving because maybe they will come to me. Probably not. They're probably overwatching. Uh, let's do some camp over here. There is one here, apparently. I don't know the locations of these camps, but... That's actually good to learn here. Uh, this looks a bit big for me, but I'll try, I guess. Let's see how effective we can be. Okay, it's not too big for me. Oh, I can do the same thing. The thing I just learned from Maester, that you can punch something and shoot at the same time uh, in a lot of camps. I did it there, so at least I applied something here, but that lane phase was so embarrassing. I'm pretty sure McGinnis is like really weak in the lane now. The turrets are annoying, of course, but... Let's see what this book can do. But I bought monster around, so... I can kill the turrets faster and take little damage from them. And in general, they don't do that much damage in the early game if she doesn't have any upgrades. She did have a big soul lead, but that was at my own fault. And she didn't buy anything with that soul lead, so... Yeah, that's... That's really embarrassing. And I also, because I don't really know why, except tanking the tower for a bit by accident. But that was just the first kill. I have no idea what happened in the second kill. Okay. They're still overwatching on that side of the map. We're actually winning, surprisingly. Maybe I can gank, get my revenge on that McGinnis. She's getting 2v1, so we only need to do a little bit of extra damage, probably, to help. Yes, I'm ulting that bitch. Why did that miss? Well, I got kill assist, I guess. I'm not leaving this Pick up the orbs. Okay, I already did. I don't have bullets, very sad. I can tank it for a bit because of monster rounds, but only for a bit. I need some bullets. Nice. Flex salt unlocked. I, I was horrible in the lane phase, but I killed two towers and a walker. So I'm doing more objective damage than anyone, I'm pretty sure. Is the urn going to arrive here? Yes, it is. So I guess I'll stay here. Can I do something useful before it spawns? I can probably kill some creeps that are coming in. Oh, there's also Vindicta there. I don't really want to fight her, though. Because she can fly. My character is kind of useless against flyers. Find them. I'm tanking the creeps a bit way. much. Let's just go to the orb. Burn. My creeps will finish off those creeps. It's sad I missed the money, but... This can give us a big lead if I do this. And on my elo, people don't really know what this does. People just ignore the urn completely. Also the urn runner. So... Um, yeah, this is basically free money for the entire team. I have a lot of money. <laughs> Another fuck up. I completely forgot about my money. It would have been nice to have bought sprint boots, for example, for this earn run. Then I would have done this a lot faster. You, uh, you, you do have a plan, yes? Yeah. 
Um, there's a shop there too, what? Why is there a shop there in the yellow lane at the side? Finish this wave before I go and buy stuff in the semi hidden shop. Oh, this one is still open, maybe? Yes, the tower didn't die after all. Uh, so I can maybe. I'm supposed to rush this apparently, but I like the extra movement speed first. I like the damage because we're playing against clowns. Uh, I'm supposed to rush this, so yeah, maybe I just ignore that stuff. I don't go selling these to just anyone. I honestly don't really know what the torment pulse does, but to bring me down. Oh, purple's getting fucked. And probably everyone is gonna ignore it because my ego. So I'll go there. Crushing down. It's you or me. Use this damn book before it gets me killed. I'll send them flying. Hello, yes, thanks. Okay. Who among them can stop us? Yeah, I'm not even the poorest player, even though I did so fucking poorly in the lane. Like, I didn't even have 1k before I died twice. I'm just so, so blind to damage. Okay, the entire enemy team is on yellow. We're, we're actually doing Overwatch again. So I can kill this thing probably. No, I, I forgot any creeps be because I'm also I a retard. Take on the whole team alone. Um, there's still enemy creeps here, so we have to kill us first. Won't kill me. Do I have to take out Shiv? Or can I just take out the walker and get the flex slot? I don't even have enough money to fill the flex slot. Okay, there's actually someone protecting the walker this time, unlike last time. Actually, there's multiple people too. Let's just not go there. Let's just disappear into the void and do a camp. Because that's something useful I can do now. I think there is a little camp over here that I see on the map. I think the location was like on the side here, right? Yes. Mm, I think there's a more efficient way to do this, but whatever. Uh, there's also a camp over here that's quite big. I think that's... isn't that tier 3 camp? It's so hard to see anything on this screen. Because if it's tier 3, I probably can't really do it efficiently. Yeah, I should go to the small one probably. Where is the small one here? Oh, here. This is like small, but not the smallest. This is tier two that, that I can do efficiently. And then I can also immediately clear the creeps that are coming in to the base here. So I think I actually positioned myself. What? Normally that picks up a lot of creeps. So I think I can for once actually uh, do correct positioning on the board, on the map, or whatever. But Seven also wants to join me farming creeps, I guess. Let's see what this book can do. I'm killing these creeps so fast with monster rounds. I, I quite like that item, but apparently it's not very good. At least Mazer says he basically never buys it. But I wanted to test it anyway. And I was against the one hero against which it's really good to test, I think. Because yeah, it nice against McGinnis for the turrets. Maybe I can flank him. Yes, I can because we're playing against clouds. Huh? My punch did some weird animation. Did you see that? I was kind of flying and it didn't hit. Not sure if that was a bug or if I just fucked up. If he goes back to base. Okay, there. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we're playing against other uh, Barocas. That, 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 that much is clear. 
Like when I was playing on Mace Zelo, I would have golden parried in the last hit. Not the first hit, because I hit around the corner. That like that's, that's actually hard to deal with, but kind of proud of myself, I guess, I did that. This guy tried to flank us, and he got fucked by his own wall. Nice. Well, not literally his own wall, but his own, you know, his teammate wall. Okay, I have to get out of here, getting a bit fucked. I could maybe ult. Maybe I can save this guy by ulting. Okay, not necessary, they're not really following. I don't think we should stay in fight here. No, exactly. I'm, I always just die if I get lifted. That's my experience against Raid. I get lifted, I die. I did read correctly that I had to leave, but I didn't leave early enough. I didn't realize it early enough. Uh, so what are we gonna buy? I think we can ignore the early game stuff now. Yeah, let's get all of the mid game stuff. Well, we do have space for this. A bit of extra health. I do have flex slots, so I guess I can just get it. Because from what I heard on a YouTube video anyway, you it's actually um, the cheap items are the best value per soul. This book is gonna give them like they're um, you get a lot of your character gets a lot better for how many souls you spend. It's just the late game items do more per slot, of course. But that means that uh, there's not really a waste of 500 spirit there, probably. Souls, whatever. Stupid jargon. Why are you guys staying on the bridge? It's annoying. And yeah, I'm not really joining a team fight, and so maybe I should, but... On this elo, it's... like it, These fights are always completely pointless. That's also why I just died when I was in your base, basically. I will kill this wave and go back before the same thing happens like the last time I died. So maybe I can go on ult in blue, if the fight isn't over by then. Also I should not just dash, 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 I should dash, jump, slide and then dash. That's a little bit faster. That's something uh, Mason told me. But instead I'm just dashing. Okay, I guess we're going base, XD. That is pretty XD. Look, it's a 5v6. You can't really win that in their base normally. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll try to be a team player. Okay, nice. Nice uh, charge by me. Thanks for the uh, grapple, Mr. Beeble. That was useful, actually. I'm not being sarcastic at all. I could have maybe died. Some garbage over there. Okay, it still does a lot of damage, that tower. Okay, let's get out. Hold. Maybe I can do a quick camp over here. Yes. Oh fuck, this is too big of a camp. This is tier 3. Oh. I'm already killing this shit, so... I'm also healing of it. Because my character is broken. Okay, <laughs> I'm just leaving my team to die, I guess, while I'm farming. Oh, fuck, I forgot to make shots in between, because I'm distracted. I saw a guy getting kind of close to me, so I think I should get out and clear that purple wave on the way back. That's this actually useful for a base. It's a big wave. I think that's like two waves. Oh, I didn't dump just slide again. Jizz, yes, jizz. I could earn, maybe? He's waiting to be claimed. Yeah, why not? Like I said, it's just gonna get ignored. People are just gonna fight 24-7. This will give us uh, an item lead again. We already have it, but I mean, it's not that big. Maybe I'll actually get followed this time, because our lanes are super pushed. Like, I actually have to cross over a lane where Vindicta is and stuff. As you usually can see everything easily because she's flying. But right now nothing is happening. I think I'm getting in north again, as always, when I do earn runs playing alone. Now and now I can maybe also do a big ult. Not smart to get in my way. 
into this big clusterfuck fight. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna die because nobody's here for some reason. Maybe not die. Okay, nice. I actually did something, I gave two kill assists. And I didn't die somehow, but that's just because we're playing low elo, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I guess there was nobody around because I attacked that team in the back. So we're gonna really have stuff to help me. Uh, I suppose to buy these things first, so I'm not buying this. That's a bit late for that stuff, I think. We don't have that many flex slots left here, just one. So the enemy team is almost dead. We should actually go mid here, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not even gonna ping it because it's useless. Like, I'm pretty sure the only thing that I'm better at than others at this elo is knowing the objectives and stuff. Just because Macer and Jay told me all that. But I'm pretty sure, like, mechanically, I'm still fucking awful, even. Uh, you know, otherwise, how did I die to McGinnis and Stiff and stuff? Oh, he's ulting. Nice. I killed him before that. You see, uh, like, I, I never 1v1 in Furnaces normally. It's actual uh, ELO thing. Stop pushing here. I guess I can kill the guy that's gonna show up here soon ish. I guess they're upstairs and that's why I don't see them. Oh, I see purple. Ah, there he is. Nice. And we can Im immediately go shopping off them. So yeah, absolutely horrible laning phase, but um, after that I'm actually quite useful, I feel like. But again, it's because of my elo. But that's also exactly why I want to play on this elo now, so that I'm not useless. Okay, there's too many guys there, I saw at least two. Well, my teammates are also here, so... Maybe I can make a detour to help them and, you know, distract the people that are chasing me this way. Okay, there is the Warden. I think they saw me last minute. Warden is usually unkillable, but... Ah, nice. The thing worked. Okay, I'm probably going to get ass fucked now. The thing worked, that meant that the dash jump does indeed uh, help you uh, get out of the Warden hook. That's a tip Mesa gave me when I was like, what can you do against the Warden Hook? I don't get it. And dash jump is all you need to do, apparently. Is that Pocket that says the no, 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 no? I always hear that in the games, but I don't know which character says that. Oh, I didn't even intend to hit him. <laughs> nice. I was just trying to punch the creep, but uh, I hit the policeman in the face instead. Fuck that police. Uh, their team is still very alive. I don't think we should that go in. Oh, fuck. Retard. But I guess we probably are going in, right? I can buy a new upgrade. Maybe I should go shop quickly. If I can find it anyway. I mean, I'm w walking towards it, but I don't know if I'm on the right level. No, I'm too high. How do I go down? This is why I don't go shop here, because I can never find it. Okay. Did it. Amazing. Because now I also have bullet armor. It could be useful in the fight. That is probably over at this point, because I'm not there. Oh, I don't know how to go to blue from this jungle. I already tried that many times and failed. So let's just go like this. Then I can actually participate. Charge again. Come on. 
Oh yeah, I'm supposed to dash jump. There we go. Just in time. I can ult at some point. I think they got fucked by own wall again. Nice. And I also punched Yamato. There's a guy in my back, but... Maybe we can just kill a shrine. Nope, not yet in any way. Nice flash hole. Uh, can we do something else? Okay, it's already over. Flex slot plus. Thanks. That dies very fast. Okay, she's ulting. Guess I have to hide a bit. Maybe I can kill this guy again. He's kind of memeing. Okay, she's just gonna heal in the base. Oh, he's not. Okay, I'll follow him then. He's relatively low. Oh, he's just escaping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you don't want to defend, defend your patron, I'm fine with that. They won't see this coming. I need to punch something to reload. I did it too early though. I still have bullets. Okay, I'm getting completely wrecked. I should have altered. And uh, yeah, this is why uh, we shouldn't go in. They still had a big team. Ah, raid killed someone. I can buy a new upgrade. Exactly 2000. The entire map isn't farmed. Never old game. Oh, this was a horrible game, Acer. Maybe you can watch the replay and laugh your ass off. I died twice in lane against McGinnis in really stupid ways. With this character, no less, like it was. I felt like I was back to zero in that lane phase. Probably thinking too much about the things I learned or something, I don't know. But it was very embarrassing. At least I made myself useful after that. But I was very behind uh, out of the start. And as you can see, I'm now actually not behind with the souls because I actually farmed stuff. I did a lot of waves because we're playing Overwatch. Oh. What the fuck? Okay, I accidentally did a wall jump. Like, I, I saw that on YouTube how to do that, but that was not my intention there. It was a complete accident. Uh, but yeah, it's a complete uh, clown game, and that's the only reason why I was still useful this game after that horrible laning phase by me. I should probably just clear that huge wave, honestly. No, never mind. They're, half their team is dead, the opposing team. And Vindicta is also almost dead. And I have an ult that can be useful to maybe help finish some boys. Mm, but now my team is not playing Overwatch, apparently. I, yeah, okay, half of them are dead. I should probably not have gone in, because now the rest of the team is also going in. And we shouldn't. Maybe I can convince them to not do that anymore. Um, I think it's too late. I'm so slow. Let's use more jump dashes, slides. Oh, I did it. Nice. Um, I think I'll just use a zip booster to clear the purple wave. Because nobody's gonna do that, I already know. Let's see what this book can do. Reload the gun. Also, Mace, there was a perfect opportunity to do mid, but I was like, I'm not even gonna ping. Nobody is uh, gonna go there. <laughs> I also did two earn runs, and nobody cared. Absolutely nobody cared. Nobody tried to stop me, or whatever. It's, uh, it's a nice elo for me. I guess I will do an earn run. Waiting to be claimed. And away we go. Maybe I can ult in between to help. I wish you're just clearing waves while learning. Why not? Has been destroyed. Yeah, I see. Uh, learning is uh, very easy again. Then I can actually buy the next upgrade. Okay, where can I make myself useful now? There is a casino 
camp nearby. Where is it though? Yes, I can first do this one. Okay, I'm trying this thing that I learned from you, Meister, and it failed. I tried to uh, punch and shoot something at the same time. Where's the casino? I just saw it on the map. Yeah, it's right here. Oh yeah, it's the upstairs here, the casino. I find it very hard to get on the second floor. <laughs> it, this is not the first time this happened. Alright, there was a way to do this, like this. Yes, I'm doing it. That's quite easy. Don't mind me, I'm just farming instead of fighting with you guys. And we can also kill these boys. I need everything in my sight. Oh, I can punch shoot here, yeah. Whatever. Too late, because they're too weak. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of trying to apply the things I learned, Mazer. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to jump dash instead. Let's do that again. No, the other way around, whatever. I did it before. <laughs> okay, their entire team is dead. Let's barge in for speed. Did he just say poggers? I think my character just said poggers. Relatively fast game for my elo, half an hour. Hello, patron, are you coming or, or what? Getting kind of wrecked by turrets, I guess, but also not really. <laughs> I accidentally hit him. <laughs> I just ignored everything. Let's rechat. I missed the button. Oh, the, the notifications are not working again, apparently. You you uh, gave me bits. Thanks. You remember? I just fixed it last stream, and now it's not working again. I didn't change anything. Let me check if the bot is on. Maybe Sometimes Streamlabs bot just turns itself off for no reason. So let me check that before we go to the next game. And also, let me rechat. Um, CloudBot, no, it's active. Okay, let me check the sound settings then for the notifications. Yeah, it's the same as before, as I expected. I don't know, man. Just nothing ever works for me in OBS. Like, I literally didn't touch it, and it was working. But now I don't hear the notifications again. Uh, let's ban this clown. Uh, so yeah, I missed a little chat. You know, it's it's kind of hard for me to talk and play this game at the same time, so I had to ignore. Good luck. Uh, I do be the nature of this game. Already read that stuff. Time to apply what you learned. Is the way to fear Elo? Already read that. I think the spirit animal is the borrowing dude. You mean Mo and Krill? I do think he's pretty fun. I have him as my third character. So yes, I guess he is my spirit. Mul, 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 mul. I don't know how do you pronounce that in English. The mo, mo, mul, mul, mula, mula. And pull back and run. Just had a very cool game. Am I supposed to watch it? Probably just, just not skill according to guide again. Um, probably. Distractions, you know. You too hard on yourself calling retard, but it, it was true. When I call myself a retard, it's 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 usually justified. You just missed jungle creeps twice. GG. Scary fucking skills are going to guide. Sorry. And again, I wish I could fix the notifications, but it has been cursed ever since I switched to OBS. There was never a problem with that in Streamlabs, you know, the crazed software. And Hempmind got his message not delivered. I will... What? Unban Hempmind. I hope you didn't get auto banned. I don't think that's a thing in my chat, but it's, it says unban Hempmind. Oh, I can't click it. It's too long ago. But Hempmind said fuck off to the bot, which is justified. Eat shit. That was allowed for some reason. Fuck off is not allowed, but eat shit is. Okay. 
I would rather fuck someone than eat shit, but okay, Twitch. Um, then Tarim of the Farms already read that. Watch my last game. I will. They are working. You're just deaf. I, oh, I know they might be working for you, Macer, but I'm talking about for me because that has been an issue that either I hear it double, which is relatively good because that means you guys hear it once and I hear it double. You know, it's a bit annoying, but it's better than, yeah, I heard nothing. Thanks for testing, but I literally heard nothing. I saw it on the notification thing because I'm in OBS now trying to fix it, but no, I heard nothing. At least it's working for you, Dan. That's something. But I also really want to hear it because otherwise, how can I thank people or hear what, what you're saying when I'm not paying attention? Um, so the sound setting is, and this worked previously, the sound setting is uh, monitor and output. The other things are monitor off, but then you guys don't hear it, I'm pretty sure. Now, monitor is myself, but this is on both channels. So I should hear it double, I guess. That's why I felt like this setting shouldn't work, but then it worked. And now it's not working again. So, so no, I, I wasn't deaf. I'm just retarded with technology, I think. I, I don't know what else it is. I, I'm not sure if I can blame myself here because, again, it, it worked last stream. I fixed it. I didn't change anything. <sighs> Um, I will change the setting this time because, you know, it's not working and the bot is on. So I put it on monitor off. I don't know why that would help me because that means it doesn't relay audio to me. So this setting shouldn't work, but I will try it. It's one of very few settings possible here. Uh, so yeah. Maybe it works now, but probably not. So let's watch uh, Mace's game. We're just talking about your last game, I assume, right? It's probably not gonna work, the download. Well, it looks like it actually is, for once. What I probably did, changing the sound setting, is that now nobody hears it, both the stream and me. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, it actually worked. Normally I have to restart the entire game to watch a replay. Um, there he is. Nice colors. I actually like this. It looks like a Duelist Prismatic XD. Oh, if they aren't paying attention. They're Together, Paradox, we will enshrine your name in legend. So let's learn how to lane for the 100th time. Oh, I just saw a nice joke. I saw Chapelle because it was on the church building, but it was in the font of Chanel. Bombs ready. It's a pretty good joke by the devs. Dueling with Suckbot, Dynamo. Okay, actually got all creeps. Nice. Without, without the nice. It's four creeps, 300 souls. How does that work? The, the heal creep gives more souls, I would assume. I don't have time to play no, I'm, I'm retarded. It's just 75 for all, all of them, obviously. I don't know. Such, have fun. I'm tired. Don't know what to tell you. Dash 
dashing around the place. Also, whether they buy the same thing as usual, yeah, that's all booster. Mathra likes his poke. Oh, Mazer, I had a question. Does head, head boost, actual booster, also work on NPCs? And if yes, on which ones? Because, you know, not all NPCs have heads. And even if they do, it's not really clear where the head ends and begins. Like jungle creeps, they're just a head with an eye, so we don't really know. It only works on heroes, okay. That's good to know. Welcome, welcome. A little protection goes a long way. Yeah, complete uh, poke item. Scary, spooky ghost. extra health no region I guess because um, it's a pretty aggressive laning stuff right especially pocket seems pretty nice at poking uh, in the lane I think that's why you got some extra region and you were probably in need for a heal because if they're if you're playing against bursty opponents, and I think they both are, right? Both Pockets and Yamato. Extra health also makes sense. But extra regen also does what? Movement speed, right? No. Ammo. Extra... Uh, ammo. And you got a bit more heal as well. Which I didn't see you pick up that often. Well, actually that's not true. You picked it in one of the two games I watched. So, it's two out of three games. And more velocity, so yeah. You're just going for more sustain than usual. And if I had to guess, it's because of the matchup. Okay, she's just coming in and he tanks the tower, I guess. That's something I did uh, last game. And now she dies, nice. I like that swap. That was uh, nice. Actually, I think I should sandbox with all heroes quickly and see how the casting on every ability works. That will really help me avoid things. Because for example, until you told me recently, I had no clue that Lady Geist's ult is only very close melee range. Like that, that, that kind of stuff is super useful to know. Because then you just don't get near her if she has her ult and you start to get a big health difference. Playtime. Because for example, I don't know how you target your swap exactly, if it's avoidable or not. I think I should probably just quickly go cast that ability with all heroes after this. Nice, you know I should kill him, right? Yep, nice. I saw a flash second of Yamato ghost. <laughs> but didn't hit anything. Oh, the now is healing. You guys. Gathering time. This game seems to like robots. Like the devs. They're both kind of vintage robots though, both uh, Dynamo and uh, Thingy. Bebop. Okay, 
what are we buying now? Good you already bought gonna... Mr. Right Shot as usual, right but a bit late this time compared to last time, I guess because of the lay matchup. Spring boots. Doing spirit. Nice assist again. Miss burst as usual. You are wrecking these guys. And it's nice how responsive the Damo is to uh, to your swappings. I get to catch someone delivering an arm. Accelerating time. If you want to get up the bridge, you have to jump and hold spacebar, right? There is no more efficient way to do that. Well, besides walking around, but that, that doesn't seem efficient. I just wonder if you can do the wall jump, the WS wall jump to get up there, I don't know. Because I don't really know how to do that mechanic yet, I just saw it on YouTube and did it accidentally last game. It's a reasonably slow projectile. This game takes place in 1920s New York. Oh, that's why all the robots are vintage. I know it's the New York thing, but not necessarily the vintage part. Now go out there and impose your will. Oh, that's why there's a Native American in the game. They were still alive back then, kind of. Feels bad, man. Like seriously, on a real note. That is the biggest genocide ever. But people don't really talk about it as much as like Holocaust or something. Time. Nice. I really like your swappings, it's really fun. Besides just being, you know, effective for winning the game, it's also just fun to watch and stuff. Farm their camps, no? I guess after killing the tower, yeah. Maybe that's why firearms are so bad compared to punches. I mean, damage-wise anyway. They're not worse, of course, but they do less damage. Because 1920 is technology. Three guys in the lane, like you and two guys. That's not normal, is it? Not at this point of the game, anyway. I guess you didn't go for that camp because it was too big of a camp. I think it was like a tier 3 camp, but those are super slow to kill. It seems like the slot machine is the best money, right? For camps. And the other number assist. How many is that at this point? Oh, it's actually not that much yet, but still more than anyone. Yeah, you're actually the assist guy. Like, I mean, your character is just an assist guy. Has been destroyed. The urn is ours. One well time swap can change everything. Here we go. I see eight. Bombs ready. Slow it down. Good job. And all our camp. 
with the punch shoots thing. Very nice. Getting rich. Slowing hex. Do you tend to buy this off already character? Because so far it looks like that, but I don't know if you're just buying it for a matchup or if you just think it's good for your character to slow people down. I see Yamato. <laughs> Infinite assist bolt. I guess you go to kill McGinnis? Is that why you're running this way? I don't really see you chase people that much, so maybe you're just going for a camp? Yes. Oh yeah, there's a storm machine here. So you're just pretending to chase. So that you could farm their jackpot. I'm a bit worried she's gonna find you here. I hear some footsteps. And she's very close, but... I'm pretty sure you can hear someone punching the slot machines too, right? Like from a pretty big range. So you escape from the roof, makes sense. Well, McGinnis ignored you anyway. What was that? Was that because you were too high up? I know you get zapped then. Nice. Like actual good timing. That seems really difficult about that kinetic thing. Then a carbine. It's also quite some unsecured souls. It's not bad. Uh, I guess it was not all from the orb. Oops. I guess it was not all from the orb you picked up because you just did a lot of uh, casinos. That's a big orb that's laying on the floor. There. That's actually 700 souls. Uh, I don't think the respawn will take that long on 50 minute mark. And I think that's your first death, right? Yeah, it is. I can also just see it on the bar. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm tired. It's kind of late here. I'll probably stay all night again to play this garbage show. Probably. Also, I saw the orb. Of insecure soul still laying there. Nobody picked it up. Also, what item did you buy? Pristine emblem. Let me read that before we go on. Your attacks have additional weapon damage against enemies above 50% health. And then just general weapon damage, spirit power, spirit resist. Okay, cool. I didn't see you pick this up yet, I think. I know there are some items that are good when opponents are below 50% health. Over here. And Vindicta is good in general against things that have less than 50% health, right? So I guess you can do that to support teammates that have those kind of items. You take the items that are good above 50% and they take the shit lower than 50%. Then you really need actual communication in your team to do that kind of shit. And I don't think that really happens on random ladder games, right? Head to purple. Pulse grenade out.
Oh, by the way, Mason, I'm not sure if I bought a big enough monitor. Maybe you know that. I w I'm going from a 17 inch to a 27. Is 27 enough? From what I read, it is. And it's also too late to change it anyway, but. <laughs> Man, that was creepy. The guy behind the fourth wall, jungle wall. Shooting you in the face. I'm not back in Survive down. the burn. Nate, how many times are you going to say today you ordered a 27 inch monitor? Did I already say it? Okay. You know, Biden. Biden brain. Actually, I, I went to uh, My medical Biden consulting Biden. today, so maybe we're the on the way to uh, getting rid of the Biden brain. I uh, got a reference to another... Uh, what's that in English? It's EPE in Uruguay. It's like... Clinic for nose, mouth, ears, um, and a special sleeping clinic that's just completely focused on that. So I got a reference for both those places, and now I can go. So yeah, maybe uh, the Biden blast, uh, Biden brain, whatever, you, you know, more Bideding will be over at some point. That would be nice. I, I kind of hope they just tell me. Here, just take this machine, you know, the CPAP machine, because then maybe it's over in just two weeks or something. But on the other hand, I really hope I don't need to be a fucking robot for the rest of my life when I'm sleeping. It's more like Darth Vader than a robot, honestly. Like, that's so unattractive, not just to my potential wife, but also to myself. Like it's, I feel like if I use that, I'll just get another sleep disorder. Because at the moment, falling asleep is very easy. It's staying asleep that's impossible. And good quality sleep. But if I start s sleeping with a Darth Vader device, then it will probably be difficult to fall asleep. Because I have this fucking insulation on my mouth. And it also doesn't fix my breathing at day. I'm 99% sure I also don't breathe properly at day. Like if I pay attention to it sometimes. It's it's not normal. I don't really get air inside. I don't even know this camp. So where is that? In between. Next to the petrol station. Oh, it's close to the casino. Casino uh, camp. That's a good farming spot, I suppose. Is she older? Is that why she's not dead? Okay, she's dead. Six percent ammo, not bad. I still need to kill one more walker for flex slot, so I guess that's what we're going for here, maybe. Looks more like a fight first. Is ours. Time to set a trap. 
Is Affliction AoE or a single target? Okay, you're gonna die to bleed, right? Yep. No? Yes. What? That was literally the last tick of the bleed that killed you there. Unfortunate. What an assist bolt. Eight. In 22 minutes. Okay, new kill coming soon. I guess you went for this lane because all the lanes already had people in it. And this one allows you to uh, pressure your mouth so there was a suck bolt nearby that can help you. Just push the lane a little bit. Go to a farm maybe. There's a farm here on the roof, I think. You know, you're gonna help in that big fight soon, I guess. Clearing the wave. I'm not sure if that's actually a fight or people are just near each other. Okay, just ignoring. Time to make my move. You're killing someone? Come and get me. I'm kind of surprised you could kill someone there because there were two other guys. Anything new actually improved cooldown? That's it, right? Yeah, the fortitude. The old bane. The spirit damage applies healing reduction. If an enemy hero dies on this effect, you receive a large heal. Mm, did you put that because of Infernus? He heals a lot, right? I think the other ones. Well, Machinus also heals, even teammates. I guess you bought it for these two guys, right? The heal bane. Everyone is going in now. What the fuck was... Did you see that? What what uh, Abrams was doing? It was just headbutting the mid boss. Seems like the soul kind of does a lot of damage. Like I've seen you make a lot of kills not by assisting but just swap and shoot them in the face. Is it an active ability to heal Bane though, right? That's it. Yeah.
shop. I was already buying now. I'll throw in a freak. Here's your chance to shake like dash. And something else. What is the other thing? Some upgrade? Improved burst, yes. Because nothing else got taken a slot, so. Warp stone. I think that's also new. And well whatever. I I've seen you play this before, but I see in furnace. So you went for some extra mobility slash damage. Oh nice, man that's great, the suck bolt hit everyone plus time bomb inside that, man imagine getting sucked into a black hole and then still uh, and then also get time bombed, you know, that's it's like you get double time warped in a way, you, you basically become 500 years old in two seconds. What the fuck's happening to him? Okay. I guess it was some replay bug. Oh, nice. You guys actually pull back. It's not really something that happens when I play games. Because I'm bad. Farming their jungle, very rude. You're basically killing their pets. Good luck completing the ritual. So what did you buy now? Death. Spiritual down, improved burst. I think this is the new thing. That wall is really weird. You see that shit? It was fragmented. I wonder if that's intended. Pocket's also getting wrecked. It's not the first time you punch him when he comes out of the suitcase. Does that mean you can't really time parry if you come out of the suitcase? Or was he just not carrying? Like, I don't know how much the delay there is on pressing F after getting out of the suitcase. I don't know, just some kind of animation garbage. Nice assist, I think. Now he dashed away. He killed, he died anyway in base. Nice. Team wipe. What's Infernus gonna do? Bunch of nothing. I mean, that's some wrecking. Half an hour. This dam this soul difference. Also, the kill difference is huge. And they lost. That was nice. Thanks for the win. <laughs> that's your favorite line, isn't Thanks. it? He agrees. Yeah, that was nice. Most kills and assists, by the way. Not player damage, somehow, a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss. And then I'll quickly um, play all the heroes in sandbox. And when I say quickly, I mean I'm just gonna cast every ability to see how the casting works for every ability in the game. Because I think that will help me a lot with avoiding stuff, playing around stuff. And it's also just interesting. And then probably back to loop elo. So yeah, this first. Man, I should not do this, I have work tomorrow, but well, 
at least my work starts at 3 p.m. because um, I work remotely to a different time zone. Bye, peace. Okay, back. Let's close this garbage. So yeah, sandbox time. Um, yeah, I don't actually know how to test people. I actually played one game with this thing, but I don't really know how the casting works anyway. Of the abilities. So what things can we enable? Let's do no cooldown in case I want to do the ability twice to see what happens. No flex slots, don't really need that. I guess it's enough. Then I can also read all the... I can't hover over the abilities here. For some reason I can only do that in shop. If I do this in shop, then I can hover over it, but not if I'm outside of shop, I don't know why. So deal light melee damage to nearby units and send them flying back. Yeah, I already know what that does. He grapples you in, he puts a bomb on you, and then he does this and you fly away. Does the area damage where they land, does not do does not damage allies. Ah, okay, so you can make allies fly away as well, but then they don't even receive damage. Okay. Mm. Attach a sticky bomb to your nearby target deals explosive damage after a short fuse time. Gain 2.5% bomb damage for every enemy hero hit. Is that permanent? Or until you die? It's not very clear. For every enemy hero hit, hold. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I reassigned the key to that minus. Um, I was like, what the fuck is minus? But I just did that myself. Uh, yesterday, so that means self cast. I I I, I assigned the self cast button on my MMO mouse. It's handy to do it on yourself. So that means it doesn't say it doesn't do damage if you apply it to yourself. It does. So yeah, you can just do Allo Akbar, and then this is the grapple hook. Crafts and reels in the first year it hits and deals damage to enemies. Targets will be placed where you are facing. Hyper beam we already kind of know, but I guess I'll read it. Charges up your legs to only spark for tons of energy, deals damage, slows enemies movement and dashes. Slow movement and turn for a duration. Activating the air, you will hover while unleashing the beam. Yeah. I do remember how to do that. That's pretty brain dead. 
it's not even that slow uh, turning speed and then yeah let's test looks like three is just with your normal arrow yeah it is arrow i don't i mean a lot of i can't fucking speak i'm tired it's not arrow but your um, vision thing your what's the name for this in english like your loop or something i mean the hitbox of your bullet the white dot i don't know what the english word is for that so yeah, the first thing it hits and then um, oh it's already a attached a sticky bomb what happens if i put it here no target then let me check if it works if i like miss him no it just what the fuck so I guess you can't really play around it. Let's see if we aim really badly. Like we're all the way here. Okay, that's bad. That's bad, that's bad. Okay, you, you can miss by quite a long bit. Does it say how much exactly? I guess it's the six meter thing that's on top of the sticky bomb text. Or is that the AOE? I don't know. Looks on their faces. Oh, no, it doesn't work. I'm a bit too far, I guess. Still a bit too far. Okay, I see. There's some red square that pops up if you can actually hit it. And how does it work if there are a lot of enemies? Then you actually have to aim or something? Looks like I can only hit the thing closest to me. Like I'm aiming here, but... Now it doesn't even show me anymore, except my Omi in. Can you only hit the closest thing? Does it say that in the text? I have to go to shop, I guess. To never hey, a target that deals... Came to know. Or maybe the casting range is just very short. Maybe that's the 6 meter. And the AoE is 12 meter. I don't really know the icons, so let's not die in the sandbox. Okay, I have a game good luck. You too. Figuring out how this stuff is actually works. Actually, we can check if it's the 6 or the 12 meter quite easily with this static target. Okay, now I can attach a ball. Here already not. Okay, so that's definitely six meter. So I'm assuming that the other icon means 12, the 12 meter thing is the AOE. And six meter is how close you have to be to attach the bomb. Yeah, now we don't get a pop up. Maybe we can still do it. Nope. Okay, that's very useful to know. You can only do it very close. Yeah, now we can do it. You can't try to run, but you Doesn't do that much damage right now. So let's try to get a lot of targets near us and see if it's still only the nearest. Now we should be able... Oh yeah, this you can actually aim it if there are multiple in 6 meter range. Okay, that's good to know that you actually can aim it. Oh, actually dying to creeps, as usual. But if there's only one target, your aim is allowed to be very bad. Right? Why not anymore? Okay. Not completely bad, but still bad. So, let's see how people players do this. You do grapple, you do the bomb, and then you do one. So you just do a very quick 3, 2, 1. Those buttons are exactly in order on my mouse, so that should be very easy. I think I didn't attach the bomb. Why though? He was close to me. Okay, for like this I have to not do it too fast, apparently. I mean, that makes sense. He needs to be in 6 meter range for a threat. But where the fuck did he go? Wait, he stood on his vent, and that's why he, he disappeared? 
<laughs> He's here. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other dolls? You can put it on teammates, so we can also just do it on this one. Well, that, that would be hilarious if I do that in a real game. Pull in, bomb, push away onto a vent, and then they just disappear. Well, I'm never going to play Bebop, I think, but... I'm really just doing this so that I know what to do against stuff. Now I could actually play him in a game, because like I said, I played him once on ladder because I was forced to, and I had no clue what to do. So sandbox is pretty OP because it's actually very easy. You really just press, press 3, 2, 1 in pretty slow order after each other. Relatively slow anyway. What is the range on the punch? The uppercut. Light magnetic damage to nearby units send up flying. Doesn't say anything about the meteor radius. There's only a landing radius. But not how close they have to be to you to hit them. I guess it's just normal light melee radius, so it's a very very um, small one. Let's see if we can land a hook on this guy. We can with the bomb, and yeah, uh, this is kind of easy. Nice. Yeah, bebop is easy. Confirmed. Um, then let's go to another hero. Hello, I said change hero. Uh, Dynamo Sackbot. Got a music sound for that. Nice. Let's read first. With this energy pulse, it knocks enemies up in the air. Mm, it says 5 meter ability width. So I guess it's kind of an AoE, like a conal AoE. That in a 5 meter radius... But I don't know, I, I think I have to just shoot this to know. And with the place, this person avoid... Oh, that's when he becomes the ball, right? We appears a short distance away. Repairing your weapon is reloaded, that's OP. And there's a fire rate bonus for the next clip, that's OP. Man, that's a nice ability. Maybe I should Dynamo. Um, can be cast with self-cast to also bring nearby allies to give them half fire rate bonus. Can be cast with self-cast to also bring nearby allies and give them half fire rate bonus. How nearby do they have to be? Oh, it's written right there. Nine meters, nine meters ally distance. That's pretty big range. That's plus 50% from the sticky bomb stuff. Uh, any allies? I think I removed all my allies. The dolls. <laughs> Does it work on creep allies? Hello, I'm stuck. What the fuck? Is this a bug? I'm not doing anything. I'm not pressing anything. He's just walking. Is my key stuck or something? I had this in a game once, that was super annoying. Okay, it's over. I I don't know, I have a very good keyboard, but maybe not. So let's try to transport some allies that are not here. And again, I, I don't think the NPCs count, but it's going to test. I brought my allies, but it didn't do anything. Oh no, it's this button. I reassemble. Yeah, I don't think it worked on the creeps. Let's try one more time. Rearranging atoms. Yeah, it does not work on NPCs, as expected. Can I spawn an actual ally? I mean, it's. I don't think I need to do that. It's pretty obvious, right? I just do this, Matter do self cast. I think I did wrong the key assignment. I think I um, assigned the keys wrong from what I actually want. So let's do that again. I want 
ping on this. And I want self casts. Where is that? I want this on this, yeah. This is a bit easier. I don't use the ping all that much after all. Not that I use self cast much, but I might in the future. If I play um, a different character. So let's try that again. I probably have some doll that's mine that maybe gets teleported. Yeah, there he is. Hello? They can't shoot an atom. Oh, that does actually work. Nice. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Building a wormhole. Mm, that's very cool. And I guess if you don't want to bring any allies, you just click normally. For applied science. Wait, I did it. My condition has yeah, its advantages. Exactly. So you can choose to bring allies or not. Quantum that's very cool. And what does it do again if you bring allies? Then they get half the fire rate bonus, so it's 12 and a half percent. And they're immune for a little bit. Which seems very nice. Like you can avoid the Abrams stun if you time it nicely. You can even make no, you can't have a stockbot mirror, you can't have a dynamo mirror, so in this game, so whatever. I thought this was a dead game's only stream. I'm sorry, but uh, I got lured into the normie stuff by Macer and Jay. So yeah, we we're also playing games that are alive with over 30k viewers on Twitch and stuff. You are right, I, I usually only play dead games. Like my favorite game is, is, is uh, Civilization 4. That game is from like 2005. And Duelist is also very dead. Uh, so let's read the other abilities. Rejuvenating Aurora while channeling, restore health over time to you and any nearby allies. Tashi does not break channel. So I guess during channeling you normally can't do anything, but this specific ability does allow you to dash. Let's test that. If I can, for example, not jump, because that's what the text seems to say. Healing. Yeah, jumping cancelled it. Well, also because space is fucking cancelled. But I guess if space wasn't cancelled, it would still not work. You can move during channel. I don't really know what channel means. I don't. I haven't played a character that. That's not true. Abrams has a channel, but you know, I just run people into the wall. I don't really try to do anything with at the same time. Oh yeah, I cannot shoot. I cannot shoot during this. So I can move, but not jump. And normally channels means you can't dash either. But this is an exception. So that's all very useful to know. And it just heals, it's said, right? So I cannot shoot, but can move. Normally, that means you can only move normally, but with this specific ability, you can also dash. And it's a five second channel. I'm learning a lot here, just fucking reading and doing stuff. Like, why didn't I do this 100 hours of playing ago? Uh, singularity, I already know what it does, but whatever. Create a singularity in your hands that pulls in nearby enemies and damages them. Once you finish, enemies get knocked into the air. Yeah, that's very straightforward. I am the cosmos. Maybe I can test some. Um, what's the name of the second ability? Quantum entanglement. How the fuck? I will just call it quantum. That's easier. Um, like maybe I, I saw some guy when that did a really cool quantum going into the right location and then suck play. Maybe I can try that now. Teleporting. Oh, that's a lot more delayed than I expected. It still worked, but that was not the best timing because it had way more delay than I thought. I mean delay after the quantum. So I should go already, I think, and then press suck. No, still a little bit off. I know I sucked him, but I want to suck him in the middle immediately just to test the timing. Matter 
transfer. I'll hold him as long as I can. It was better, I guess. Anyway, I think I get him. No, I didn't try the kinetic pulse for some reason. There is an energy pulse that knocks enemies up in the air. It says it has some kind of radius. It said it had, has a five meter ra radius. It's like, yeah, it's kind of like a cone, I guess. How far does it reach? It's you and me. Stay back. No, that's far. It probably will tell me by the text. It only tells me about width, not length. No, that's not true. It says 50 meter stomp range. That's kind of far, so I should be able to hit it right. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to know in game, like, what's 5, what's 10, what's 50 meter. I know in sandbox you can see it like this, but... And yeah, you can apparently hit multiple things with that. Translocating. When people do that against me, the quantum, I just lose them completely. Even though they only teleport a very short distance, I see here. I want to hit multiple targets, just to try. I can't fail. Yeah, okay, it hit uh, both indeed. Okay, I think we got Dynamo. So in the case of Bebop, to play around Bomb, just don't get close. To play around Hook, they actually have to hit like a normal bullet, so just try to dodge like normal. The upward punch, um, it's light melee attack, so again, just don't get close. That actually will help me playing against Bebop. I didn't know the the bomb was only super close and that the uh, hook is just a normal bullet. And then Great Talon, I've already played him a bit. I already know what he does, but I guess very quickly I will do it again. Yeah, it's just big charge for extra damage. Go in the air and shoot. This shit is so annoying, the Rain of Arrows. Trap is cool though, and then I'll. My arrow will strike true. Bonk. That did no damage. On the move. And this shit is super annoying. It's also kind of AoE out of the air. Uh, but yeah, I, I've already uh, played him for one game, which felt really awful. So, I know what he does. The other one is a charge shot, it's kind of like a very quick snipe shot. And the other one is just you place a trap. Then, hey, so th this hero I don't really know. So, oh yeah, she makes you sleep, throw a dagger to damage and sleeps the target. Simitars wake up shortly after being damaged. Seeming as wake up shortly after being damaged. Oh, that's good to know. So you can actually make the sleep last shorter if you're not careful, if you shoot them in the face. I guess you would wake up if you get shot in the face by a bullet, right? It makes sense. Actually, logic game. Throwing a dagger does not break your invisibility. Sleep dagger does not interrupt enemies' chilling abilities. Okay, that's... Good to know, I guess. Wake up time is 0.1 second. Seriously? Uh, what? It's definitely longer. It also says 0.2 seconds minimum sleep time and 3 seconds sleep duration. Oh, I think it's saying that the wake up animation also takes time. And it scales with spirit power, apparently, because there's a spirit icon next to it. For people that don't know, if you see that purple Jew star on an ability, then um, it means it scales with spirit power. So I guess you can make the wake up time animation last longer, but it doesn't scale very hard, I guess, because it, I, don't, I don't know how to see that. How can you see how hard it scales exactly? Maybe it just means every spirit power is plus 0 0.1 second. I don't know. Um, so yeah, and it also does a little bit of damage. 
and it removes one stamina from level one. So yeah, it's hard to chase her. So yeah, this is an escape, a nice escape on a 1v1, and a good pseudo stun, I suppose, in a big team fight. Uh, let's first check how the targeting works for that. Oh, it just immediately shoots. So it's also it also works like a normal bullet, just like uh, do not no B box grapple. Go to sleep. Oh, that actually works. For some reason, I didn't expect you can sleep the tower. Oh, that's funny. I guess. Can you make sleep your allies? No. You cannot make your allies go to sleep. So it's just a normal bullet. Smoke bomb fade out of sight, become invisible and gain sprint speed. Attacking removes invisibility. Those enemies can see through your invisibility. That's very cool. I already know she could do that, but still, it's very cool. Fade time. It's only one and a half seconds? That doesn't seem right. No, okay, it says. I don't know what the fade time means, but it's any it the invisible stuff is eight seconds. That makes more sense. And it also scales with spirit. Because there's also a star over there. But what does the fade time really mean? Like the time that you go from invisible to visible, that animation time. And then you also have extra sprint speed. Spot radius, so you can see through her invisibility if you're 80 meters. Within 80 meters. You can make the cooldown. Oh, that means it's. You can go invisible infinitely, I'm pretty sure. If you go. Upgrade the ability once and then get a lot of spirit power. At some point, you will have no cooldown, right? You can keep it up all the time. And you get extra sprint speed a lot on level 2. If you're invisible, after invisible, gain 30% bullet lifesteal for 8 seconds. Seems good. Seems strong. Um, we'll play with that, but I'll first read the other stuff. Shooting a target increases your bullet damage on the target. Gain one stack per bullet hit. Shooting a target decreases your bullet damage on the target. Okay, gain one stack per bullet hit. Two if the hit is a headshot. Um, this is actually something I've seen a lot in games that I get a fixation debuff here. I, I also never knew what that meant. But it just means that the more bullets get you get hit by, the faster you die. I have noticed that, that I take exponential damage from this character. That I'm like full health and I try to kill her because I feel very comfortable. And then I go take 50, take 100, take 200, take 400, that kind of stuff. Like you just die very fast. So that's something to watch out for. It only has a 6 second cooldown. So you're just using this all the time, I guess. One step of bullet here, two of the head is a headshot. I don't know how long the stacks linger. Like after this ability is over, there's something I'm missing here. How, how long does fixation work? And how long is the cooldown? Because I don't know if the six seconds under the text means the ability lasts six seconds or the cooldown is six, sec six seconds. Here we have two clocks, so that makes sense. Wait, does it just not have a cooldown? Is that is that it? And like from the start, let's check. And then the fixation debuff just lasts six seconds. Um, actually, let's go to a dummy. It's a bit easier to check. There is a dummy on the fucking roof because I beboxed him. Hello? Why is it not working? I'm pressing 3. I'm missing something here. Shooting the target. Why am I not casting it though? I'm pressing 3. Maybe I did 
played, but it uses no animation. And because it has no cooldown, I don't see it happening. So let's check. Let's first shoot without fixation. Mm, it still gives me a fixation thing there. Like this yellow stuff. When does it stop? I guess now. No, it's immediately back again. I don't know how this works. Why, why doesn't it stop at some point, the fixation? Like, I immediately have an icon again if I start shooting now. Maybe I should shoot something else, or what's this? Hold to climb over obstacles, I guess. You mean, what? Self-cast? I'm so confused. Where did the pop-up go? Where did that stupid obstacle pop-up go? Okay. Maybe I should just ignore that. And I have fixation again. So what, it's just, a, it's fixation and self-cast that you just play once after you respawn and then you just have it forever on everyone? This ability is so confusing. Uh, let's try on this asshole. Let's first shoot him without fixation pressing. Oh, I have the yellow stuff again anyway. So is that yellow stuff something else? Yeah, pressing 3 just doesn't do anything. Sleep dagger is working. Smoke bomb. Oh, I guess that red line shows the radius when people can start seeing you. That's very cool. And this is the old. Just shoot everywhere without aiming. I don't think you can do anything there. So there's just no cooldown on the fixation. That's what was confusing about why is there only one clock in the reading interface. So yeah, there indeed is no cooldown. But then what does the six second thing mean? I would think that means the fixation only lasts six seconds, but that's not the case. Like I haven't used fixation for many seconds at this point, but I'll get yellow immediately. So it seems like it's kind of like a passive that you have to press just once and maybe after you die, you do it again. How about you, Mr. Punchbot? I have fixation on him immediately as well. But then what, is the, what does the six second thing mean, man? It's just there immediately. Or I guess it just resets the stack. That's what it means, right? Let's check. Man, this is H to read when he's moving. N not if I move along. Okay, so yeah, I think that's it. It's just six seconds, then the stack's reset. For, yeah. So six seconds and then the stacks reset, but you don't have to react to the ability. You have fixation immediately again. This is really weird how it's written. It's a passive, but also not really because you have to activate it. It's not very clear, but I guess I figured it out. And it looks like you can reset the timer by shooting again, right? Let's check that. So let's let make it almost run out. Yeah. That resets it immediately. That's scary. It's like a, a semi-passive. So I guess... Haze is just scary. That, that's it. Especially because you can also sleep you and then these stacks go up and up. Uh, so max stacks is 30. Which means you can do... Fi what? Yeah, 15. What? I'm retarded. It's six weapon damage. That's actually not that scary then. But you can upgrade the ability, so. Yeah, it's just six weapon damage at max stacks. But it does 60 spirit damage and 50% slow for two seconds to target every 20 stacks. What do you mean every 20 when the max is 30? That's also confusing. So you have 60 spirit damage and 50% slow for two seconds to target every 20 stacks. But again, what does it even mean when the max tax is 30 anyway? I guess because of the next upgrade, 40% max tax and plus 5% duration, 5 seconds, sorry. 
So you can do 50% slow for um, 20 stacks. So that means 60% slow total, or does it mean six seconds slow total? That's not clear here, or maybe both. And I'm also not sure if it increases the spirit damage for every 20 stacks. I, the way it's written, it looks like every 20 stacks you get all three things. You get the extra time, the extra slow and the extra spirit damage, but I'm not sure. And then the less ability upgrade 0 0.2 per stack weapon damage. So you basically double your thing. Then you can go to 20, except you also have 70 max stacks. So you can go way beyond that. And then you also have this old bullet dance. And they're flurry firing weapon neighbor enemies with perfect accuracy. And in flurry haze gains a fire rate bonus and evade some of the bullets shot at her. Target hit the shots. Some weapon damage, some invasion chance of 50%. More weapon damage in general, I guess, or when ulting, I'm not sure. This upgrade of Bullet Dance 1, I'm not sure if that means just 7 weapon damage in general or 7 weapon damage when ulting. Less cooldown, plus 1 targets hit per shot. Okay. So, yeah, Haze is a bit unclear to me when I read all the stuff. But it's good to know that the sleep dagger is a normal arrow. It's time for you. So that's not too difficult to dodge, I guess. And then this is just really cool. Oh yeah, that breaks the invisibility. Yeah, fixation, kind of weird. Uh, maybe we can check if you do have to press it. I want to know that. So let's switch heroes, just to reset the hero and see if you need to actually activate fixation or if it's just a fucking passive completely. Okay, it's actually a passive. You never have to activate it. Good to know. And then we go to the next hero, the furnace. Catalyst. Show napalm that slows. Not show. Spew napalm that slows enemy movement and provides the damage the furnace does to them. Plus 25% damage, that's very strong. 50% spirit damage, that skills. You get an extra charge even at level 1. Movement slow a lot as well. And it lasts for 4 seconds. Debuff duration even 8 seconds. So you should really not get hit by Catalyst. Uh, let's see what it actually looks like. I guess it's the thing on the floor. Yeah, but not really. It's different from what I thought. He also has fire on the floor, but this is just oil. Let's do the no cooldown thing again. Now that we know that the haze thing is a passive. Got something for you. It's very short. At least. So it's kind of like um, the Bebop. Um, no, not the Bebop. Dynamo. The shoot them up in the air thing. Pulse Blast or something, whatever. It's kind of like that, where it's AoE in front of you in, in a cone shape. So it's not too difficult to hit, but you do have to actually aim. I don't know, Napalm looks like just horror. Because I don't know Napalm from um, horrible Vietnam War footage, where it's just people burning. It feels bad, man. Light so you have one charge, and if you upgrade it, this will make the fires burn brighter. Okay, it does have a cooldown, even if you have two charges. Yeah, you can't spam it too hard, and so that means you need to dodge in pretty big waves against him. If you're in semi melee range, you really have to dash jump to avoid this stuff. Or just don't get into melee range. Semi melee range. So, what was the radius on that again? 30 meters? That's, isn't that a lot? Let's check like, how far we hit him. 
that didn't seem to hit him, even though the black stuff hit him. Okay, now there's a deep buff bar, yeah. Let's go a bit further. Might have to wait for the debuff to go over first. Now it's over. Okay, yes. The lead still hits from pretty far. Also from this far. We have to wait for the debuff to stop. No, it's... Okay, there was some brain fart. I clicked shooting and stuff. I guess the hitbox is quite straightforward. It's just the black stuff, right? Yeah. That is very big. That is pretty hard to do. Especially twice in a row. Okay, it doesn't hit him anymore here. One step and now it hits him, I think. No. No. Okay, here it hits. Yeah, it's pretty far. And it's also quite wide. So good to know that. That he has a lot of damage amplification and it also makes you slow. Flame dash move forward at high speed and leave a flame trail. Oh yeah, that's the other floor thing that I was thinking about. And leave a flame trail that burns enemies. Inference against 50% slow resistance for the duration. Hold shooting to dash faster. So he's super fast, 20 meters per second max dash speed. You have DPS that it does, but it increases with spirit damage. Last time this three seconds till duration lasts a bit longer than that. Dash speed is 12 meters per second. I guess the max thing means you don't actually do 20 meters per second. It only does that if you buy items that increases your shit, but you get 12 meter per second anyway from ability. And then four and a half meter trail width. And if you upgrade it, fire rate slow, six seconds. So it's really hard to trade with this guy, right? I've noticed that in my games. That if I want to want this guy, it just doesn't really work. And now I know why. Because this is a lot of damage amplification and you get slow. And this also makes you slow, right? No, it just gives you slow resistance. But it does damage to your opponents, I guess. Burns enemies. Doesn't really explain what that means, but yeah, damage, I guess. And you can go faster if you want. Let's try that in a big open space. That's not that increased speed yet. That's a pretty wide trail. And let's now uh, hold shooting to go faster. Oh, that's really a lot faster. That's very cool. On the move. Oh. It's So you can also cancel this. No one outruns me. Try to keep up. I'll leave nothing but edge. Oh, you can make a pretty sharp turn with that actually. With Abram's charge. You can't really make a very sharp turn. It looks Let's like go. with this guy you can. Yeah. Oh, he's way more mobile. <laughs> you see that That's shit? nice. <laughs> okay, also do that on high speeds. Kind of, but less sharp. So that seems very powerful, these two things. Then after burn, your bullets build up. Yeah, that's also very powerful. I guess in Furnace is just good. Your bullets build up, apply a burning effect on enemies. That's very annoying when you play against it. Especially because you can do that from very far. Furnace bullets and abilities will refresh the duration. Burn duration in three seconds. Build up for bullets. Victims deal minus 30% spirit damage. Okay, nice. Burn duration plus one second. That seems not too impactful. But then the plus 30 DPS, yeah, that fucking triples it. That's pretty big. Are you still in sandbox? Yes, I'm looking at all the abilities and how to cast them. And reading all the shit. And it's very helpful. I got pretty trolled by Hayes third ability, Fixation. Because I was like, where's the second uh, clock on the description? Where's the cooldown? 
And then slowly but surely I found out it's a fucking passive. I thought I, I was the only hero with Paris with uh, Abrams, but yeah, there are more passives. Um, your bullets build up, um, yeah. 60% headshot build up, 10% build up for bullets, build up decay time. So you need to be not hit by him for 15 seconds, only then the stacks reset, I guess, is what, th what that means. Oh wait, I'm supposed to apply Afterburn. Why is he still getting debuffed by something? I didn't press the button. Is that also a passive then? Yes, it's also a passive. There's no clock to say how long it takes. Yeah, I cannot actually press it. Pressing 3 does nothing. So another passive found. And then that's the timer, right? Wait, that's not 50 second timer, that's way shorter. Why? 15 second build up decay time, that means something else then. Because the burn duration is indeed only 3 seconds, and I really noticed that, it goes away very quickly. Not so quick now, I'm confused. I guess it means, I guess it means this. The actual burn takes 3 seconds, but the stacks last 15 seconds. So if you get hit again within 15 seconds, the old stacks come back. And you get hit for 3 second burn again, or 4 seconds if you upgrade the ability. And then if you go to ability 5 level, 4 whatever, how you call it, 5 ability points. Then it does triple that burn damage, that's pretty insane. Okay, so yeah, that, that's very strong. This seems like a character I could play, maybe. Like, um, everything I read is strong, and this is a passive, so brain dead, kind of. Re relatively, anyway. Conclusive combustion turns you into a living bomb and explodes after a short delay, slowing all enemies in its radius. So yeah, it's a bit, a bit harder to cast Abram's ult, right? Because there's the delay and you need to get near. Arbums does too, but you know, you have the stuff in the air that makes it easy to get near without dying. And you're a bulky character as well. Uh, does a lot of damage. Three second delay, it's pretty long. The stun at least lasts 1.25 seconds. So let me check in the gym if that means I can punch him. I'm pretty sure 1.25 seconds is enough to punch without getting parried. Actually, this guy doesn't parry, right? Oh. You can hit that far, okay. Turn them to ashes. Yeah, I don't know if this guy even buries, so whatever. I'll just assume you can punch with that stun. So three very good abilities, but then his last ability seems a bit not bad at all, but you know, worse than Abrams. It's like a, a bad version of Abrams thing because of the delay and you need to be near, but it's a bit harder to get near. I know he has the trail that we just tested with the flame dash, which can go pretty Burning fast back. if you press shooting. But the thing is, you have that delay. So yeah, that, that's actually pretty hard to time. That's pretty skillful. Let me check if I can do that with that guy. Two seconds. On the move. Who's with me? Mm, no, that took way longer than I thought. Two seconds is a long time, apparently. Incinerate. Mm. And away we go. Let's ash him. Yeah, I guess, but I would have been dead in a normal game if I did it like that. So let's do it from really far. <laughs> I keep thinking space is to make it go Easy faster, action. but it's fucking shooting. <laughs> Gotta run. Take him down. Okay, you can actually cast the ult during the channel. No one outruns me. It's my time. Can you stay on the trail while casting it already? Let's check that as well. Let's go, burn! Yeah, it doesn't cancel it. 
I, I expected that to get cancelled. So that means during channels you can cast abilities because you cannot shoot during a channel, right? That's what I noticed when doing uh, Dynamo. Let's check. Yeah, but obviously I cannot shoot here because shooting means I go faster. So you cannot shoot or dash during a channel, except that one Dynamo ability, then you can still dash. That's some special thing. But apparently you can still cast abilities during a channel. Let's check with number one as well. Yeah, you can also do that. So literally the only things you can't do during a channel is jump and dash and shoot. That's it. And that one Dynamo ability can still dash during the channel. Um, what else are we going to test? Just new hero. Ivy. Put two bombs, summon a patch of choking vines that damage and slows enemies in radius. Okay, that's very straightforward. But let's see how the bomb casting goes. Okay, it's just like Calvin's frost grenade. I'll get Disgusting, honestly. Then you watch this covenant, gain bonus and momentum connected to nearby ally to share them. Healing is replicated among all those connected. Connection requires line of sight, press to lock on the target. Uh, we have to find an ally. Is this an ally? No. I, I actually need to put this guy on the roof. Yeah. Where, where the fuck did I put my ally? <laughs> I think in the corner over there, yeah. Oh, this guy has four stamina, nice. Now's our chance. Okay, so it's not doing anything until I press two again, right? Yeah, now we do the birth string again, the baby string. The I remember that uh, from with Mazer. Can you cancel that? You cannot, I, I guess, because there's no reason to ever cancel it. You need eye of sight, it said, right? Connection requires line of sight, yes. Yeah, bonus moment you connect. It's already working? Then what, what does the lock on to target really mean? If it works immediately? Like it means that if my target is moving, I can't hit it on non-allies, so. I think the lock on means you will not get out of line of sight. You will just get pulled around by your ally. Like you just become a slave to their will or something. I think that's what the lock means. So, hello, why can't I see? Why doesn't the hover work? I guess because of the confident. Healing is replicated when all is connected. Your bonus will make it connected. So yeah, you're, su you're just supposed to buy a bunch of support items, right? I guess you can buy only four active items because there's only four fucking slots for that. So you can't just spam support items and share them with someone the whole game. Um, and a stone form to yourself into impervious stone and smash into the ground, slowing and damage enemies nearby. It's a very short stun, I see. This is four percent of your max health. Get some air control before falling. Okay, let's see how that works. Stone form. Very short. They think they're in control. No, okay, yeah, you have a very short amount of time where you can still move during the cast. What the fuck did you say? I'm not going down without a fight. They're not bringing me down. So you, you can basically not hit if they're not close to you. It's a very short range that you can influence the movement yet. of this. That's also good to know. And then airdrop, I've already seen that. Take fly with an ally or a bomb. A bomb? What? That's Drop your ally or bomb to cause a large explosion and cause movement slow. I even and ally gain a bullet shield with flying ants. While lifted your ally gains bullet resistance we cannot attack and deals minus 50% damage. I drop as faster cast time when targeting an ally. 
to accelerate flying speed, to shoot, scope to drop ally or bomb. But how do you take flight with a bomb? Maybe we will see that if we cast it. Activate, self-cast, activate. I guess that means a bomb if you do self-cast. Yeah, I think. Drop bomb, yes. Apparently, self-cast means you do a bomb instead of an ally, it makes sense. Okay, this is actually really fun. <laughs> it's only one bomb though. Four to deselect. To activate, you cannot put it on NPCs, right? Yeah. So let's do Hope self. Self cast and pick up an ally after that. Drop on. Nice. And speed up. Okay. So let's do that one more time and now actually do it on this. Activate with normal button and then okay, cool. Hmm, every seems really fun. Let's fly faster, you ask. Drop ally on the minions. Does it also do damage? Oh! Apparently, if I drop an ally, that also does damage. Like, I know it's kind of saying that here, but I wasn't sure. Because it says drop your ally or bomb, and then I don't know if the text after that, to cause a large explosion, blah, 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 that causes movement slow. There's no way of knowing if that only applies to the bomb or the ally, because they're using the word or. But I guess it applies to both. What am I doing? I'm out. Bonk. I know I can cancel with space, but... Um, okay, let's try the next thing. Kelvin, I already know, kind of, but... Yeah. Okay. I actually have a question about this. Like, what is the point of move up and move down buttons, left shift and, and five in my case. If you can also just go up and down by moving your camera. Is that just so that you can aim on here? Yeah, you can still shoot on the ice. I guess it means you can still aim correctly, but also go down or up, even though you don't want to move your mouse up or down because you want to shoot someone in the face. I, I guess that's why those buttons exist. So it's for a crouch, you go down, even though you're looking up, right? Like, yeah, I think that worked. Yes, then you can still shoot in the sky. On the move. And still go down with your ice path. But I guess if you're a new player, you don't even really need to do that. Well, it's still useful to know. Useful to train that. Because I actually will play Calvin if I don't get Abram, since it's my second pick. Work. And I don't really know. Flexible unlocked, I killed a Guardian ex accidentally. Okay. Nice aim. Um, and then three. Oh, yeah, the broken thing. So that means. Yeah, indeed. Because just like the other channel, you can use abilities during a channel. So I can fucking Ice Beam. And then also start ice skating. That's insane. And that also means I can do ice beam and throw a grenade, right? You're busy? Oh, why not that? So you can cast abilities during a channel except the frost grenade? Why is that? Well, that, that's useful to know. But I don't understand why. And then the ice dome does what? Kelvin freezes the air around him, creating an impermanent of on itself. Yeah, I really know that stuff. No, applies to rapid. Regenerate health. Enemies are slowed. So yeah, that's a nice way to do a 1v1 and kill someone, I guess. Or protect a teammate. Or an objective. Yeah, that's very strong. You can apply even more fire rate slow, besides movement slow, against the opponent, so you can trade very easily. Cooldown reduction, 70% health regen more, 
and now it kills with spirit power. Okay, insane. So if you go a lot of spirit and max level frozen shelter, and you trap someone inside with you, you can always one for one them, I guess. Unless you're super behind on souls. Pretty insane. Um, change hero. I will Geist. never be forgotten. This is just like the frost grenade. So that's the essence bomb. So if some of you have launched wound deals damage after a brief arm time, self damage type is spirit and can be mitigated. Self damage type is spirit. Oh, okay, the, the healthy sacrifice. So that I guess it means the self damage goes down with spirit power. I kind of hope so for Geist. So it's a short arm time instead. Oh, I guess it means delay on the bomb itself. It's laying there for a little bit before it explodes, right? Yes, arming duration half a second. You can make it bigger AOE by upgrading it. More damage. Bombs leave a toxic mess on the ground, dealing 10% of the original damage per second for 6 seconds. Okay. Life drain, create a tether that drains enemy half of time and heals you. Targets must be in line of sight and in the max range to drain. At least it's a very large. Uh, very long range, 20 meters. You can shoot and use other abilities during the drain, but your movement speed is reduced by half. Press 2 again to cancel, okay. Let's test that for a little bit. Yeah, the tower is actually dead. <laughs> it's not an enemy, so I can't do it. Or you can even shoot something else, I guess, when you're tethering. Yeah, it's still sapping over there. That's nice to know. You can sap something and then just turn around and shoot something in a completely different direction. That's good to know. Heal shoot, targets must be line of sight. Well, so I guess you can't turn around completely, right? It says you have to be in line of sight. I'm not sure if that's only for aiming, though. I still see an animation. I think you only have to be in line of sight to cast it. It's a bit confusing, as with many things in this game. For me, anyway. And then you are Malice. If some of you help to launch both shirts is a buy stack of Malice. Each stack slows the victim and increases the damage to take from you. So if it increases over time. Okay, it doesn't work in allies, of course. Your death is inevitable. Your time runs short. Oh yeah, it says the amount of stacks. How oh, it died, I guess. You will suffer. Because it does a little bit of chip damage. And then, um, how long is the stack take? Only 16 seconds, apparently. But I guess you can reset the timer by throwing a new malice. I need a beefier thing to test this on. What was that? I guess I missed it. No, I did not. So it has pseudo AoE. It looks like it has a the daggers. Is that a dagger? Malice, whatever. It has a pretty wide bullet, if you can call it that. This is just the beginning. You will suffer. Oh, I didn't hit him though, so it's not as wide as it looks. It starts with a simple cut. From here, only misery yeah, will it's, fall. it's not as wide as it actually looks. You will be weakened. So will this reset the timer? Your time yes, it does. Short. Now it's slowly going away. And then if we hit him again... This is just a taste of what's yeah, to come. He's also slow again. That's scary in a 1v1, but... The cooldown is kind of long for a 1v1, with 6 seconds. Soul exchange, yeah, that was very short range, right? What is the target thing? Oh yeah, it's need 4. So how close is it? 7 meters. 
It's only one meter more than Bebop's bomb, if I remember correctly. I'm back to full health, nice. If I'm not seeing him, can I still cast it? No. No. So I guess I have to kind of aim. But not, yeah, it's just like Bebop's bomb. You have to aim, but not well. Like here, look, it's not, you see, it's like a few meters before I actually hit him with my visor. I can already cast it, but I do kind of have to see him. And then it's also just very close range, ultimate. Yeah, only now I could actually do it, even though he was already behind me. So yeah, this is very interesting, this sandboxing. Learning a lot. Next one. Shiv. I've played against him a lot, but I never really get what the fuck he's doing. Ground strike. Stun the ground beneath you, damaging enemies in front of you. From ground strike. Well, airborne. You quickly dive towards the ground. Damage grows slower after 25 meters. Stun ground beneath you, damage enemies in front of you. Stomp damage. I don't know how big the range is. I guess it's an 11 meter long straight strike or what? Let's test. I'm about to show no, you it's a very best. large cone actually. Having fun yet? But pretty. It's, it's not 11 meters. I'm not even hitting him here. Die strike! Okay, do we hit him? Is this? Wait, we can check that like this. Yeah, I can do it on the ground, but it's like a hundred billion times cooler when I do it midair. Dropping in. Actually, it sounds like an American. I can do this all day. Yeah, okay. It's, that's the eleven meter thing. So well, decent man. range, but not that much at the same time. Tired but it's very wide. You want to mess with me? That's still too far, apparently. I'm about to show yeah, you the I'm edges back. of the animation also hits it. Let's dance, buddy. Yeah. So very wide, a little bit long, but not that much. Tired of getting your ass. And it doesn't do any damage, even though this character always does a shit ton of damage. I can do this all yeah, day. and if you're in the air, it does something like this. In. Maybe we can go higher and see what happens if you do this from really high. Just how fast do we go? Having fun yet? Okay, go straight. Very, yeah, in a very straight line. So the reach is not that much. I did, I was not trying to get Don't up there, me. but okay. I wasn't trying to use the zip line. Well, we can use the crouch from the zip line with a boost to see just how hard he stomps the floor then. I didn't really see him do that much extra damage from that, but let's try again. Because then you have a lot of speed. F, and then we use crouch to go up. Strike. No, doesn't seem to do that much extra damage. I guess I misread it. From ground strike while airborne, you quickly dive towards the ground. Damage grows after 25 meter. Oh, then you have to cast this really far away from him. And then you get six extra spirit damage per meter. So you have to do it from really far to get extra damage. Not sure how I can do that. It should be possible from here, I guess, if I don't go on the zip line. I said not on the zip line, you asshole. It's a bit. It's a bit fucked, I guess. You can't really make him work near the zip lines. Because, how do I move so far without a jump? So let's just try dash. Dive strike. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you just have to go from very high, but they also need to be kind of near you. Because you can't use this ability from that far away. I can do this all day. Oh, this got close. But the thing is, when I actually cast the ability, I'm already already relatively close to him. So I guess this is a character that's supposed to come from very high. Maybe we can push this thing. 
Yes, we can just punch it over the edge. Because this should be 25 meters, this building. Goodbye. Uh, how many meters is that? Mm, it doesn't show depth. You won't stop me. I don't think I hit it. <laughs> Actually, bad. Tired of getting your ass kicked? Mm, I guess you have to aim better, lol. Does it work with the crosshair? I think that's the word for the visor, whatever. You know, the, the bullet aim thing. You wanna mess with no, me? I'm stuck in the building. So what if I take one little step over and then press it immediately? Out, out. Then I'm stuck on the advertisement. Die strike. Mm. Man, you really need to come from high to do extra damage, I guess. Or whatever, that's enough testing with that ability. Struck enemies are popped into the air and showed slowed by 50%. Oh, let's actually check what that looks like if we upgrade it. They're about to learn that their arms are too short to box with God. Okay, just a very a little bit let's up in dance, the air. Buddy. Damage per meter, pump 10% and improved scaling. But you still need to do it from 25 meters far away. Like, I don't really see how you can do that, except from really tall buildings. Still, it's cool, I guess, that you have a character that can take advantage from going high up a building. Put yourself through the air towards the target. Oh, I guess this thing helps you do the stuff. Through the air towards the target using grapple, also resets your limit of air jumps and dashes. Cool. A lot of jump velocity added, cooldown goes down, cast range and gain plus 6% weapon damage, 20% fire rate to weapon, bonus buff. Okay. Pull yourself towards the air towards the target using grapple. So I think that's that kind of uh, lasso thing that he does. Let's check. Grapple too, okay. You can't cast it from that far or something? No target. So from how far can you do it? 30 meters. So I guess I'm too far away. It's still too much. Let's check how many meters this is. Oh, that's 30. That's a lot closer than I expected. Can you improve the length? Yes, 20 plus 20 meter cast on number two. So you can go up to 50 meters away. Out of range? Not anymore, apparently. Oh, you don't actually go to him. You just use it as a kind of a, a what? Put yourself through the air toward the target. I expect it to go where he is. But that's not the case. I'm about to ruin your day. Uh, I don't really get the point of this. Like, it seems like I just jump over him. Is flying in on someone trying to escape a dick move? Sure, but I'm what? alive Why and they're dead, so mental there? who cares? I thought you could do that. Yeah, I don't really get this. Like, I can hit it, but it, it doesn't pull me towards the enemy, so I don't really get the point. Let's try it one more time by combining two and one abilities. Because I feel like that should allow you to do a good stomp. Is that the word for the ability? Ground strike, whatever. I'm coming, baby. Oh yeah, that kind of works. This character seems difficult, honestly. Uh, Flock, strike your enemies with your whip, stealing life from them. 25 meter long range. A lot of heal. 
versus heroes. Movement slow, cooldown reduction, a lot of extra damage, and more fire rate slow. Whipping them. Okay, this thing's actually very weak in the beginning. 65. Yeah. But this is probably pretty strong if you upgrade it. I got a little yeah, something for pretty far. You gonna run? Or do you want me to slap you around some more? 25 meter. Okay, so I'm almost out of range. I want to get a feeling for what 25 number, meter baby. is. Keep them coming. I guess this is just over it. This is 26. Don't you get it? I'm playing with you. Yeah, okay. So this step is the difference. It's also fucking written here, I just noticed. Kind of. I guess, yeah, whatever. And then the old death slam. Focus on enemies to connect whips to them. Or channeling, connect enemies are lifted and stunned, then slammed them to the ground. Victims and enemies in the landing zone will be damaged and slowed. Press shoot to throw connected enemies early. Enemies that are not in line of sight or out of range during the last time will not be grabbed. Uh, this seems like something I just have to play to get it. Let's throw distance damage, cooldown reduction. Let's go to the place where we have a lot of enemies. Are you still a sandbox? I got you. I won two games in that time. Hey man, I don't know what all these characters do. And how all these abilities work. That's why. And it seems sort of like very useful information. Any creeps? Give hmm? up okay, I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing here. Die. Does it only work on non NPCs or something? Looks like that. Enemies, I guess that means non NPCs. Other way, can't. Night, night. So, this ability, you Take kind of have to well. get everyone in vision, and then... Wait, you didn't even do anything. Here's the grand finale. So, I guess you just have to stay out of line of sight, if you hear that bell thing, and then you don't get lassoed. Death slammed. Connected enemies are lifted and stunned and stunned to the ground. You fix the enemies in the landing zone. Press to throw. Yeah, let's try to throw them early. This character actually seems really hard. Okay, that also cancels the entire ult if you make them, if you throw them early. I want more enemies so that I can see how it works if you want to target multiple. But I don't really know how to do that here. To get more dolls here. Um, yeah, enemies that are not in line of sight or out of range during the latch time will not be grabbed. That didn't seem to be the case. I, I was looking away. Like here. And now I look away and he's still getting slapped. So I don't get it. Why does it say that? I guess they're just saying you have to get them in line of sight once to latch on to them. Once you latch onto them, it's fine. You can break line of sight. I think. You go out of range during the latch time. Will not be grabbed. Because the range is 80 meters. So even if I put it in my vision, I will not grab him here, right? Taking you out. Oh yeah, it doesn't even reach there with the light. It actually shows you. Here's the grand finale. Sandbox is so nice. Because you can test this right, kind of shit. I'm done playing with you. Okay, yeah, yeah. It actually helps you with seeing the 18 meter range as well. Okay, yeah, this character seems very hard. Can you tell me what you remember? Dinosaur is not meaning field of vision. I guess because the sight you know, is altered when you cast this ability. It means there are no obstructions. And in this case, the 80 meter range is also an obstruction, right? But what, I, what did I remember? Um, for example, the channeled abilities, you can uh, not jump or dash, except with one channeled ability that Dynamo does, the quantum thing. All the other channeled abilities, you cannot jump or, or dash. Uh, you can still move, you can also not shoot, 
but you can cast abilities. Except one thing for some reason, I cannot throw a frost grenade during the channeled uh, ice beam from Kelvin. But I can do two channels at the same time, kind of, with Kelvin, if I remember correctly. Let me quickly check that again. Because I remember I did something with Kelvin at the same time that I didn't expect to work. Like the make an ice path and then also shoot this. Yeah. Like I don't even see the older channel anymore. I You can do two channels at the same time. It's just weird that it doesn't show you two bars. You see this? I can do an ice path, then I do Arctic Beam and then I see only one channel. Why, why don't I see two bars to see both channels? I guess because it's a game in Alpha. But I cannot throw an ice grenade, even if I do only one channel. Oh, now I suddenly can. What? I couldn't do it when I did the ice beam. Now I can't throw a grenade. I guess because it, they're both weapons or something. So yeah, I can ice skate and throw a grenade. But I cannot do the other channel, so that's a bit confusing for me. But in any case, you can use abilities and items during channels, but not shoot. And yeah, not jump or dash. I got you. We forge our own path. But I'm guessing I can't do grenades and ice beam channel because um, they're both weapons that use the visor. Them. You are busy, it says. Um, what here is that you go through? You see whatever expires first. Okay, that's actually... A good way uh, to know it as well. I went through, let me show you. I still have this half XD from McGinnis. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to sleep tonight and not play any games. What the fuck? I'm just testing, man. I'm testing a lot of random garbage. I'm not just testing the abilities, but also all the stuff with the abilities. Mini turrets, deploy mini turrets. I'm also reading all the garbage, so. Medical sphincter. Deploy spirit that heals nearby units. Oh, that's the oh, spray the can, right? Yeah. Okay, this is a spirit, apparently. I thought it was a spray can. Spectral. Oh, yeah, she's Living a ghost girl. Now. Barriers up. I guess you cast with the bullet? Cutting them off. Let's check. Send it out a wall. Uh, no, it just pushes it very forward, no matter what. Apparently. Oh, okay. Remove wall, I guess. Building cover. Yeah. Okay. You cannot really put it close to you unless you hit an obstacle, I suppose. Let's test that. It's time to block them off. Oh, there's also an erupt wall thing. This is our battlefield. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. That's how you make it a short travel time. You use uh, shooting. Building a barrier. And then you can press the ability button again to just remove the wall in case you're cock blocking your own teammates. Wall incoming. Okay, that's very cool to know how this works. Walls out. The walls are very disgusting, but. And then, unless you follow the rockets at home in on target location. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it works like the frost grenade and the uh, lady guys bomb, I guess. Goodbye. But you can move it. Oh, I didn't know you could move it that fucking fast. That's insane. Okay. Good to know. As you can see, sometimes I do go fast, depends on how straightforward it is, it is and if I get ideas to test shit with, but this is it. You such a Pepega, press left mouse button, yep. <laughs> what abilities does Ivy have? She has the vine thing, which works like the frost grenade, and the lady guys bomb. She can tether, right? Uh, I didn't really understand what the locking means, but my guess was that if you press lock, because you can first just attach yourself to someone and then you can click it again to lock. I'm guessing that means you will follow your ally around no matter what. So you cannot break line of sight and break the tether. 
and you will just do whatever your ally wants. That's what I think the lock means. And then you have the really fun flying. If you self-target, you drop a bomb instead of an ally. So yeah, you can drop an ally or a bomb. And the ally also does damage if you drop him. And then what was ability three? That one I don't necessarily remember. What was that again? Don't worry, I'll protect Stone form, of course. And something that was good to test with that is that you have a little bit of movement freedom to cast this, but it's a very short window and a very short distance. It's like almost a melee attack. Uh, that was also good to test with this. So if I see an Ivy do this, just a single dash should be enough to uh, to avoid it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Mo and Krill, actually, I already know this guy. I am Krill, this is Maurice, and we are at your service. I don't really understand what combo really does, because when I s you see people use it against me, it's, it wrecks me. And when I play it myself, then it does nothing. But that's not really a casting issue, that's, I think, a build issue or something, or soul difference issue. And yeah, Slam Blast is this kind of cone. There are a lot of abilities like that, where you get a cone in front of you for a kind of short range, but still a bit of range. And Scorn works the same way, actually. Slam Blast and Scorn are the same kind of cone thing in front of you. Yeah, Burrow is really funny. Trust me. I already know this from you. So yeah, this is just a normal grenade, like Kelvin's, Time Wall. Well, let's check how the placement works for the time warp. Locking projectiles. Oh, I love this part. They cannot shoot oh, there's charges. This. Well, only one, but I guess you can upgrade it. Ready yeah, you can get more charges, which is cool. So you just place it where the bullet is, right? Time wall. Kind of. Walls up. You can close it, place it this really close so this way, I guess. Can you put it very far away? No, it's just like a semi melee thing. I but yeah, it's with the bullet. Um... Wall set. I'm making a light show over here. Come and get me. Yeah, it's like semi melee. They can't shoot through this. Like if I do it, if I aim like this, it's kind of random how this it gets placed. Down. So uh, I think you should just oh, not do that. Part. You should definitely look up a bit, and then. You have the kinetic carbine. Let me get a feel for that as well. Can you? Oh, you can zoom with this. There's no enemies inside, but. Accelerating time. And then let me check how the swap is targeted. Um, guess I have to go to some allies. Oh yeah, she has funny animations. I like dancing. Oh, you can't cast it on fucking minions, of course. Hello, can I go there? Yes. All the way. Is this also with your bullet? It seems that way. Let, let me miss. Yeah, it's not... There are these abilities that are a weird kind of target where you can miss by quite a bit. You know what I mean, Macer? Like um, the Bebop Bomb, for example. The Bebop Bomb, if you are in 6 meter range and you kind of miss it, you still hit it. That kind of target. Like, if I hit here now, then it would hit. But this one is actually skillful. You actually have to hit him. Let me miss by a little bit, see if that does anything. Yeah, okay, it's actually a bullet. See, I wasn't, I wasn't sure how you do the swapping, if it works like a bullet or, or a target. Look up and press wall, let's do that. Oh, that's very cool. Wall set. Wall Beautiful. Time wall. I should swap onto this. What do those abilities actually do? Uh, the the vine stuff from Ivy does some damage and slows you down. The stone statue stuns and also does some damage. The airdrop, you know, it allows you to save someone or bomb someone. The tether means you share buffs from items and also healing. You also share that. 
so yeah, I was kind of studying nature, as you can hear, because I'm actually remembering stuff for once. I think the worst part is that. That's why I said I need to do this out of a game, otherwise I will never remember. Barrage, channel to start launching projectiles to deal damage and apply wounds slow around your impact point each projectile and on the hero guns just stacking above them plus over damage. Okay, scary. If you cast it while in the air you'll float and maintain horizontal momentum you started with, okay. Spirit spring. Okay, cool. Oh that's very short though. This case isn't running out of ghosts anytime soon. But yeah, I guess you can upgrade it. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Flying cloak, I know what it does. It has forward and damage enemies. Didn't know it actually did damage too. You can press to to the teleport to its location. I guess to speed up the teleport. Is this like the Dynamo's quantum thing? Need to plan this out. Oh, it's this thing. I thought we were talking about suitcase. So I can actually teleport to the ghost. To clever. Why? I see. I don't really see people do that often. Teleporting. That's really cool. That's actually very oh, cool. So. Yeah, I, I don't really see people do that all that often. I guess because then you drop yourself in enemy lines. They won't expect this. But that's pretty scary in lane, actually. Pays to plan ahead. Yeah, I literally didn't know he could do that. I, I do. I did notice that I always lose track of this guy. Like he always just disappears. Now I know why. <laughs> I thought it was just a suitcase, but he also has a ghost teleport. Um. Skipping to a suitcase, duration ends, deal damage to nearby enemies. Duration can be ended early by performing any action. Literally any. It's pretty short, actually. Oh, you can immediately shoot out of it. Nice. That's pretty OP. Like, if you time stuff really good, you can dodge anything. And then immediately start shooting. Don't lose any time. That's nice. Even if you walk, does it stop it? No, walking doesn't stop it. So action doesn't mean walking, I guess. I'm safe in here. I don't remember New York being Dashing also doesn't work. So yeah, anything that's not movement, I guess, makes it uh, break. And then you ghost and you go to the ghost. Oh, that's really cool. I actually already kind of like this character now. Unfortunately, he seems hard to play and Apparently, you, you said that you can counter him super easily they for this. by playing this spell, so... But that's cool shit, honestly. Without this case, I'd be dead. And then the old is just a very long bleed, right? Yeah, damage over time to... Oh, it's AoE. That's actually something I wanted to know if it's AoE. Stone lethal and does not apply item procs. Suppress targets healing by a lot as well. Oh, that's that's pretty scary. Affliction. So do I need to have everything in my line of sight for that? It doesn't seem that way. Getting ready to teleport. Lead them out. Yeah, it's fucking frogs. Yeah, they're all getting hit. So yeah, they don't have to be line of sight. It's just a big AoE around yourself. 40 meters, apparently. Okay, nice. Seven, I already kind of know, but I'll look at it anyway, I guess. So you have this thing that pushes forward. Uh, two is the stun, I think. Yes. Is your duration is stacking stuns and damage enemies within the radius. All right, that's the AOE. So the AOE is six meters, the stun AOE. That's the same as the Bebop bomb, which is yeah, pretty, pretty small, but it's nice to have, I guess. And then this, making a boss proc shock damage on your target, shock damage bounce to enemies near your targets, and cures once per burst short, 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 So this is just an ability that just makes you do more damage with bullets, that's it, right? I guess it's still charged, I still have that animation. So that lasts pretty long. Let's see how much damage X-ray does. It doesn't show me dam any damage because I'm shooting a fucking ally. It was just getting poked by the creeps. <laughs> Reloading. 
Yeah, okay, that does a lot more damage, indeed. And then this one is brain death, just execute everything. Okay, next. Leave this to a professional. That was pretty poor, the walls, if it was for that anyway. Because context tracking. Serrated knife, throw a knife that damage and bleeds an enemy. I have I've been knifed many times. Each additional hit adds a stack and refreshes the bleed duration, causing the bleed to increase per stack. Looks like there's no max stacks, like with some of the other abilities, it's just infinite stacks. Scary. Ultimate unlock, while rage is full, knives will ricochet to another enemy and apply a slow to enemies they bleed. Okay, weird. This is the first time that two abilities interact with each other that way. So bleed DPS, 5 damage, but whatever, bleed duration is pretty short, so I guess you have to keep stacks up. Okay, it's a very short... No, wait, that's probably for my no cooldown thing. No, it is a very short cooldown, so you can indeed keep stacks up without buying any items or anything, just from the start. Wait, that's not true. Oh, it has two charges, it seems like. Is that what the lightning bolt means? The two lightning bolt? Does it mean two charges? When I read this text? And it's also one of those target things. It's not a bullet. So it's very easy to hit. It's kind of weird that some characters have to hit a bullet, which is a lot harder, and then some people just have this um, target thing. Wait, that's not true. It's my ultimate that does this four thing. Never mind. Okay, nice damage. XD. Let's put on the no cooldown thing again. So yeah, this just stacks bleeds, okay. Form of dash four damage enemies along the path. And another ultimate unlock. So that's just something this character does. And Echo of Shift retraces the dash path after a short delay, damaging enemies again. Okay. Uh, let's check what happens if I cast that. Oh yeah, that's the fast teleport thing that does a shit ton of damage. I remember that from games. I'm building up rage. Apparently, I'm an angsty, angry boy. What is the rage? Now I'm enraged. Okay, this is new. What does that mean? I guess we'll see at the ultimate. Activate the leap towards an enemy hero and instantly kill them if their health is below the kill threshold. Otherwise, deal to one damage to him. Okay, that's scary. 20%, you just fucking kill them, okay? XD. Otherwise, deal 200 damage to them, which is also not bad, I guess. I don't know if that's a lot. Passive damaging enemies fills you with rage. Okay, that's where the rage came from. But full rage shift and gains increased damage and special properties on these other abilities. Oh, no, so those are the ultimate unlocks. Where rage is full, nice, will ricochet, okay? Where rage is full, neck of shift retraces. I kind of want to look what that what that's like. So let's go full rage and then slice and dice. Slice swiftly. No one stops me. Showtime. Oh, it also breaks boxes. Okay, nice. And now I can do a retrace. Let's go. Yeah, there was a ghost behind me. So you do the double double dash damage, right? Which is avoidable, but not easy. And then bloodletting take only a portion of incoming damage immediately and deter the rest to be taken over time. Activate the clear portion of the deferred damage. 30% deferred. Deferred damage duration 10 seconds and activate 40% deferred damage cleared. Rage full amount of damage deferred is increased. Plus 50% incoming damage deferred. Okay, yeah. don't really get it, but I guess it's just damage delay, so that you can life steal yourself before actually dying, and also just you know get a kill before you die. No damage to clear. Can you do damage to me? Let's go to the gym. Man, he goes upside down with an asshole. Punch me. I don't really see any. I 
I don't really see what's happening. But I guess I'll just trust it. I don't really get any feedback on my damage stuff. It's like a passive with an active or something. That's what this looks like. Because when I get hit, my, my health bar gets different colors, right? Do it again. Yeah, I have to... Mm, am I supposed to activate it earlier? I don't know. I don't get this one. So this is why I've been in sandbox all the time, Ace, because there are a few abilities like this that just make me go like, what? I, I thought this was like a damage spread, like you take damage over time instead of immediately. Oh, I guess I have to cast it beforehand, but it says I have no damage to take, so I'm confused. It makes sense that you cast this before you get hit, and then you get delay on the damage, but I can't cast it. No damage to clear. Let's do it just before he hits me. Yeah, it doesn't work. And I can't cast it after he does damage. I don't get it. The, the way the text is wrote, it sounds like... You delay damage, but I don't see it happening. Very confused. Uh, but I guess I'll leave it. And then the killing blow. Oh, that's why I did so little damage, because yeah, there's only 200 when they're not 20% or less, but if they have 20% or less health, you just can kill them, which is pretty OP. Then we can change. I was a child when they unjustly condemned me. Powerless okay, demon girl, I guess. So let's take that there's enemies to the location, I already know this, but let's see what the casting is like. Oh, it's like a grenade, okay. You're not getting closer. I guess the radius that is shown here is also the radius Stay they can move in, right? Yeah, he still moved for a little bit. Okay, so it's a grenade, but the outer Stay lines right is where they can move to. Good to know. Flight, leap into air and fly. When flight, your weapon deals bonus spirit damage. Taking flight. So if I do crouch, I go down. If I jump, I go up. Then how do you cancel? Oh, by doing the ability again. A place to snipe. It's kind of slow to going up and down. How fast is the normal moving? Also kind of slow. Okay, very creepy indeed. Get the drop on them. Man, I can go high. Creepy bitch. Hello. And then Crow Familiar deals impact damage, reduces their bullet resist and applies a bleed that deals damage based on the target's current health. So how do you target that? Is it like a bullet? This is just the beginning. Mm. The crows obey. It seems like it has some delay to hit. I have an that it hit. Let's hit it. Perfectly, if it was a fast bullet. I, th I guess it's still hit. There seems to be some delay. Summoning crows. Like it's not as fast as a normal bullet, so it's a bit easy them. to miss, maybe. This is basically just some kind of demon girl. I make my own opportunities. Yeah, you see that mist. Mark them. But it looks like if you just hit it perfectly, like with a normal bullet, then it's fine. So maybe no delay. Hurry then. First, let's make the crow stop. And then I'll try to hit him perfectly and see if that means you hit it. Yes, because if you hit it perfectly and there was a delay, you would actually not hit, right? You would have to hit a bit in front of him. But it seems fine. Oh, okay, now I actually hit perfectly. I'm pretty sure and it the missed. Birds will deal with them. I'm not sure. It's, it's a bit confusing. It seems, there seems to be a delay. Sometimes it doesn't matter. So maybe I'm just, just the beginning. not aiming consistently. Okay, let's make him stop bleeding and hit perfectly. I make my Oops, own opportunities. Missed, misclicked XD. Mark them. Yeah, I don't know. There seems to be some delay, but 
not too difficult to hit assassinate. I think we can just check it like this. Yeah, it's an actual rifle. Let me check. Custom target. I want to check if you can do this while flying. I think you can. I, see you. I have two charges. Where are you whistling? Oh, I have more charges apparently. It's a good day. Wait, it, it recharges the charges? What? There you are. Bye -bye. Why am I stuck in my old forever? Taking a shot. Hello, friend. This just keeps. Is that because I'm doing infinite cooldown or something? No cooldown. The only partial damage until fully charged after is of being scoped. That sounds weird. And the full charge after is being scoped. So you can. I see them. I'm confused again. So I don't really see where the charging is happening. There's no, there's no like kinetic carbine, carbine stuff. It just shoots immediately. So what, what do the mean charge? And can bonus player assistant grant you bonus souls, extra money. The only partial damage until fully charged after is of being scoped. I don't know what that means. There, there seems to be no charge. Anyway, let me check if you can do this while flying. They're not catching me. Firing. This is actually kind of difficult to keep your movement off. I have their head. I don't know why I'm stuck in the old forever. Let me check if that's uh, because of the no cooldown thing. Contact. Yes. Apparently, it doesn't get you out of the old immediately. No target. Yeah, because of the no charges, right? I guess if the 30 seconds are over, you get your charges back as well. So, I guess I had infinite old bullets because of the no cooldown thing, so it was just a weird interaction that you will never find in a real game. Uh, let's do some crowing. Summoning crows. No running. Indeed, no running. No, we actually have only one bullet back. How does how do we get the second charge back? Bonus of assassination. It doesn't say. Okay, it's just the load time I see. It's a very slow load time to get your second charge back. So you can ult relatively soon after each other, but not with two charges. That's interesting. That's an interesting mechanic, I guess. Looks like it's the same time as ult. You just have to wait for two ults, basically, to get both back. It's over. Engaging. Okay. Next. Stop shopping. Almost done. I represent the concerns of the D. Spider throw ball of good and deals damage. Is that a grenade again? No, it's a bullet. Oh, let's put the new cooldown back. Right, it's, it's a bullet. How far does it go? Pretty far, it seems. It says five meters, but it went much further. Throw ball of good deals damage. This bottle of good behind to the player movement slow. Being on the ground, apply when it slows down. Walking him okay. This seems way further than five meters. Like, look, it's super far. Why does it say five meters? I don't get it. Feels damage these puddles of goo behind. They play more slow. Goo puddles linger on the ground. Yeah, that's weird. It says five meters, but I can shoot it way further. 
Que churro de yoga grande. Doesn't do that much damage, apparently. Expelling goo. Hmm, 100, that's actually a lot. Especially in the early game. And skills with spear damage. And then they get slow. Let me check if I can actually see that in the animation. Yes, it's slow. This will slow them down. Okay. The cube. In case the targets in a cube of restorative goo that purges debuffs. Protects from damage, increases health regen. Target is enabled to take any new actions while cubed. Can be used on self. Presses space to escape early. Okay, seems straightforward. I need a I'm the cube. Disgusting. And how do we target an ally with that? I think I left a dummy over here. Yes. It's probably like the bebop one where you don't have to aim that well. Yeah. It only has to be at the edge of your line of sight. If you have multiple allies, I guess you have to kind of aim. Nice. Very disgusting character. And then we have this punch thing. Bullet punch materializes a face in the world that punches units in the area and sends them flying. And it's healed without damage. After that, it's just reduced for a brief moment. And after movement slow, it's considered a light melee attack. So, how do you target that? Oh, it's kind of like a grenade, even though it's a melee attack. It's weird. This may hurt. Yeah, you hit allies with that, apparently. Units in our areas and fire enemies will be dealt damage. Oh, okay, so yeah, it sends everyone flying, but it only deals damage to enemies. And the same with the movement slow and stuff. It's only for enemies. So it's a very big fist, yeah. Okay, the goo boy is pretty funny. It's pretty fun. It seems a lot easier than I expected. Because I think if you go to the main menu, this is not one of the recommended for new players. Yeah, you see, it's not recommended for new players, but it seems kind of easy. Um, but maybe the ult is difficult. Let me check. Goo ball. Can you stop killing me? More for two large boo that deals a large boo. A large goo ball. It deals damage and stunt enemies on impact. The ball grants large amounts of bullet and spirit resist. It deals damage and stunt enemies on impact. Okay. Again, both large amounts of bullet and spirit resist bounce off walls and can double jump. Okay, this sounds fun as well. Extra duration, extra damage, can cast abilities and use items while rolling. Oh, that sounds pretty powerful. The first two upgrades don't sound too powerful, but the last one then suddenly seems pretty good. So it's just, Protoplasm. you can go faster if you want. <laughs> okay, I totally get Abra, this shit is hilarious. I understand why you play this. Especially when you go faster and you can double jump apparently and you bounce off walls, right? Not really, I guess you need momentum to do that. Let's try that again. Hide if I were you. Let's go faster and double jump and then bounce off the wall. Yep, nice. <laughs> I feel tingly. If I didn't hate his voice lines so much, not the voice, not the text itself, but the movement is really weird. I guess that is a bit hard. I think the other three abilities are very easy, but this is fun. The movement of this feels like uh, a flash game from 2005, where you can only move in one of four directions. It's very Life stiff. Good. But uh, I, I hate the sounds this guy makes. So yeah, not the lines itself, but. His voice is really annoying. It's like some kind of SpongeBob. There are upsides to controlling a goo body. If that wasn't the case, maybe I would play this instead of Mo and Krill as my third choice. I'm Let's break these crates. 
Yeah, at least the ult is very hard to... Like, look at what I'm doing. I'm, I don't really get how to move properly in this. Ah, oh, okay, it's with your camera, it's not... That's why I, w I felt like it was a flash game. You move this ball with the camera, not so much with your arrows, you know, WASD. You don't really... You can press WASD, that's what I'm doing now, but it's really weird. I think you're supposed to move like with the camera. Body. And you can cancel the goo ball by pressing the ult again, you can jump. And you can go faster with... Oh shit. That's actually really fun. If you go fast... And double jump. And then this momentum. Go off the whole ball. You don't bounce that much, but... Movement it says. So apparently I did something to gain extra movement. The ball grants large amount of bullets. Bounce off walls and then double jump. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that was fun. This character actually seems really fun. Then Warden, I hate fighting that thing. Throw flash damage is slows and reduces the weapon damage and stamina of enemies it hits. Damage is slows. Reduce weapon damage instantly. That's uh, you don't want to get hit by that. A lot of less weapon damage, a lot of movement. So is that a grenade again? No, it's a bullet. What I mean with grenade and bullet is that you know it shoots immediately with no vision on it, and it just goes to your visor on the white dot. Victory! Oh, it's also very slow, apparently. Our chemical flash. This is actually not easy. Defeat me if you can. Okay, you have to kind of hit the floor, I guess. That makes it a little easier. We won't falter. It's a bit like that goo. You know, the viscous ability number one, you where you can throw it really far if you look very up. Yield. It's really a projectile. Yeah, it's a lot easier to hit if you just Catch. aim at the feet, and it's very easy. I now it goes over yield. him, right? Yeah. Victory. Okay. But yeah, with what I mean with grenades, like uh, the frost grenade from Calvin, you have that kind of vision on what you're gonna hit with the AoE. And you just hit it there, it's very easy. But here you don't really see where you're gonna hit. It's like both a bullet and a projectile at the same time. For some reason they made this ability harder to cast, I guess, because the effect is more powerful. Uh, gain a spirit shield and bonus movement speed. Okay, so that's just makes you unkillable, right? I will endure. Wait, this is increased movement speed? How slow is this guy? Um, I don't really see a difference in movement speed. Okay, slightly, yeah. How much extra is it? 15%. It's not even plus one meter per second or something, just 15%. Uh, so the spirit shield is nice, I guess. But the movement speed is not that much. You can increase it by another 20%, you can make the cooldown less, extra spirit shield health, and now it scales your spirit power. I mean, it is very good if you play against heroes that do a lot of spirit damage. And I guess it can help you close in. So yes, okay, straightforward. Binding words, curse an enemy hero. If they don't move away from an initial position within the escape time, they'll be damaged and immobilized. So, so that's why dash jump works against this. Will you run? Or will you fight? That's the AoE, I guess. That's big white stuff. Because it's very big. Okay, I have to be near. There's nowhere to hide. Yeah, I guess if they go out of the arrow zone Race that you see here, die. then they don't get hit by that at all. So yeah, this ability is actually quite easy to dodge. Like Mesa told me, just dash jump. Don't jump dash, whatever. Dash jump, yeah. Um but when you're a noob, you don't read anything, and then you don't know that, and you get stunned all the time. It's not a stun, but immobilized, and it does damage. And then the ult, after charging for 2.2 seconds, release pause the damage enemies and heal you based on the damage done. So yeah, he has two things that make him unkillable, I guess, if you want. So while channeling last stand, you have greatly increased bullet resist. Oh yeah, he has bullet and spirit resist at the same time. He's indeed unkillable if you combine two and four. Because that's something I've always seen Warden do is 
have no health and just survive for like 10 seconds and kill everyone because he becomes immortal. I will stand against many. What's happening? Oh yeah, that's a very slow casting time. And then after that you start doing lifesteal, I guess. That's what it said, right? Plus the damage enemies and heal you based on damage done. Channeling lessons. You have greatly increased blue assist. Oh, it's only when channeling last stand during the 2.2 seconds, right? After that, you don't have to greatly increase bullet resist. It's also I good to see no the one. animation for this, because then I know I should just run away if he does this, because you probably can't want to run it when doing this. And this just this life steals everything you look at. But that means while they're both channels, both the startup time and the attack itself are both channels. So let's see if we can use any flasks during Face that. Me and die. No, we cannot. You're busy, it says. Catch. But we can do it during this one. We won't falter. That's weird. You cannot throw flasks during the first channel. I'll take on all of you. But you can during the second channel when you actually do damage. Strike them down. And you can also myself. activate number two ability. Probably not Never during this fear. right, yeah. No matter the you, odds. You're just actually kind of stunned during the first charge, and then after that you can activate things. Okay, good to know. That for the first 2.2 seconds, Warden can't do much, but he doesn't take any damage from bullets. And then after that he can do whatever he wants again. Well, except dashing and jumping, right? Because Time it's channel. Glory. And I guess it means you can't shoot? No, you can. So it's a, a unique, a unique channel. I guess it's not a channel. I guess the first is a unique channel because you can't use abilities during it. And the second one is just duration. It's time to change the world. Anyway, this works a bit different from the other channels we've seen. Also because of the double. Throwing flash. Okay. Fuck you, policeman. You're ugly. And then uh, almost done. Some people say it's better to be feared than loved. Those people totally get it. You do what? Project mind, teleport to the target location, extra cast range. Let's try that first, how far you can teleport. Oh, you see the human. Nice. So this is the cast range, I guess. You can teleport into the air, really? Now you see me. Oh, nice. You can actually gain air momentum if you want. Whoa, you can go really no, high. Right? Yeah, nice. That's really nice for dodging. That's much better than teleporting on the floor. This is nice. It's a lot easier to follow. Because people probably don't look this far up, usually. Not today. Okay, cool teleport. Extra cast range, turn boost shield for eight seconds on teleport, shield. Commands because of spirit power and minus cooldown, okay. Um, I'm not getting caught. Let's actually upgrade that and see how Always much further we can go. Plan. Yeah, we can indeed go a lot further. Repositioning. Man, that's she much yeah. She's really hard to catch. And also really easy to die to in lane, I guess, because she can close in whenever Time she wants. Move. This is enough to bypass the tower with ease. Like if you're hiding behind the tower, she can probably teleport behind you I'm without out taking tower damage. Insane. Card trick, do weapon damage to summon cards. Activate, throw a card that flies towards enemy or point under your crosshair. Okay, weird. Um, I guess after the damage to get cards. Yes, the charge is up pretty fast. Can you get more than one card? It doesn't seem to be charging a second one. Yeah, I don't see any progress. Okay, that, that's why, because you can have only one charge. If you upgrade it once, you can get two cards. Find them. Time to stack the deck. So two cards is the maximum you can get, okay. I guess. And then you can throw them with... I don't miss. Yeah. I guess it does a lot of damage or something. 
Activate the troll card if I source enemy a point on your crosshair. What is the point on your crosshair thing? Let's check that. I love this trick. Uh, what? I did not point it on my crosshair. I also didn't see an option for that. I guess this is what it means. I have a card above my head. Does that mean point on my crosshair? How do you point it under your crosshair? What do they mean with that? Extra card summoning rate. Does point on your crosshair just mean this? That I have this graphic above my head? These two purple cards above my head? Because that doesn't seem useful. It's just something graphic. <laughs> yeah, I don't get what they mean with the point on your crosshair. I think I'll just ignore it. Cards out. Oh, there's only one card. You don't troll two at the same time, apparently. Seek. Okay, and then okay, I guess she's a fucking um, magician, you know, the clown version with card tricks and teleports. Compare to boost your fire rate, and your allies receive half a fire rate bonus. That's very nice. Spirit damage for bullet, bullet life steal. That seems pretty strong. This is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, that's much faster. I guess she's always faster for bullets, right? Yeah, she already is kind of fast, but this is way more. And then the oldest lift, right? Yeah, she's actually a magician. I, I never noticed, to be honest, until now. Yeah. In the air, stunning them for a short time, and lift and start to receive the nice damage. When this is cast on me, I always just die. Okay, it's that kind of cast. The low skill cast. It's not a bullet. Stay where you are. Don't let up. Hold it. Stop firing. Reloading. Skillful. Okay. Quite straightforward. And the last one, Yamato. Since you increase damage over 1.4 seconds, then release a fully charged sword strike. Press one or shoot to trigger the strike early, dealing partial damage, okay? Oh, 1.4 seconds is kind of fast. These dummies don't take damage from anything, man. I guess because we have no items. So let's do a very short one. Oh, I didn't do it. I have to click shoot to activate it immediately, right? Hmm. There seems to be a lot of delay on that. I tried to cast it early, but... Okay, you can do it quickly. There is some delay. You can't do it super fast, it seems. But yeah, that's only partial damage. The timing. Okay, yeah. So that is a lot of damage. 160. And gain boot resist when channeling, movement slow. It's nice for finishing someone off, I guess. You do this damage. How far can you go with this? It doesn't say, okay, slash length is 25 meters. So I guess you can go very far forward with that. 25 meter. Didn't hit him, so okay. Now we did that just that shit aim. Yeah, it's the timing is uh, quite difficult for me. It's actually a pretty little small hitbox. The animation looks kind of big, but it's more like a bullet. This is actually very difficult. It's like, um, it's not only a very small hitbox, but you also have to calculate in the delay the 1.4 second delay. If you want full damage, anyway. But while channeling, you can move your eye. 1.4 seconds is very short. Is that actually... Yeah, that's really fucking short, man. Like, I, I barely have time to move the visor. One point four delay. This seems... Um, 
like a difficult hero already after one ability. Throw a grappling hook to reuse of those enemy damaging and slowing the target when you arrive. Also 20 meters. Well, not also, this is 25, so I need to get closer, I guess. Let's check. Mm, no, I can just... Okay, this is not difficult to cast. That's actually very easy, because it targets for you. Kind of weird that I could hit when I was in 25 meters. I don't know what the 20 meters thing means now. Yeah, I can't hit now. Makes sense as the 20 meters. Yeah, if you're in range, it's actually very easy to cast. If you're not in range, you can't cast it anyway. But that's nice. Closing the gap very quickly. Then Crimson Slash slash enemies in front of you, damage them and slowing their fire rate. If enemy heroes are hit, you heal. 30 meters. So that's a very large hitbox if if the sides actually count. It seems like a very if I look at the colors anyway, it's a very large hitbox. It's a very big AoE. This is actually not easy to dodge. I'm pretty sure you need to dash jump before she even does it, or like when she just starts casting. It's also very fast, so I think if you dash jump when you start hearing the sound, you're too late as well. Pretty sure you just have to predict them. And it's AoE, right? In front of you. Okay, so not complete AoE, only in a very large cone, I suppose. Let's check. Yeah, it didn't get hit. Does it get hit by the side? Mm, not that far, at least. So maybe the hitbox is not as big as it looks. Okay, it does hit on the sides a bit. But you can miss, but you don't have to aim it perfectly. Yeah, it's a pretty large hitbox indeed, but not behind you, apparently. Because it's uh, in front of you, yeah. Okay, scary as well. And then shadow transformation. We're going through the shadow soul, initial invincible transformation. The abilities are refreshed and are 60% faster. Holy shit, you can do all your abilities again. Broken. Weapon has infinite ammo. Nice. And you gain damage resists and immunity to negative status effects. What the fuck? Does that include stuns and shit? You are unable to die in this mode. Five second duration. So for five seconds you just cannot fight her, I guess. You can still do damage, I guess, in those five seconds. But you're getting big damage resists. 40% for both spirit and bullet. Immunity to negative status effects, you're unable to die in this mode. Wait, so you, you actually really cannot die. You can just be pushed to one health, I guess, in this mode. Let's check that. Uh, let's get punched a bit by the... The bot, the punch bot. Let's see... I know for sure you cannot die during two seconds of invincibility, right? But... Apu, Apu Staya. Hello, have mind. I'm almost done testing a sandbox. This is the last hero. So now I'm immune. Oh yes, indeed, you can be pushed to one health, and that's it. Please punch me again. Okay, that was not a good timing. So yeah, that you're first invincible for two seconds altogether. You literally cannot be touched. And then after that for five seconds, you can be pushed to one health, but nothing less. That's very powerful. And being pushed to one health is kind of difficult anyway, because you have 40% spirit and bullet resist. And huge ability speed. I'm not sure what that means, but I guess it means the animations are faster. Let's test that. I'm not sure if that makes the abilities faster. The five seconds were over anyway. For two seconds, and now... Yeah, I think it speeds up the animations, the ability speed. 
and your weapon also has infinite ammo. Your abilities are refreshed after they're invincible. And this is fucking OP, man. This this uh, ult, and it's not even that long cooldown. I have seen much longer, especially if you consider one upgrade gives it minus twenty eight seconds. After that, you gain extra movement speeds, and after that, you gain extra duration. I don't know if that also affects the first stage, so let's check that. No, that's the same amount, but it affects the second form. Infinite ammo, by the way. So yeah, the, the plus one and a half percent duration is for the uh, unable to die thing, but not invincible thing. Okay, now I know all the characters. Hello, I think I know who you are, Limiter. Like, um, you know, someone from Call of Chat, I will not uh, say it aloud, I guess. Oh shit, my, my phone is dying. I use it as a second screen, so one second, getting my charger. Okay, back. So yeah, I tested all the heroes except Abrams, of course, because I already know him. Um, you know, if you want to know what he does, if someone watches this on YouTube later, uh, just test it yourself in Sandbox Forehead, because uh, I'm done. I'm done testing these heroes. It was very interesting, but I also want to play, and I didn't for a long time now. <laughs> the Sandbox. But yeah, welcome, Hemp and uh, Limiter. Let's actually play a noob game. I think I'm actually gonna remove Mo and Krill for the goo boy. He seems more fun than Mo and Krill, honestly. It's fine. Or what else? What else was fun? Yamato seems really fun, but also really difficult. And I'm very bad, so let's not. Dynamo also seemed quite fun, actually. And Infernus seemed quite difficult. His abilities were not completely straightforward. Well, he has a passive, so maybe not that bad, but... And then with IV... Lash and, and Shift seemed a bit difficult as well, honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure what's difficult about Viscous. It, it all seemed pretty straightforward. Just controlling the goo ball on his ult was a bit, a bit clunky, but I'm 1% sure that's intended. You're not supposed to be hypermobile with that because, you know, you actually stun people when you run them over with the ball. That's pretty powerful and you do damage. I yeah, I'll do a Viscous. A Let's play a noob game. A We're out of sandbox finally. Now we actually need to find people because it's fucking 3 a.m. on Asian servers. Well, most Asian servers anyway, you know. Asia is big, but where I am is 3 a.m. in Korea. <laughs> I almost always get Abrams. I think he's not very popular to play. McGinn is on the other hand, I always see her. She's literally in every game. I feel like this is the most popular hero. I don't know why. I think people like to play turrets. Oh, I guess Bebop, that's eight. Bebop is really annoying in the lane. I might get reactive bar barrier because then he's a lot less uh, annoying. But I could also try to be good at the game, because I feel like if you dodge the hooks, then you don't really need it, right? 
Anyway, the last laning phase I did was very bad, so let's try to not suck. Okay, he's going phase already, I guess. Kind of. Okay, nice. I'm actually laning okay right now, I think. I'm dodging stuff and killing all the creeps. But I'm missing over... No, I did not miss it. Nice! I got full money. I got max money and took almost no damage. I actually had a good start to my lane. Now I can push. And he's not trying to dodge my bullets. I should have shot the orange orb though. It's hard to deny Bebop, but still. But I denied him anyway. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is why he's eight. And I'm basically dead because of this. I don't have abilities yet. Oh, I could have parried him then. Ah. Okay. I actually tried to parry the last hit. And this is why I suck against Bebop in the lane. Like, I'm just very bad at dodging the hook. I, I never hear or see it coming. And then you just die. Because you get pulled into the tower. That's why... Before, I was just not pushing the lane, but I finally did a good lane. So I was like, let's push, but I think I'm not ready for that. Okay, oh, I missed the creep here, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I'm just getting reactive barrier. I'm, I'm just saving all my money. Which means he will have a better build right now, probably. If he bought something. I'm tanking creeps. Why? I have I have creeps near me. And I missed the creep. Why, why were the creeps shooting at me? There were creeps of mine nearby. And both creeps died. Okay, now everything is going bad. I think I got a bit too uh, distracted by getting killed. Like, um, kind of. Okay, I dodged the hook for once. Nice. He's also missing all the creeps. Oh, nice death jump. I really want to melee all three of those, and I melee the only one. Bad timing. Yeah, it's going completely horrible now. Thank fuck I'm playing against all the noobs, otherwise I would already have lost. And here we are losing again, kind of. But maybe not. Why, why does it do so much damage? Where's my ability? I could have parried. Yeah, I'm just completely losing track. Like, I'm kind of stressing out when I just take a million damage out of nowhere. And I'm just not reacting properly. So yeah, just noobing around. Like, because he does these charges punches, I could also just not die if I just parry. But I'm not used to that yet, to do that in an actual game. I've trained it with Mazer and Sandbox, and it's pretty easy. But... Actually, doing it in a game is not easier, at least for me. Because, yeah, I'm just stressing out. So I'll actually get reactive barrier. I think I'm not ready to dodge hooks and shit. There we go, he has another one. Why am I dead again? Like, I'm not sure where I take the damage from after the hook. Okay, I'm getting a reactive barrier. I, I got money for it now. I guess he plants a bomb on me, but I don't see any... Uh, Look who's ready for a 2 I don't ride. see that. Denied. Get wrecked. Now he's getting wrecked because I had reactive barrier. I still don't have my boo. What? He puts me in the tower anyway. Yeah, we were both punching like retards. He could have parried that if he had connected, but he didn't connect anyway. I think I'm just not engaging, honestly. He seems stronger. Why does he have to hook again? Yeah, it's just the bombs that do so much fucking damage. That's the problem here. Nope. That's how I died, I guess, that he just plants a bomb on me immediately after the hook. You really have to dodge the hook. 
I think he's not understanding that I'll take all of you. that I'm, I have a reactive barrier. He's also not parrying. Like, yeah, he's actually bad at the game, but so am I. That's the problem. And that's why I died first again. 3-0. I could have definitely killed him if I, again, just fucking parried once. Th this is actually always my experience against Bebop. I just die a million times, in the lane anyway. After that it's fine, out of lane I don't die to him. Like it's, you just dodge the purple beam, that's pretty easy. Um, but in the lane, this is actually always my experience, but that's definitely a skill issue. Touching the hook, I guess, is difficult. It is a very fast cast, but... Um, but it's possible, you know? And you could also just not push the lane too much. So that you don't get pulled into the tower at least when he hooks, because then it's not that much damage. It's still quite a lot of damage in combination with the bomb. And uh, the uppercut that sends you flying. But, you know, it's a lot better without the tower. Okay, I can actually buy something. I should probably get extra health so that he doesn't burst me down from full health when he gets another hook on me. I still have no damage upgrade, that's pretty sad. Nice slide, infinite ammo thing. Oh, he's too far. I think he's near me, yes. Now I... Maybe I can actually kill him this time. No, because he's doing that. And I don't have my ult yet, because I'm very behind. Okay, he missed most of it, so it's fine. Now I can probably kill him if he goes full retard. I have my charge ability almost. No, okay, he ran away before I could do that. So he's not a retard. Oh, that might he pull me in. I don't have my book though. When do you start parrying, you asshole? I just I just don't parry. I could have instead of being 0-4, I could have been 4-0 probably. At least I think I could have won three of those encounters, especially the third one, because then he was super low health. I'm just so bad against people and in general, but I should have bought something in the shop here. I could use the zipline speed, I think I should. So I also used that too late. I want to push him away from the tower. Okay, he's scared now. For some reason. He just used his hook, I heard it. Let's use this so that I can actually kill him this next time he engages. What? Kill him tower. I charged him, but then I got blocked by something. It's kind of weird that I'm denying him when he has a fucking laser gun. It's not the first time is what I'm saying. Okay, I can buy something else. Maybe I can at least win the tower game, but... Um, yeah, let's get more damage. Someone's looking to make a statement. I should be unkillable now because I have N barrier against the hook and extra health. And I'm at full health. And I do more damage and I get some healing from restorative shot as well. And my book is actually up. And I got my ult. That's also pretty important. Now I can ult his ult and one of you on him. Because that's actually a way he can escape death is by starting to ult. Nice, denied. Why did, how does he manage to push me away when I'm stunning him? I guess I'm just not stunning him. You see, I'm unkillable. He did no damage. Now I'm pushing really hard. Okay, I guess he's trying this again. That is a lot of damage. And now I died anyway. I said I was unkillable. Does, does reactive barrier have a cooldown? Oh, that's why. It's only once per 32 seconds. Holy shit. I was like, why did I die there? I was at full health, and he just did one combo, and I'm supposed to get a lot of shields from reactive barrier, but it's only once per 32 seconds. So now I'm even worse, 0-5. I like that I still am not getting ganked, even though I'm obviously getting fucked, right? Like, I feel like normally you would get help if you get fucked. And I also lost the tower game. So yeah, this is my experience. Okay, now I actually got barrier. Oh, 
But he buried me. What the fuck? That's the first time. Hello? Oh, I don't have an ability. Where the fuck was he? Huh? Okay. I got skilled. Like six fucking kill streak. Still no help, by the way. Like, I, I just really don't know how to fight him. I At noob level, I don't have this against anything else, but I guess Bebop, this always happens, no matter how good they are. Well, if they're really good, then it's only going to get worse, right? I, uh, I just don't know how to fight it. I got close in a few fights, but again, I didn't parry. And he actually parried once, so maybe he's just good as well. But like I said, against players that are obviously not that uh, good, it also happens. Now I have reactive barrier, so it's fine. I don't have my book up because I just used it to clear the wave. I think I should just get out, especially because he could, he could ult and I don't have my ult to ult his ult. Okay, I'm healing. He's also very ahead on items, because, you know, he fucking wrecked me really a lot in lane. What the fuck's happening? These bombs, man, why do they do so much damage? Did you see that? I think I took like 500 from the bomb. I think, honestly, the, the only way to win is to dodge the hooks, because then he also can't plant bombs on you, and then he doesn't get stacks on his bombs. But I don't know how to how to get rid of the hook. Okay, I'm dying again. And I'm not parrying again. I think my no, he did not die yet. Okay, nice. I almost have my ult. Maybe I can kill him then for the first time. Looks like he's getting his health back very quickly. I think he has a lot of life steal. My creeps are really helping here. Man, it's so annoying, this push away and stuff. Why did I not fucking hit? Like, I could have actually maybe killed him. I don't think a stun would last long enough to kill him. Especially because, again, he's so up on items. Mm, he mostly invested in spirit, so I guess I could kill him fast-ish. Let's do this, because I'm taking a lot of sustained damage. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not getting any help, as you can see. Oh, now, actually. Now that it's too late, now that the Guardian, the Walker, is dying, right? Because I was like, maybe I should just go to another lane and let him have it, because obviously I cannot... I cannot fight him. I'm just too bad to fight a Beeble. I think I read that the bombs do more damage, the more successful bombs he plants. But... I can't dodge the hook. I, I dodged it one time this game, but... I should probably just not go in against him, but whatever. I already died a million times. Okay, I got the spirit shield and stuff for this, so this is fine. It still did 400 damage, even though I had the reactive barrier. I think I'm just going out, man. You can have it. He already killed the walker anyway. That seems like the wise choice. I don't know what I can do now this game to be useful, honestly. Because I got just wrecked too hard in the lane. I'm so behind. Everyone. Like look, look at my look at my souls. I'm half of everyone in noob league. Like just completely fucking wrecked. Because normally in noob league I'm usually one of the richer players, but now I'm actually half of everyone. It likes a complete wrecking. When I play with Mazer against Bebop it's not so bad because you know he Oh there he is again. It's not so bad because he uh, distracts a lot, thanks Q. He takes a lot of um, a lot of the heat. But if it's 1v1, this is literally all what oh, always happens. So, I don't know, uh, reactive barrier doesn't even do enough, as you can see. Like, it's supposed to counter him, but... What? I got major lag and I died in one hit. I think this is just soul difference that I died in one hit there, even with barrier. 
The barrier just back. doesn't do anything. I'm too behind for it to do anything. Let's do sprint boots so that I can switch lanes quickly because what I'm gonna do is just avoid fighting. I'm just gonna clear waves and run urns and avoid all fights on, on, unless I can ult in a big fight. Again, that's like the only useful thing I can do. I think. I'm surprised nobody's mad. Like, I'm not even playing with Japanese people. Because those are seriously the only people that don't seem to get mad, I guess, against noobs. I guess because they're also all bad. But I'm still half their noobiness. I will do the earn run. At least in this game, right? Like, normally it's not that bad at all. Normally I'm like. Uh, if I play at my ELO, I'm like number one or number two or number three on the board, but I don't know. I just don't know how to fight people. I think what I should do next time is just not push the lane at all. Just don't get near the tower so that I can at least avoid that damage and still rush reactive barrier. Oh shit, that's a very big fight. Let's not go in there. Or maybe I could ult in there, but... Yeah, maybe I can drop the urn when I'm behind my enemy uh, by my friendly lines. So I should go with a bit of a more detour. I saw enemies there. I have to go a bit more behind. Okay, he's ulting the Bebop. Probably everyone dies. No? Okay, I think I'll just deliver the urn. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm useless, man. They can play Overwatch over there. You know, it's really surprising that we're only 1k behind when I'm getting wrecked that hard. Imagine if I didn't suck so much this game, we would probably be uh, fucking them in the ass. Yeah, I did something useful for the first time here. I'm not afraid to I didn't get any suggestions. Um, maybe I can kill this wave. That's a bit too far up that way. If I will just try to join the fight, I guess. Parkers. Oh, Bebop even died, even though uh, he has so much soul, so many souls. Yeah, that's because my, my team is pretty good if I look at it, you know, compared to me anyway. They have very high soul count compared to the opposing team. They're, they're all compensating for me, basically. Spend the cash. Yeah, he missed the hook finally. Well, it's the second time, so it's not completely finally, but. Ow. Thanks for the wall, actually. That means I live, probably, yeah. I blocked off his own friends when I was getting stunned. I know I have, I'm on full health, but I have no items, so. I think I could die very easily. There's a shop here, maybe I can make myself a bit tankier before going in. Spirit armor. Oh, I need to sell that. I don't want that. Let's get speed then. And damage. And this for better punches and whatnot. I'll just do jungle here, even though we're in a big fight. I think I can punch him. Oh, here he is. What? Why does it never work against Bebop? That's not just against this guy. But... What? He was... Does he have an item that reduces stun shit or something? Because I couldn't even punch him after the old stun. Where the fuck did he go? I don't think I want to fight him anyway. He will definitely wreck me. Let's just clear minions. But when I stunned him against the wall, he immediately did the melee, his melee abilities, fly me, sent me flying. That on itself was already weird. And then after my ult, I could also not punch him. Where the f okay, everyone just fucked off. 
The Bebop escaped and then everyone else escaped, just nothing happened. There's a Lash there, I'll do another Urn Run. But I definitely want to avoid Lash. He will kill me, everyone will kill me. Except maybe McGinnis, but probably as well. Oh, there's the Vindicta over there, maybe I can help. Stop singing, stupid bird. Did she disappear? Now oh, she's on the side now. Maybe I can kill her with help from Infernus. Okay, she starts flying, of course. Well, I suppose I gave Infernus a way to escape with the urn, so I did something. And yeah, the tether didn't really do anything there because I could just escape in the jungle. Oh, she's back here now. I didn't want to feed even more, so that's why I used an ability there to escape. No flex slots, I should kill the tower. What is the last one? Oh, in my lane, of course. Predictable. Okay, so that's not fine. Oh, there's a big fight gonna happen here. Um, don't, not sure if I want to be here. But I have an ult that could be helpful to my team. Man, she's tanky. I guess she's very ahead of me, like everyone. I thought maybe I could kill her. She also has her ult. Yeah, there it is. I think I'm just gonna fuck off during her ult. What? Lash, uh, less of me, I guess, but I escaped, kind of. Oh, Yamato actually died. Speaking of Lash, he's also basically dead. We need to find him though. I think he skipped and tethered. Oh, there he is. I killed him. I did something this game besides an urn. I killed the guy with no health with one bullet. Amazing. Uh, none of their other shitters are low health, so I'm not sure if I want to engage, but yeah, nobody is on my team either, so. No camp. There are some farms here. That sounded like he missed a hook on me. What the fuck are you doing here, creep? Well, thanks for the money, I guess, creep. Oh, there he is. Obviously, I'm gonna get fucked here. I'm just gonna try to go out. And he sticks a bomb on me again. Maybe I can escape. No, because the bomb does 1000 damage. Unless he's just not gonna follow me, but he is, of course. I don't think I can avoid dying here, but I can at least win time. Oh, I guess I'm actually escaping for some reason. Pretty sure that Bebop is really bad, but I'm just even worse. Like there were some moments in the lane where he did some pretty bring that shit, but yeah. Unfortunately, I'm worse. Um, I would like to get these things, but I have only one flex slot for those, so. You'll be the last one standing. Uh, I guess I will sell the reactive barrier at this point. I should have sold a much cheaper item that was done, especially because Bebop still exists. He's still in the game. But I also had an item like extra health that I could have sold, so yeah, more retardation. Oh, thanks, Bob. Thanks for pushing me away. That was actually useful. I don't want to fight there. That's a suicide mission. And that's just extra souls for my opponents. I'm not afraid of you. You know, there were two guys ulting over there. There was N fucking uh, Magina's ult and Bebop ult. They're both pretty uh, scary. And the enemy team just died, even though they were all ulting. Bebop was also dying. Nice. Now we should go mid, but I'm not even gonna ping it. 
And I'm also not sure if he's okay. Let's use Sauron. Yeah, that's just something that doesn't exist on my Elo going mid. May your blades continue to strike. I was really surprised to see Infernus uh, doing an earn run. I'm usually the only person that does that in my solo games. Oop. Hello, can I ult? Yeah, thanks. Wow, he's so much more tanky than me. I'm not gonna win this one for long. He's so ahead, right, of items. So good I escaped and just gave a point to my team to kill him. Never mind, there's some after all. I can't uh, escape from this anyway, so. Uh, any more flex ults? We do not. Spirit armor. Mm, let's get this thing instead. And I guess I can sell extra health for healing booster. Or a melee life steal that actually seems less useful. Debuff reducer for extra health. I should rush this, so maybe I should have pulled that, but I don't know. I'm just fucking up everything this game. Like just bad on bad, up on bad, up on bad. Thankfully my team is way more competent than I, so we're winning. But I can't say I deserve to win here. My teammates do. We're actually getting flex slots now. I I will quickly kill this wave. And the next one. And I guess I'll also kill the wave over there. Can you move faster? I bought you enhanced sprinting boots, no? Maybe I forgot to do that. Now everyone is already here, so I'm useless. Maybe I can quickly kill the walker. Oh, probably not, but it is very low health. There's just no creeps around to distract the thing. Yes, I'm gonna get magma. An ambush could be coming from anywhere. Still, it will be useful. Kind of weird how I call Flash there. And he's actually scared, nice. I think I should go away. Too many cluster fuckers. Don't think this is the time to farm. I have an ult that could be useful. I hit only people for some reason. And I died in two seconds. I guess my team retreated or something. I thought I was setting up a kill here on one of their enemies by the stun, but I think they started retreating already. So I was useless again. Uh, let's save up 2000 for this because I'm supposed to rush that with this build. Nice, in furnace. And okay, yeah, they're, they're killing the opposing team again. It, it's literally just me that sucks. Very sad. I actually have the same souls as McGinnis. So that's pretty impressive considering my laning phase. You know, where I died, what, six times in a row or something? That I still have. Same mana as her souls. I will never learn the terms in this game. I will never learn anything. I'm uneducatable. That's what I've been told. And uh, I can't prove them wrong yet, so. I sold a bunch of stuff with her this game. And now I have all these flex slots. That could have helped me with it. But well, whatever. Uh, where can I even go to be useful now? Everyone is already in the lanes. Okay, definitely not this lane. This one is pushed up very high. I'll go here because he will probably meet enemies soon. After clearing that.
We could have gone mid two times this game, I'm pretty sure. There were two almost team wipes. Well, maybe we didn't go mid because of... Isn't Lash the hero that fucks up mid boss? Where he just cannot go mid boss because of his old always stealing it or something? Okay, there's a fight going on over there, but that's a 4v1, so just get wrecked. Um, I can't help you in a 4v1. I'll just quickly kill this walker if it's still around. Is it? No, that's why we got the flex hold from you, retard. Okay, I need to escape through the jungle uh, because they're already behind me. And Vindicta is flying to me. She still sees me somehow. Okay, she didn't really hit me, I think. Why is she still following me, man? Because we use this for the straight part, because otherwise I'll definitely die. She's just following me around the whole map. Can't. The flyers are so annoying in this game, like Talon and her. Let's go. Oh, indeed, mid exists. So, you know, inference is just a giga chat. That's all I can say. He's like carrying the game amongst others. I should pick that up, but I want to help with the mid boss, so whatever. But yeah, maybe Lash steals the entire rejuvenator now. Let's see. I think that was the hero that, like the lesser old, that fucks it. Okay, I got it. I did something. I hit the region. Amazing. Why did that not hit her? Is she... Now she's ulting, so... Maybe I should just escape. But I think I can ult somewhere here to help the team. Uh, where the fuck is the fight? <laughs> I guess on the fucking roof. No, someone is latching onto me. Okay, I died very quick to that Yumato. That came out of nowhere. Well, because of the lasso, right? Why question mark? Like, what could I do about it after it hit? I could have run away further or something, but you know, once the rope hits, you just fly in. Uh, this as well, yeah, now we have all the mid-game stuff. Not that it matters. We're actually no longer really winning, according to the souls. Kind of surprised about that. When we were team wiping them quite often and we did earn runs, the opponents didn't. And we, we got rejuve and... Uh, I'm afraid it's because of me. Shit, so I'll just clear lanes. The Relegated to the creep killing job. Burn will almost spawn, but one minute is kind of long in this game. So I'll just clear that wave over there because most of the enemies, actually all of them, are not here. So I can definitely kill this. Uh, there's no walker to kill here, so I'm not sure what I can do now. There's a teleport. Maybe I can take that. Yamato doesn't give up easily. Because then I can maybe do something in that fight. Probably not, because everyone is dying. Oh, I also teleported here. I expected to go to the arrow where I'm going now. There's also a teleporter here, apparently, but I don't know. Where it is. Let's get the buff. Dicta is count. Oh, I did something. All the money in the world can't buy time. Nice. Thanks, old. So it's good that I came over to the fight anyway. Now I could pick off Vindicta. He's also question marking. Uh, so I guess the question marks are not for me because there's no way question mark a Vindicta kill, right? But yeah, Yamato is also question mark. Fucking Bebop. Annoying cunt. I 
guess he's getting Yamato up there. No, I am. Why did I move up when I was stunning Yamato? I stunned Yamato and then I flew up. I'm not sure why. What? Yeah, because this guy can only make you fly up with a melee. Maybe Lash? Yeah, he, he, he had a thing that makes you go up a bit. The ground stomp, right? If you upgrade it anyway. Are locks dying so far? What do you mean, locks? What do you mean with the locks dying? It's me that's dying this game a lot. You see, it's, it's like a complete stomp. I'm very useless this game. But at least I killed Vindicta, did some urns. And I killed one other thing. Oh yeah, I killed uh, this guy when he had no health with one bullet. It was very skillful. Yeah, this Inferno... I feel like Infernuses are always doing that. At least in my games, Infernuses just always get very big and carry. It seems like they only attract Giga Chats, that character. Or maybe it's just a broken character, I don't know. Uh, I have my ult, so I can actually be useful in this fight. You're a bit spread out, unfortunately. Okay, stop the 7 ult, that's nice. And a kill assist, and another kill assist, 3 kill assists, nice. Before I died, I did stuff. Their Yamato is also out of control though. Like, it, it's, it's gonna be... Ultimate showdown between these two, I guess. Yeah, these these two are just way better than everyone else this game. She also has to revive item. That's very scary. No, our big boy died. I guess we lost. And I'm pretty sure it's my fault. Like, I did some useful things after lane, but I gave the opposing team such a big lead in the lane game. That's the problem. Because I was so useless there. Yeah, well, what do you mean dual track with the locks? Do you mean the flex slots? Is that what you mean? Kind of surprised we got team wiped there when we just killed three people, these three. Those were literally my first three assists, the three that I got at the same time. Let's just buy this because the game is probably not going to last long. Honestly, so might as well waste some money, make my character a little bit better in case it matters for the next fight. Don't know if that's really correct, but I don't know so many things. Like, how the fuck do you deal with this kind of Vindicta garbage just flying? How do you get her out of the air? Like, she really doesn't need to get out of the air. She doesn't want to, I'm pretty sure. You know, she's a fucking sniper, so. I think I dodged the hook there, it sounded like a hook sound. I don't think you can hit it from that far away though, I think it has limited range for that. Actually annoying. Okay, I'm just stealing people's souls. Let's not go here. I guess I took the hook for someone else that is actually useful. And I can just go and heal quickly. So that was not a great hook. And I'm pretty sure that Bebop was very bad, but I'm just that much worse to die to him a million times in lane. I think what I should do against the next Bebop in lane is just play super defensively. Just don't push the lane at all. Stay back. Uh, try to dodge the hooks, of course. By reactive barrier. Oh. That would suck if they get that. Maybe I can ult it. Nope. Where is my Yamato? Oh, there. I ulted her, I guess. That's the problem is she's unkillable right now. We can push her to one. 
until she's no longer unvulnerable. Yeah, she's unkillable right now. Never mind. That's almost a team wipe. Maybe we can win right now. Uh, everyone is pulling back though, so I guess. Not. Oh yeah, of course they have Reju. They respawn super fast. Never mind. Okay, nice. I made the jump. Nice aim while jumping. I'm not afraid of you. That's just flying over. Oh, I'm getting grappled from really far. You can do it from really far, apparently. Well, I think that was just him doing it to do it, honestly. Like, yeah, they didn't do anything. Well, I guess it made me run away. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm running away. I didn't really need to go back to base. I'm basically full health, especially with my fast respawn rate. Uh, not respawn, but whatever. So that was done. Mm, I'll go green then, because you're going there. Oh, two guys. I need to retreat. That's a very weak turret. The diet. Just a few. He missed a hook again. Yamato is on the flanks. That's very scary because she is, yeah, unkillable. She has her ult probably twice, and then she also has the respawn item. Like she can just solo everyone. I'm pretty sure if she gets uh, good timing on things. So I should probably really try to stun her if possible. And I should stun her when she's very low health, so that you can kill her before she does the ult. Stupid Vindicta. <laughs> what? I've literally never seen that before. Like he hits, but he doesn't. I've literally never seen that before. Stuck behind the... Stuck behind the advertisement. Vindicta's dead, that's nice. Why am I flying? Fuck you, Bebop. Could have buried that. I stunned Yamato, I did something, and then I died. I think uh, this is where we lose. We do still have two players, and they don't have many players. The problem is they have Yamato and we don't have Infernus, so... Pretty sure this is where our base dies and we lose the game. And yeah, it's probably my fault. I do think I made myself relatively useful, considering how hard I got fucked in the lane and how bad my soul count is for that reason, and how much I fed the opposing team. Like, for someone with only 27k, I did some stuff, but yeah, it's not enough. Even in Noob League, I'm useless. Feels bad, man. Like, look at the amount. I, I die less when I play with Macer. So this was also just a bad game for me. Like, you know, relatively even. When I play with Macer, I die like 12 times or something, not 14. <laughs> so yeah, I, I kind of hope I get Bebop again in the lane next game, because I want to see what happens if I just play super defensively. Just never push. And maybe I can train dodging hooks somehow. We need to kill that Yamato, that will give us a lot of money. So I'll go here. To help. Oh, I'm tethered. But I'm already dead. I think that was a Vindicta kill, because who else could hit me here with? 600 damage from a very large distance. Well, that was this is respawn simulator then. I stunned Yamato and then I went out. Nice. Yeah, she's getting completely out of control. Holy shit, she has max spirit. It's 
spirit duration, spirit cooldown, escalating exposure, improved burst of impulse, Mr. Reaver, refresher, you'll be able to do speed, so we were, yeah, okay, GG. <laughs> She's just completely carrying. Yamato is missing, nice meme. <laughs> Defensive play, fuck that needs more punching people. Well, you should watch what happened against me. I was um, the first round of creeps. I did perfect lane. I got 300 money and I pushed. And then I got uh, confident, I guess, because I did a perfect lane for uh, for once. My team up was so noob, yes, I know. I don't really understand why people say that. Like, do you think I think that only makes sense to say if noobs are like um, acting like they know anything. You know, when they're being arrogant, but I didn't say anything. Uh, but yeah, then I thought like, oh, I can push. And then I just got killed. Because I got grappled into the tower and shit with bombs. What I honestly hope a bit is that I deranked a lot from that horrible performance. Because, yeah, I need low elo to uh, not suck completely. I know this was a really low elo this game, but probably. If I look at some of the plays that Bebop made, then yes. Try to bring me down. But yeah, normally I'm not that bad, especially in lane. But I, I just don't know how to fight Bebop. There's no Bebop against me. Mm, Vindicta, annoying flyer. She does a lot of big bombs that are a little bit hard to dodge. So I should be careful again. Right. She can set up kills with this very nicely. Well, maybe not for me because my character is uh, more of a melee character. But I don't know. If they get lifted, my, my gun still does damage. But basically, I did a perfect first wave of creeps. Uh, my Bebop uh, opponent didn't manage to kill all of them on time, and I did. I got the max money possible. And then after that, I got completely fucked. She tried to throw me when I was hiding, okay. Okay, I already got hit. I'm crouching and shooting at the same time, and I'm actually killing something. Oh. I think I need to back off already. Like, I'm hiding behind cover, and I'm getting fucked anyway. Punching that. Yeah, there was the big geist bomb. I'm already dead. I feel like I didn't really do anything. I was behind cover all the time. Like, you see, I'm behind cover, but I'm getting hit anyway. I think it's because of the position that these stupid Vindicta is in. I can't really do anything. I don't have an angle to hide. Tether. I have no choice but to take creeps after with the tether. I need to just hide here. I'm afraid someone will come on the flank to, to kill me off. Abilities. They want to kill me. They're gonna have to work for it. Okay, let's buy the region quickly. What? He didn't die to that? Like, why so weak? Yeah, those are the big bombs that Geist uh, throws. Why am I getting hit behind here? Is my hitbox just so large? Let's just make the creeps go into the tower. Okay, they're actually shooting their orange orbs pretty fast, unfortunately. That hit me behind cover. Oh yeah, that, that stuff did AoE. I should keep that in mind. It can actually kind of hit through objects because of the AoE. The AoE can go around the object. Not the bomb itself, you can't place it behind the object, but the damage. The explosion can go behind the object. Oh shit, I'm alone. I'm gonna get wrecked. Especially because fucking Vindicta can fly. Okay, I kill a creep still. I think I need to hide here. We have my tower. Because dying doesn't help my tower either, you know? The crow missed, thankfully. Okay, they. Okay, the knight get wrecked, I guess. Okay, I guess I defended okay here. 
feel like we're getting kind of wrecked. But I didn't check the souls count yet from both players. Okay, we are getting wrecked. Christ is not that much ahead, but Vindicta is. I got one of those for the, mists. Big the reason I bought Restorative Shot is because I'm not at full health, but I also want to do more damage. Okay, denied. I can't shoot that, I don't have bullets, and that's why we got denied. That was bad timing for me, I should have just reloaded before last hitting. Her crows are uh, not very well aimed. Wow, I was not on time for that orange orb. That's impressive. Ow. Oh, that's just tether. I thought it was the ghost bomb. No one stands in my way. You think people would know by now that fighting me is a mistake. Maybe we can hit the orange orb. No, they didn't last hit it. They just let it die. Okay, I'm full health now, so... I can actually just buy damage. In case they come close, which they're not doing, which makes sense. I'm a melee character and... Uh, they can poke very well from distance, both Vindicta and uh, Geist. Because of these stupid spirit bombs, I'm actually gonna back off a bit. Because I'm not dodging them properly. I actually got crowed. For the first time. Oh! Millisecond too late to last hit that. Very sad. Accidentally hit that orange orb. I was trying to hit the creep over there. Which was kind of pointless to hit anyway. I think she life sapped me or something. I thought I was far away enough, but yeah, apparently not. At least I'm still okay -ish health. Can buy something, let's get extra health as well. Maybe I should have bought Melly Lifesteal, that can actually help me go back to full. Annoying. Oh shit, that thing suddenly died very fast. I couldn't last hit it. I'm not sure why it suddenly died so fast. We can buy something again. I missed an orange orb. Swing by any time. I think I'm uh, pretty stable right now. At least I'm not dying in the lane. Like, you know, last game when I died seven times, another crow missed. When I was in sandbox, it was kind of hard to hit the crow. Like, that has a weird delay, that thing. Okay, she's flying, so let's hide for a bit. But we have to last hit this thing before it dies to our creeps. What comes up? You got yeah, I think we're completely fine. Yeah, actually, we are now ahead in souls. We completely stabilized. I think they were going face too much without taking care of the creeps and without actually killing us, right? Well, they killed the raid once, but that's just once. That's fine. Now we are pushing for the first time. I'm getting tethered. It's a pretty uh, horrible combination, Tether, with those huge spirit bombs. I got Crow, but worth, because I could deny the Orange Orb. Maybe not worth if I die, but I'm not dying at the moment. They also have their ults now, so... Guys can steal my life. And, yeah, exactly, she can snipe. I just heard the snipe shot. They don't make... Why is she not dying? Okay, nice. Stay down. So now we're... Wow, thank fuck she missed that. I missed some creeps there, but I felt like I had to hide over there. Because uh, she can do a lot of damage with her ult, and she has it. She was actually using it over there. I need to back off on tanking creeps, or is Raid? I think she's ganking or something. She's not dead, but she's not here. I don't... Oh, she's behind me, okay. 
I'm not sure. I guess she went back to base to heal or something. Guys is already back. I got trolled. Ow. Let's fight. I think I'm also going back to base quickly. With uh, zipline boost. Oh, she killed my friend. Nice. I need to go back quickly then for my Guardian. Yeah, it's dying pretty fast. I think they poked it a lot in the early game with the Ghost Bombs. Man, that hitbox is so large with the Ghost Bomb. I can't fucking do this, man, alone. Maybe I just need to escape this. Okay, the night. That's something, I guess. So we were getting wrecked, then we stabilized and actually were ahead for the first time, and now we're getting wrecked again. Oh, Talon is helping us, nice. Why is ganking not just called helping, man? That's so much easier. Someone's looking to make a statement. It's actually pretty clutch that Talon came over. Our tower was oh, almost dead. Yeah, and now we're pushing out of nowhere. I hear something behind me. Oh, it's my friend. XD. She's right. There, kind of. No, I was telling, okay. She can steal my health, so I'm gonna back off a bit. She's kind of low compared to me, so. Man, the tether fucking saved her. Yeah, exactly, there's the ult. Why did I hit no one? But I killed someone. And I died to the tether or something. I was tethered, but I think she killed me. Killed me. It's fine. I killed someone before I died. I'm doing much better than the last game, right? 2-1-0. And as you can see, my souls count is actually one of the better in the game, in this game. Especially on my own team. The other team is a bit better at the moment. I hope our tower didn't fall. I didn't really pay attention to that. It did fall, okay. Didn't die to my suck book. Maybe I can start poking the tower a bit. No. It doesn't do damage anyway when you know that creeps around with your own. Mm, should I engage there? I'm not sure. They don't. From Dicta, annoying flying cunt, and tethered. Getting Kelvins, I see. I don't think I can win this because there's also ult from Dicta. I don't even have ult. Okay, they left me alone. I guess because my entire team is here now. <laughs> nice. There were some tiny gunshots from there. Our Yeah, finish him, Talon. Stupid Vindicta. 
Oh, this is an enemy. XD. I was not shooting it because I thought it was a teammate for a bit. Killing Kelvin over here. If I get some support, I'm getting tethered, so he got support, unfortunate. I couldn't finish him now. He was getting wrecked, but yeah, Vindicta is annoying. I guess she missed the shots. I assume Kelvin went back to base. Wraith is just farming the jungle there, but I assume she will I can outlast them. deal with the wave. Nice. Oh, that's not Wraith in the jungle, whatever that character is. Because Wraith was just here next to me. Visual on clarity. Oh, Kelvin, nah, he probably did went back to base, he's full health. Maybe he just altered. Getting tethered again. Thankfully, I didn't stun any teammates. Um, where the fuck is everyone? They were just all on the map. I got stunned mid-air in my ult, because I forgot about the timing on that. And then we died, everyone of my team just left. Not, not when I got attacked, already before that. I don't really know how I can keep track of these things. Like, we, we were all overwatching over there. And then people just left and I didn't notice. And that's why I died. Well, you have ult on Megalol? Yeah, you saw the ult, right? <laughs> nice ult, right? You should watch my game before this one. This game is not that bad compared to the last one. I just got completely wrecked in lane by Bebop. I don't know how to fight him. I bought reactive barrier, but I just constantly die against it. I don't know how to deal with it. And then I was useless for the rest of the game because I was so behind. I wish I still had my book, but I'm killing him, I guess. He's not really trying to dodge, yeah. He was just walking away in a straight line. Is there another count nearby? I'm standing in some AoE, I guess. I think that's Geist AoE. Okay, missed it. Feels bad, man. I'll make that damn book work for me. Yeah, there's the Geist. I read that if she upgrades her ability, then the ghost bomb just stays on the board. I hear an owl. Please kill. No kill. Uh, oh, should have jumped earlier. Uh, I'll, oh yeah, I'm supposed not to stand in this. Don't think I want to go further than this. Um, I'll just die. Maybe I can help clear the wave. Probably not. It's not that hard to kill four creeps. That means I should have killed a camp here. I see a camp on the map, but I think it's upstairs. It's also too big of a camp for me, I think. Maybe we can kill an objective. No, he's going farm. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm just doing nothing now, that's very bad. I don't see any farms nearby, especially ones that are small enough. I guess I'll kill some creeps here and go back. Maybe I can make them come out of the base to protect by attacking this. Just bait, you know, just poke it and then run away and see if they react. Waste their time, maybe. Okay, there's going to be a fight on blue, I guess. Clicking her head and it's doing something. She has her ult, yes she does, and she has no health, so that's kind of dangerous. I should ult her myself. No, 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 go away. What? I was close enough? 
I was going to not be in melee range and then ult her so that she can't do her ult. She's dying anyway. Still an assist for some reason. Uh, maybe I can ult Paradox. Hello, what am I doing? Hello, I'm just doing nothing, I guess. I can't see anything. I still ulted two people for some reason. No, only one actually. But uh, maybe I can escape now. The other one was a kill assist. But I actually still ulted someone somehow and I also escaped somehow. OP. Hopefully nobody snipes me from the line. Nice. I'm going green after quickly buying something. Uh, yeah, I get wrecked, I guess, me. You know where to find me. I'll take you all on. They cower before us. Is there a camp nearby? I see one on the map. Yes. And I'm doing the Mason thing, shooting and punching at the same time with the nice angle. I did it. I'm good at the game. XD. I'm not. I gotta figure out how to use this damn I don't think I want to engage. I'll just get some money here and that's it. Kelvin is creeping up behind me. Where? Oh, there. He's up. I'm tethered. Vindicta is super annoying. Oh, there's something here to pick up. Pocket. He dodged very quickly. Unfortunate. Or skill, I guess. It's more like skill than unfortunate. I'm getting wrecked. Maybe I can buy time for my team. It would be nice to survive onto my ult, at least. I'm not afraid of the mob. I guess it just survives in general because we're hiding behind the tower now. Holy shit, the entire enemy team is here. I hope I can stun them under the tower. Oh, I guess I have to. I don't see anything. Okay, now I, see, I do. Only one. What stopped me there? When I charged, I got. And maybe there was an uh, ice barrier or something? Anyway, we're even in souls now, that's nice, I guess. Um, I'm supposed to rush this, so I'll buy that. I'm very behind on chat. Uh, maybe I can start reading a bit now. Status report. Status report is that even in Noob League, I get wrecked if I lane against Bebop, Mazer. Uh, but if I don't lane against Bebop, I'm still okay, I guess, in Noob League. Not amazing, as you can see, but not useless. No one stands toe -to -toe with me. And now I have to stop reading chat. Because I have to play. Please don't stun my friends. Go here. Yes, nice. I didn't stun my friends. Nice, I did something. Escape, escape. Nice, now I can maybe survive onto my ult. You see, I'm not completely useless uh, in Noob League if I don't lane against people. <laughs> hey, you see now. Nice owl. Um, there's still an enemy nearby that we can kill. Hello, hello. No assist, feels bad, man. I'm just getting warmed up. Okay, uh, I guess we kill this tower now. Then we're close to a flex slot. Should be possible that... Oh, there's Paradox, just back from the grave. I just fucking sent him to. Oh shit, I'm getting magma. And I'm getting time bombed. Let's escape a bit. 
Not sure if we should try pushing this walker now. With a flying Vindicta cunt around. Man, there's no damage. Maybe I should buy Hepples, head shield booster more often on this guy. Like, my aim is shit, yes, but I just can't do damage from a distance with this guy without that shield booster. And there are so many flying assholes. I think I should maybe start incorporating that if I play against flyers and should just get good at aiming. I don't see where the enemies are, even though I see them on the map. Usual frogger stuff. Nice. I saw Calvin escape here. Where the fuck is he? He's right here, but... Oh, there. I'm getting ice domed, but... I think he stopped it or something. There we go. I did something again. That's my own friend that I just shot. Old. He is old. Where is he? Okay, I missed a punch because I didn't see where he was. And a kill assist. Fuck you. So annoying. I... Okay, let's just kill the walker, I guess. Instead of trying to poke Vindicta. I don't do damage anyway. I think he's gonna shoot me. No, he's not. But he could. There's no creeps nearby, so that's. Clear them. Oh, I'm sleeping. Kill? Who the fuck did I... How did I kill Pocket? I was... I was fighting Paradox. Maybe he walked into my punch or something. I'm pretty sure I was fighting Paradox. I'm tethered. Can you stop throwing me? The only way to face a problem is head on. Any fighting still going on? Yes, there's, there's a Kelvin and a Vindicta, but I can't do anything against Vindicta. Missed. I killed a creep, nice. I don't think I can 1v1 him when he has Ice Beam. So we just keep poking each other here? I guess I'll do Urn, because I think the fight is over. Well, it went to blue, I suppose. Free Urn, XD. As usual, no, nobody does urns. Actually, last game in Furnace did an urn, but he was a Giga Chat. I might drop the urn and participate in the fight. I see a seven there. I don't think he noticed me in the back. Okay, nice. Where's my urn? Where are you? Is that the urn? Yes. Maybe I'm needed in the fight well, again, so I'll check. Yes, I am, probably. I can punch the creeps with urn. Huh? What the fuck? Where did he escape into? Okay, I'll, I'll just urn, I guess. Because just usual, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Can't see shit. Maybe it was my friend or something, I don't know. I saw an enemy, I dropped my urn to start shooting and it just disappeared. Actually, we can clear this wave as well. Stand and fight! something. That's an enemy. I'm not going to engage, even though I'm not that behind. But, you know, I didn't spend 7k at the moment, so let's actually go shop until I stop being tethered. Oh, that stops me. We can buy a lot of garbage. Like 
We're sharing creeps with three people, nice. Paradox came down from god knows where. And there's also Pocket. I think my team is not engaging with that, so I will also not do that. There should be a slot machine over here. Yeah, upstairs, right? Our yellow walker has been defeated. I can do the maser thing. Oh, like this. Shoot and punch. Optimal DPS, I guess. Okay, this works. Wait, you can just... Oh, yeah, okay. But it doesn't matter if you do quick punch or charge punch. Uh, I think. Upgrade this. And then... Can I be useful somewhere? There is a big fight, but they're outnumbering Vindicta big, so... Doesn't matter. There's a bunch of soul orbs here, apparently. Yeah, I guess a lot of people died here. I really need to well, escape to uh, to a shop uh, again. I'm not saying that, no what the fuck, me. man? Just three fucking orbs laying down here. I hear a Kelvin, so I think it was some ice garbage. Shop is here. I'm starting to get the jungle. Okay, we can't buy anything else. If we follow the order anyway. And I guess now I can help. Why do I still have unsecured souls? I guess I didn't spend them. Maybe I can do something in this fight. We're going for a flex slot over here, I think. Yes, there we go. Kill the orbs just in case there's someone denying. Hey, someone is doing a soul on run. Nice. It's not me. I hope we're not pushing base when they have five team members. Yeah, does no damage. I, I don't think I, I should just not shoot Vindicta from the long range, he just doesn't do anything. That's also not doing anything, literally. I was shooting tower from too far. Bloop. I hope we're going back a little bit here. We are. I think we are disengaging if I look at the map. So maybe I can do the casino. No, I cannot. Okay, never mind. It's too late to help him. And I got all it. And I'm dying now because I'm a retard. I should have just disengaged when I noticed that we were doing that. Like, I noticed we were disengaging, but then I got baited by helping my teammate, and I died. I also got baited by the Geist ult. <laughs> now I can reach out. I saw your money in last game. Yeah, that's what I meant, man. That was the Bebop game where I got wrecked super hard in lane, and it was completely useless. It was very bad. This is what Iron looks like in Deadlock Maser. Oh, hi, Jay. The seven on enemy team. He's optionally clearing. Progress, progress, a god. Yeah, I've, I've been watching Mesa replays. That helped with that kind of stuff. Because that kind of stuff is very simple, right? Just punch, shoot, and I don't know. That, that kind of stuff is simple. Not everything in this game is difficult, but um, most of it is for me. Syria Vault. I, I didn't hear it again. I should change the sound settings again, I guess. There was still no uh, bit sound, but thank you for that. Uh, I probably ulted anyway, but when I died, right? Probably, that's usually what I do. Fuck you, Kelvin. Stop dashing. Nice. I'm getting better at this kind of stuff. Because he was actually moving, you know? It was not a complete noob that just stands still. Oh. Paradox is not on my team, XD. Is unmatched. I knew that, but, you know, when I know things, I don't actually know things, is the thing. The whole team is that, so I think we should go mid, but uh, I'm not even going to ping it. 
I don't know if it's the correct timing anyway, because, you know, I don't really know the game. Soul 7 there, maybe... He seems isolated, you know, most of his team is dead, so... Maybe I can chase. Not, not sure if I should, but... Yeah, he's too fast. No, he's not. He's there on the map. I should dash jump instead with a slide, but... Forgot about it. Okay, he's trapped. Behind us. We can finish him. Where the fuck is he? I just saw him on the map. How did he escape exactly? I think he just killed Hayes and escaped in the jungle somewhere. So he should be around still. Maybe pocket suicides into us if he does the frogger thing and just doesn't go behind the towers. No, he's not doing that. So I'm not sure if I want to engage here. Where's Seven, man? I think he's just lost in the jungle somewhere. No point looking for him though. We can buy something here. Yes, I know now that you can go to the shop through the hole. That's something I learned from watching Macy replay as well. <laughs> because I always find it very hard to find that shop. Can I help? Or are we just attacking for no reason? Looks like attacking for no reason. Why am I still getting hit by Kelvin's ass? I got stunned, I don't know why, okay. You see, this is why I don't like engaging in front of the enemy base, because this is always what happens if I try to help. I don't know how to help in these kind of fights. Like, if it's defensively, then it's a bit easier, because you just stay a bit behind and wait for the right moment to ult, and then you maybe you try to do damage where you get out, but when we're attacking the base, when they have all their defenders left, which seems kind of pointless anyway, then... I don't know. Maybe I should just not participate. Uh, could buy this, but it's not the buy order. Why is Pocket 11k gold? Let me check. Yeah, that's a good question. I guess he's uh, the Faroka amongst the Farokas, is my guess. Maybe we should watch Mesa replay too. It was very helpful for me. Applying it in games is different. But actually, Mesa, that game where I got super wrecked by by uh, Bebop was also where I actually applied the laning stuff perfectly in the first wave. I got 300 gold in a solo thing and I pushed the wave and then I just started dying. I think because because I did the first wave perfectly, got 300 gold and gained terrain and poked uh, Bebop as well on top of that. I think because I did it perfectly, I got too confident or something. Like I started pushing more and then I just got grappled into the tower and stuff. And yeah, I even had reactive barrier, but it didn't do anything. Actually, let's drop this and kill this wave first. That was dumb to not do that first. Hello? I got disarmed by my urn because it didn't move. I picked it up again accidentally. I was beginning to feel abandoned. I think I will let the other wave just suicide itself. Oh, I guess we can't earn. Maybe we can. Maybe we can just kill him. I'm shooting his ass. He's sopping me with switch. I don't. I'm out of bullets, but I can't really. Well, I could try to punch him. Maybe he doesn't carry. He doesn't. And I will kill him. And he has a big orb. Nice try. It was a bit risky to punch him there, but I was out of bullets. So what could I do? Well, I could maybe do a, throw a fake punch to check if he parries. The spirit urn is waiting. To I can train. maybe kill seven over here if he comes here. Oh, he already died. I'm also I walking the wrong direction. Shop. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's just go shop. Where the fuck is it? It's so confused by the map. Isn't it here? Oh, another or. In front of the shop? Are you serious? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, maybe I can still help in that fight over there. I saw I missed an item that was in the shop. There's a, a lot more orbs here. Everyone just leaves the orbs on, on the ground. It's, it's not the first time. I already picked up three orbs before, right? Uh, okay, I'm being useless here. Maybe I can find the orbs, but I don't know. Uh, they're probably on some weird location. Is there any farm? 
to do here? Is the jackpot back? No, it's not. I could have seen it on the map. But retardation is a thing that exists. And where the fuck is the shop? I should use my stamina more. I, I built up some bad habits with not using my abilities as stamina because I want them to be not on cooldown when I meet an enemy. My friend's survival is paramount. Okay, I picked up the item now anyway. I guess we're pushing base again for some reason. No, we're not. We're walking back. How can I be useful? Any camps? There's a camp here. Oh, I wanted to punch this small thing and shoot, but whatever. Maybe it's not even possible in this camp. Uh, there's also a camp here. So I think that's this one, right? Yes. It's you or me. Okay, punch, shoot, punch, shoot. I actually did it. I think I saw an enemy. And yeah, that's why I usually don't use abilities as much as I shoot, because I'm afraid I walk into enemies when I do that. Same with the stamina. That's how I built up some bad habits. Trying to preserve my uh, nice matrix barrier. Why am I chasing so much? Let's go back. He's just going back to base, I think. And... Okay, now we're fighting. Geist has ult. Yeah, exactly. So... And I died in the air. It's not the first time this game that I lose to a Geist ult. Discount orbs or Mega Lux or Cooper was at the shop. Yeah, that was very funny. We could ult bother, as usual. We should get him to watch our last game, watch how to farm. As you can see, I am starting to farm more, right? Like, um, I'm not forgetting about camps completely anymore. So yeah, watching your stuff definitely helps. Uh, let's watch some other people die, I guess. We're not that far behind, but... Also, Jay, uh, I uh, went into Sandbox and played around with every single ability of all heroes. So now I know a bit you know how you cast certain abilities that I have to play against and how I can play around it and you know what even exists, all that kind of stuff. It was uh, probably very boring to watch but it was actually very interesting for me to do. Okay, James Bonding out of the zip line, just shooting down the zip line. Okay, seven is coming here. I think I can one to one in. He has an orb on his ass. I'll just chase him away from the base and then go back, I guess. Unless I can get... Oh, I am low. I cannot hold you on him. I don't have ult. I don't have ult. Shit. Seven is so fast. It's hard to hit him with anything. I'll just go back to base to heal quickly and then go back. Anything to buy? Nope. I can heal you, Warden, okay. I'm slow for some reason, I guess, yes. Item that makes me go slow if it hits me. Uh, that seven seems a bit too strong for me. Oh yeah, he has a lot of money. Yeah. I should have checked if I can 1v1 him. Uh, where the fuck is everyone? Okay, seven is... I can maybe help now. Because there's a second boy. But he disengaged. No, he did not. I'm sliding, by the way. I hope you see that. Because it's pretty OP that I'm doing that. Are we still chasing Warden? Because then I should hold. I hope you're still here, Warden. Because uh, I need some help. I think he fucked off. And now I'm getting ganked, I guess, if that's the correct term for this situation by Paradox. At least I guess they're not near my base because I uh, did this. I thought we were chasing him, like Warden was chasing him, but not really. I don't know, it was confusing. I kind of wish you could 
communicate properly when you play ladder games, like, you know, in voice chat. Okay, I guess we lost. Warden gave up on chasing after you did not ult for 20 minutes, but I ulted him. I did, but then he was not around anymore. Timing always off. Now they're actually getting a lead. You see, noob games are very slow. I think both teams don't have a flex slot, uh, last flex slot. <laughs> don't have uh, artifact kill yet. Shrine, yeah. I do have a lot of kills this game for, compared to the rest of the team, but also quite a bit of deaths, so maybe I can help Talon, probably not, no, no way, <laughs> against, well, okay, I'll do it from the back line, yeah, there we go, because it was Amphidicta and Seven, they're both kind of big. Why is my soul so bad again? I actually farmed this game. Where the fuck are you, Kelvin? How oh, he's doing that there. And there's Carbine. Anyone in the back? No. Walked into the orb for no reason. Okay, let's not go there. Maybe I can ult in my base. Okay, I should do it now because I'm getting wrecked by something. And I did nothing as usual. I couldn't see any other enemies except there, so... Let's heal quickly. Now my ult is in cooldown for too long to be useful. Oh. I already have everything there. Pretty sure we lost. There's too much shit in the base. I'm getting tethered. Why are you saying no, 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 no? Oh, I killed him. Nice. I did something again. I can't hold him, unfortunately, so let's just escape for a bit. Carbine in my face. Watching time bombs. Swap Rooney. I think I'm gonna die. I don't want to, I have my ult back. Well, not soon, but... Okay, I should just heal if possible. Unlikely, yep. Yeah. Died on 2 HP in front of the base. Versus Pocket. There is a Pocket on the team, but he has 18k, so I'm not gonna buy that. 18k? What the fuck? Like, I'm bad, but... Okay, they're taking a big lead at this point. And also we have two people against five with a weakened patron. GG. Abrams is giga broken. I, I can notice that sometimes too, even though I'm hyper bad. Oh wow, I'm actually having cool people. They're GGing the team. How nice of them. I guess that's why they didn't flay me. I mean, I, I was actually not that useless, I guess. No reason to flay me. I'm getting flamed a lot lately. Abra also mentioned that, that people are getting more and more salty about bad teammates. I guess he also knows because he's also bad. I've noticed that he has less souls than me when we play together, so... We're all bad. That's unusual for me. No objective damage. Okay, watch the farming guide now. Okay, I will. Uh, is that just your last game, Mazer? I'll take a piss before I react to that. Actually, I should start downloading before I take a piss. That kind of takes a minute. So, let's go to your profile first. That's not how you do it. This one? This is the last game, okay. Okay, I'm taking a piss while downloading. Uh, it didn't work. I guess I have to restart the game again. That always works when the download gets cocked.
Also, let me change the Streamlabs Alerts sound settings some other time. Mute output, monitor only. No, let's try it like this. Hopefully, I can hear the bits notifications again. I went back to the old setting on which it used to work, and then it stopped working. Because, yeah, it used to work on this setting, so maybe, maybe it's okay. It's very mysterious why the alerts keep breaking and being fixed all the time. I'm getting actual neck and jaw pain. Don't know why. I guess I'm sitting like a retard. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss. Okay, back. Uh, watch replay. Farming guide. But you're playing McGinnis, right? So it's not something I can do. <laughs> Where is she here? That's you, right? Yeah. No, it's very bold colors. Yeah. Shit, it's already fucking 5 a.m. basically. I know my work says it's 3 p.m., but it basically means my weekend is already over. Like when I wake up, it's work time. I kind of had a four-day weekend, but I was basically just sleeping and playing Deadlock. It, it feels kind of bad. But I didn't even play that much Deadlock this time. Because I was mostly just doing two hours sleep into two hours sleep into two hours sleep. Big ghost. Okay, kind of getting wrecked out of the opener. Kind of. It's not that far behind, if at all. Why is your gun a fucking uh, leaf blower? Like, your, your gun actually looks like a leaf blower. Man, you have a lot of bullets. 66 base bullets. I'm gonna fall behind. How far can being a medic be? Invading targets. Alright, let's take a look at those wounds. Okay, he understands. The ghost. Man, Talon is so annoying. Like he's so far away and so in the sky, and he still take half You're damage. Looking, well, looking what did you buy? Monster rounds? Yes. Oh, that's for the farming later, and you know, it's also helpful in the lane for clearing creeps and the tower and taking no damage from the tower and creeps. I guess that's why you went monster rounds for the future and the present. Oh. 
<laughs> I kind of like this Genus gun. It's a bit similar to Moe and Krill in sound. It sounds satisfying for some reason. <laughs> Already looking to farm, I see. The opponents have way more souls at the moment. I mean, they have very annoying poke from range, so it makes sense that they get the a lot of arrow denial. Okay, here's the farm. Nice. So that spawns at three minutes or something, the, the tiny farm. I don't know the exact timings. I've seen it in a YouTube video, like when the first tiny and the first tier two and tier three and tier four camp spawn. But I just remember that casino is ten minutes, but I don't know the other timings. McGinnis damage us so much. What the fuck? Like five bullets, three hundred. Keep in mind, Maester is also in Toronto's thing. Okay, that's why he's getting denied a lot again. He's what he's playing with you then, right? Um, yeah, here you are. <laughs> Setting up a turret. <laughs> the turret there is so fucking annoying. Do you actually, uh, if you last hit with turrets, do you still get the soul orb? I know, it, and also important, do turrets shoot soul orbs? Like, you know, the, the thing you have to deny. Does it shoot those too? Because if so, that's OP. I don't think it can shoot up like that, actually, but... What was the other things you bought? Extra charge, bonus ability charges. Don't know what that means. Oh no, I do know what that means. Cooldown reduction, charge abilities, weapon damage, and hollow point wards, which gives spirit power and speed shield up. Get nuked. Above 60% health, deal additional weapon damage. Oh, that's a lot actually for good health. Makes sense with a healing character. Maybe hard to stay again with good health against this setup. Like these two assholes. Uh, these two assholes, I mean. But that's also extra good for farming, right? Because you're not gonna take any damage when you're farming. Actual farm setup. And in Shannon's Burial, you have a spirit shield, game bonus spirit power, and cooldown reduction. So just so that you can place turrets faster, right? And that's also what this extra ability charge thing does. You get an extra turret, I think. I don't know how many you have. Oh, okay, this is from upgrading the ability. That's gonna help keep your on so I guess you can have three charges, That's potentially? I don't know. <laughs> what do I think of Max? But I think the ability charge here just means help. some abilities have charges and then you can go more charges, right? Or maybe it increases how fast you recharge your ability, I'm not sure. Turrets up! Does it increase the recharge speed of ability or you get an extra charge? It sounds like bonus ability charge sounds like you just get an extra charge. Lash. A lash dead. Is it just me or does McGinnis dash much faster? Maybe it's just the animation that makes it seem that way. Are up. Didn't those two creeps behind you die now for free without getting money? Or the turret finished them off? Like, yeah, that, that's what I want to know, how, the, how it works with creeps and turrets. Not dying nice today. nuke. All right, buddy, give him hell. On the move. Engaging. Gotta get as many of these up as I can. Holy shit! You shoot him out of the sky fast. The Talon. Oh, 
Holy shit, you're getting poked. Fuck. Oh yeah, Affliction can't kill you. Holy shit. The one health live. Because Affliction can't kill. Go by me, just escaping. Through the jungle. Nice. What did you buy next? Doing spirit, some lifesteal, spirit power, body health. Now extra stamina. If you like that, I, got some I guess so that you can camp faster, right? Sprint boots, yeah. Farm, whatever. It's a spirit, okay. Okay, the stamina helps farming, there you go. Demolition. Only Twarhart use X. What the fuck is he talking about? Only Twarhart these hacks. Okay. Just generic shit talk, I guess. Oh, every projectile hits all three of them. Nice. Well, that was very fast. For there was a tier three camp, right? I'm pretty sure that one is a tier three one. So that's pretty insane on nine minutes to kill it. That McGinnis is missing. Yes, she's farming. All right, buddy, give him help. Setting up a turret. So now with another turret. Extra. The potion is also really nice for shooting faster. And then there's a casino upstairs. Okay, so he needs punch shooting as usual, I think. No, the turret is doing it. Nice. Don't enough to spend extra clicks, apparently. Rich. For some reason, this is quite satisfying to watch. Even though killing camps are, is normally quite boring. This way, it's not. Like all these synergies coming together. There's just some kind of beauty in it. Like, I, I actually get why you're buying the items for once, you know? Now you bought test the bullets, that's exit fire rate. The bullets have a chance to shock the target, shock jump any. Oh, yeah, also farming. Jump to the next farm creep, jungle creep. Damage from jump. Pop chance, jump radius, max jumps. Okay. It's also nice for clearing this stuff, right? Time for a little help. Also helps AoE that's uh, the garbage. No one's dying on my watch. Next camp. Putting down a turret. Holy shit, that's fast! <laughs> that was amazing. There was like a two second clear. And you didn't even have, you know, normal AoE. Like like a grenade or something, or... It was just synergy uh, AoE. And now the big cam has to get altered, otherwise it's too slow. Nice. Well, where was the turret there? Does it hit these guys? Let's see him dodge this. I think so. I see some red beams. <laughs> Look at those creeps die. Oh, then you're gonna farm on the other side of the map. 
I like how you're just just farming and then ignore everything that happens. Oh, you did some damage to seven. Right, buddy, I guess a out. turret hiding somewhere. That's dying pretty fast. Monster rounds, extra fire rates. And yeah, nice. Like, this shit is so synergetic, it's, it's really cool. Demolition <laughs> time! Goodbye. I guess it's... Like, if you do this in a team, then you can also just decide, like, you guys clear those lanes with creeps, and I do all the farms. And then I don't know what the sixth person does, but yeah, you can just assign everyone a lane to clear the waves. You do all the farms. I guess the sixth person can just gank if people get attacked in their lanes or at the farm. That makes sense, right? Time for a little help. You farm, we clear waves, six guys to free man, like a haze or something that just assassinates people. <laughs> that wall is hilarious. And very useful. You will not catch my orbs. Thousand unsecured orbs. No discount coupon for you. The souls won't help when I'm dead, I need to spend. Yeah, you need to spend, exactly. Echo what did you buy? Echo Shard, who says the cooldown of your most recently used non ultimate ability. Every 21 seconds. So I guess you can just start spamming turrets. Among other things, because getting more of the Spectre can be useful sometimes. Maybe. Uh, move speed, also more farm potential, boom resist, spirit power. So the per turret DPS is also increasing because of the spirit power. Duration of the heal potion and fire rate increase potion is also increasing. Damage per rocket on your ult is increasing. Shock damage done on jump from your test. Holy shit, it's so much synergy, man. It's actually insane. Oh! That, that, that fucking tower! Like, they can't even react to that. It just dies instantly. The ultimate. NPC damage, NPC DPS. Well, apparently not just NPCs. That Yamato died pretty fast too. This is our battle Setting up a turret. Bunch of assists. How rich are you now? 16k. You are richer than anyone, as expected. I actually feel like this is actually lower than I expected after 60 minutes with what you're doing. Like, can you farm more efficiently than this? I don't think so, right? So I'm not sure how this is possible, that that's only 16k. Holy shit, like, look at this. It's so insane. They just vaporize to your gun. <laughs> Turrets online. I like how you didn't shoot the first creep to death because you knew your turret would do that and finish it off. High skill gameplay. Putting down a turret. Everyone see Shiv, okay. Have fun. Good luck. What did you buy? I'll be able to cut Heroic this Aura, bullet lifesteal, bonus health, even more movement speed. Let's fire right to nearby player minions. Defense oh, so up. this is literally made for you? Seriously, well, what player minions exist besides thirds? It's just this, right? And an uh, active precise bonus movement and fire rate to you and nearby allies. Oh, even more fire it's rate. More motion speed as well. So you're... How fast can you walk now? And you have fleet food? 
Uh, Alf, can you just like walk into the enemy's base two seconds from your base? I see pocket. This is like really it's slow right now from what I would expect. But it actually said movement speed, not sprint speed. Why are you not faster than this? I know this is very fast, but I expected more after all these upgrades that increase move speed. Gotta build me some backup. <laughs> no turret. Nice, blocking him off. Man, this shit is very cool. I see McGinn as well. Should be out of sight in no time with 500 movement speed. Ow, I guess. Vindicta and Talon, super flying eight. Gotta get as many of these up as I can. Just farming. Oh, okay, you're not even gonna. Yeah, you you can just AFK the downstairs farm. Man, doing both floors at the same time. <laughs> Your lead is getting more and more extreme. Let's, oh, I missed some chat. Going to enemy camps 24 7 and don't clear like this. This is our campaign, not enemy. It's our own camps, okay. A little bit of the divine Map of Shadow Mace is real. Mad Genius, you can. I don't know what you said you can do because I'll be fanverse and reading chat too late. Maybe I should check how you kill this boy. Your gun seems completely insane right now. I know most of it is for NPC damage, but you also just shoot way too fast. And you actually can afford to because you have fucking 70 bullets. Defenses are up! <laughs> See a drop, man. I want to see your objective damage after this. Tesla gives us our ability to just punch with Megalol. No need to aim at ping, just punch. You know, I wonder if you um, are far away and your turrets give you lifesteal from hitting jungle creeps, if you can just get health out of nowhere, right, from the other side of the map, or if you need to be near it. Gotta build me some backup. Because that would be pretty cool that you're just getting life steal from the other side of the map and people don't understand why you're unkillable. Oh, you can just place one turret and that's enough. Where are you going back after that? I don't have the luxury of mercy today. Looks like dropping off the one turret killed at camp because you just didn't go back. That's insane. What is the next buy? Debuff remover. Is that because of pockets so that you don't get afflicted? You don't use your stun to slap. Maybe you can also remove the stun from this guy and the tether from this thing, the crows, and the lift from this, maybe? I don't know. 
I don't know what all the interactions are. But as you can see, I'm starting to actually know the abilities from the heroes. Maybe I even know all heroes' names. Maybe. No need to aim with pink punch. Alright, buddy, give him hell. I see the enemy. Yes, I have to check your name because I thought it was Yamamato for for a second. But it's Yamato. Yamamoto, I mean. I thought her name was Yamamoto for a second because that's my uh, my ex's surname. <laughs> and I was like, that's not the name of that character. So I guess I lied, I don't know the names of the heroes. Oh, they're really, really gonna hate me. Gotta build me some backup. Who needs to be patched up? What's happening? Cutting them off. Nice. Nice no escape for you. And also does chip damage to wolf garbage. What's the next thing? Seems like an upgrade for something, yeah. <laughs> Sir, the mid boss. Holy shit, you're soloing it. Or no, there's a second guy, but still. That's insane. DPS against the mid boss. Like it's dying faster than when you do it with six people and doing it with two. Holy shit, there's a lot of turrets. How can you play so many? Like you use some refresh stuff? On this? Or... or Because you only have three charges, right? I think I saw fucking six turrets. Wait, if you refresh this, do you get all charges back? Also, it's four charges, I see. <laughs> Get a vault. Echo shark. Ow. Our yellow water has You actually gained health from clearing that camp. I know you have lifesteal, but it was just funny. Man, you need some flex slots. You do kind of one shot the objectives uh, in two seconds. Like this stuff is so stupid because they also can't fight in the pit under five turns. Well, GG all. Great rage crit, nice. <laughs> Just too good at farming. Oh, everyone is disconnecting. Okay. Man, you didn't even kill that much, I think. You were mostly just farming and people just rage quit. Yeah, you only killed three. And they rage quit because you're farming too hard. <laughs> I guess people don't like farms. They don't like farmers. Nice zero HP. And she died. I got enough ammo for the whole team. <laughs> How fast you kill the tower, man. The weird thing is, like, 37k is a lot for this point of the game, but it's not that much for in a long game. But also in a long game, when I've seen people have like 50k, they don't kill the objectives that fast. 
He's just some... Holy shit, the paper, man. He's also just not having it. <laughs> Everyone rage quit. <laughs> Everyone rage quit. Amazing. Yeah, this is actually a hilarious game. You just got out foreign. <laughs> that bar, that health bar. Holy shit. What can you do against this farm? <laughs> like, how can you outcompete these Scottish farmers? Let's see how much of a lead you have compared to everyone. 9k. Okay, you have 9k more than the best, you know, the second best farmer. Wonder how he got so much money as well, because it's not like he got that many kills. So it's not like he got a lot of souls from that. I guess he was also farming on his side of the map, but not as well as McGinnis. Zero deaths. Objective damage is through the roof. Player damage is also pretty high for someone who didn't actually fight that much. You were mostly farming. <laughs> yeah, that was very nice. <laughs> it was hilarious. I wish I could make uh, cool builds. I am starting to understand the items a bit. Like, I, I start to understand what the fuck I'm reading. But uh, not to the point I can make something cool like this. <laughs> That's my compliment for you, Mason. I wonder if I should keep playing or not, because it's 5 a.m. And I have work in 10 hours. Because it would be nice if I could, you know, take a shower and t eat breakfast before I go to work, all that stuff. <laughs> I should probably go hike soon. Because the weather is finally not 8 anymore. Eh, this game is so fun though. I wish I didn't have a job. <laughs> like, it's not a good idea to no life this shit. And, you know, not work and stuff, but... Basically, I wish I was 18 and I just finished high school and I'm just like... Yeah, I'm not going to university yet. It will just give me student debts. I will play Deadlock for a year and then go study. I'll probably get sick of it before one year, but... Uh. Also, I need to fix my medical garbage. Maybe I should wake up early for that too. Because it would be nice if I could go to the clinic tomorrow already to... You know, not to get fixed. It's not that fast, but to tell them what's wrong and then... They can tell me what the next step is, blah, blah, blah. Well, you barely have to work though. On Monday, I actually do have to work. And Tuesday and Wednesday. It's just at the moment, Thursday and Friday are kind of empty because so many people are sick or on holiday on those two days. But uh, tomorrow I work from 8 a.m. Dutch time to 5.30 a.m. Dutch time. So I work seven and a half hours. There are some small breaks in between, but no big ones. So let's say I work like, um, I don't know. Wait, did I, I, I didn't say that correctly. I'm like retarded and sleepy. Um, from 8 to 5.30 is a lot more. I, I was calculating from 10 for some reason. So it's nine and a half hours. Yeah, nine and a half hours. But then some breaks in between. It's probably like eight hours total work tomorrow. And yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday are also like that. Um, and I, I'm not supposed to be so free on Thursday, but again, people are sick and on holiday. On Friday, I actually really do not work much ever because I made an arrangement that I work half a day on Friday so that I can actually go out on Friday. Because you know, if I, I work until afternoon European time on Friday, then it's 7 p.m. here and then I can still go out with friends on Friday night, which I sometimes actually do. I. I like this Friday, I will also do that. I'm going to a concert that my friend gives. Like nothing big, just um, 
play in a bar. Uh, I think I'll play a noob game. And then get trapped in the game vortex. And don't sleep at all and then give bad lessons tomorrow because I'm fucking tired. So this is not a smart idea. I kind of hope I lane against Bebop. I want to, you know, not get fucked. I want to see... I want to adapt to that matchup instead of dying seven times in lane. Even though I bought the reactive barrier. And I think what I should do is just stay back. Don't push at all. And maybe still buy a reactive barrier as well. But yeah, don't get anywhere near the tower. How do pros do it, Mace or J, if you play against Bebop? Do they just fucking dodge the hook? Because that's not exactly easy, you know? Especially, you know, if you're a top player, then your opponent is also a top player, so they can also just aim well. Then I'm not sure if you can dodge it. Because it's a very fast hit. It's like a bullet. Maybe I should just look it up on YouTube. How good players do the Bebop uh, 1v1. In a dual lane, it's, it's a bit uh, better. Because you have your teammate to distract and poke. But in 1v1, I, I always get wrecked, even if the opponent is bad. Pretty sure there are no Bebops in pro games. <laughs> True. <laughs> Okay, it's too late to get games, I guess, in Asia. Makes sense, it's 5 a.m. But I will not give up, I will play at least one game, at least. Because today I didn't play that much. I was mostly watching replays and stuck in sandbox, learning all the abilities and heroes. <laughs> I don't w really know why I'm so bad at learning while playing. I know it's because of distractions, but you know, at some point you should get over it, I think, but I just don't. I really need to study outside of a game some things. It's weird to study a fucking game. But I guess it's normal for games that require a lot of skill and knowledge. I know how to take a hit. So I'm not against people, I'm against Ivy. So she has the stun, she has the vines. What was number two? Tether, which is useless in a 1v1 lane. And the ult also doesn't do much. I don't think she's very scary in the lane. I don't think she has much. I think I can uh, push against her. Like, I just have to dodge the vines. And I guess the stun, but that's not even that powerful when you're alone. Especially because the stun on her ability is very uh, short duration. It's only set. What? You don't die to them? I always underestimate. Oh, I just said I have to dodge the vines, and I'm not doing it. I didn't know, and I missed the creep, and I missed. No, I didn't miss that one at least, so. Not completely garbage. Wait, I should stay near to deny orange orbs. She's already getting pushed. Denying, I'm shooting the tower instead of her. That's probably a misplay, and I'm also tanking creeps now. If they don't get out of the way, that's on them. Just in time to shoot a creep. Nice. Deny. Being a bit aggressive here, I think I couldn't hit it or can't get near the tower though. So. I'm getting not really low, but I feel like I am taking unnecessary damage quite a bit. Nice. I, sh I could go back to buy items, but I'm kind of pushing here. Not anymore. I will go back now to buy. It's not really good timing, I need 
while I'm more dollars, but whatever. I also forgot to slide when jumping. Maybe I should have gotten close quarters, but I'm a little bit low. Not really, but you know, it still helps with pushing, not having to heal and tanking creeps because my creeps didn't arrive yet. Now they did. Just in time to hit that. Oh shit, I missed one there. Mm, sad. Now we're left picking face. You see, I'm, I'm kind of applying the things now, Maser. The things we learned. I don't get the for that one, but she didn't deny anyway. I'm not afraid of the mob. Left picking face. Now with the tower because she's too far back to do damage. I missed that orange orb. Oh, replacement, but I denied an orb. I'll buy two things. I forget to slide after every dash, and I should probably dash jump slide instead. And what can I? Damage. Strong, um, I don't need regen. I'm full health, so I buy extra health. Maybe I should have just bought more damage. A catch-up booster or something. It's not in my build, but you know, I can start thinking for myself at some point. Oh, oh, shit. Too late for that one. And I'm moving around. Mesa, do you see some stuff I'm doing wrong still? I feel like I'm actually applying the things I learned now. Also, I'm not actually sliding off the stairs. I was supposed I was trying to slide downstairs so that I have infinite ammo. That's why I was walking back and forth over there. I think I am still tanking creeps a bit sometimes. This lane phase. And I missed the creep there. So yeah, I'm definitely not playing perfect, I know that, but you know, relative for my what? Why didn't that hit? Relative for my skill level. You can still hit me here somehow. Okay, thanks creeps for making me not tank anymore. Oh, that also hit that one, nice. I'll take oh. you all on. I accidentally clicked my book. I don't know how the fuck that happened, honestly. I didn't even have my mouse on that button. Maybe I accidentally pressed one on my keyboard instead of my mouse. It was weird. Okay, nice. I have a lot of money, but I can poker right now easily. Or the tower if she goes back. Yeah, this was probably a, a headshot booster lane phase. The tower is dying. I don't mind that. Okay, go back a bit. Oh, she healed herself. Oh, standing on the vines. I'm still standing on the vines somehow. Okay, larger hitbox than I thought. I could hold her now, it gets me killed. but I'll actually go back to buy three items before I kill the tower and kill her, maybe. I can buy stuff that helps me kill her. I'm not dash jumping. That's gonna do it. That's gonna help keep your blood on and the don't really need the extra regen here, I think. Infinite ammo slides. I'm good at the game. I didn't need to charge that one. She was already basically dead. Okay, I'm getting pushed now. I guess because I went shop. It's fine though. That thing is not almost dead yet, so I shouldn't have hit that. And I shouldn't have punched that. <laughs> the timings are all uh, I will be the a bit off here. What? They didn't hit it? Creep. That's eight. Skill issue. Hello? Hit? Yeah, thanks. Left clicking her face, she's not really dodging. Missed that. Still hit that, nice. The vines are there, so I'll do this.
Okay, pushing hard. I can probably kill her with my ult, but I'll kill the thing first. Don't know what's better, honestly, the killing the tower or her. Maybe I'm overextending now. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's kill the creeps. I'll take all of you. But yeah, Ivy is very weak in lane, I'm pretty sure. So I don't shoot, uh, be too proud of myself. I also missed a lot of creeps. An excellent choice. I can actually just take the staircase, uh, zip line. Miss the creep, kind of. Oh, I don't have that ability yet. That was dumb. Wow, that thing hits far. Getting help, I, I see on the map. So wait, that did I see that correctly? I think not. I think she's still alone. So I can deny some orbs here and push. I am taking creeps now, but at this point, I don't think it matters too much. I'm not really dodging her bullets for some reason. Casting this to heal. It's also a bit more efficient clearing. So, oh, he's getting ganked, but I'm just killing him. No suitcase. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice gank, I suppose. <laughs> I'm going back to shop quickly. Oh, shit. Well done. And I keep forgetting to slide. There we go. No, I didn't. Good luck. Extra damage is nice for pushing even more. Oh, there's a very big wave coming here. Free money. Stand and fight. Our yellow guardian has been destroyed. Recharge my gun. New wave coming here. Maybe I should gank instead of pushing the thing. We're actually behind as a team. I'm also not as ahead as I thought with souls compared to Ivy. I am ahead, but... Okay, let's not do that. I think I should just gank or farm. There's no ganks here, but... Ugh, it was just a geist. Yeah, I should farm. Where's the casino? I see it on the map, but... I never know where these things are. Here? Oh yeah, I recognize it now. It's this one. I'm doing it. There's a big fight going on, maybe I should go back. There's a slot machine left, but... This seems like a big uh, overwatch moment. Now we're killing the tower, so it's actually not that overwatch. I need some punch to reload, but there's nothing to punch. I can tank this apparently. Yeah. Guys here and my team kind of ran away, so let's go back. I guess they're not running away. Whoa, fuck. 
I died before I punched her. That's very sad. She was actually not ulting for some hours because it's in cooldown. I think she actually escaped. I should have ulted a bit earlier, maybe. But yeah, I was half a second away from killing her. With my punch. Let's do sprint speed. I want to switch lanes quickly and farm anyway. And it also means I don't have to sell anything. Maybe I do the earn run, but I'll first help this guy over here because the, I think Pocket is pretty overextended. We can probably kill him. Why am I shooting so slowly? Yeah, we can indeed get what? The fucking teleport, man. I, I get so confused by that. Do I shoot him down from the line? No, my aim is shit. Wait, I did one damage there. Was that to a creep? Because I should have shot him down the line if, if that I did a do if I do blah, 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 blah. if I did that one damage to him. Are we pushing that walker? I guess. I suppose. Well, now we're pushing everyone. I guess. People pull. Who there? Oh, I just dropped something. I saw a shadow. That's actually the useful as shadow. Getting kind of low because I'm getting magma. I um, don't think this is uh, a very smart encounter, honestly. But Pocket is just not backing off, so could have maybe killed him. Why is he not backing off? I know we have a suitcase, but. I guess he's going back to base now, or he's just insane. He already was insane. Like, if I had headshot booster and I hit the headshot, he would have died. Probably neither of those things happened, but fuck you, Tether. So annoying. Three souls. Oh, we get. Oh. What? Where did he go? It was pulled in and then pulled out immediately. The people should not have punched her away. We could have just killed her. If he had only hooked instead of hook and also the other thing. Nice. Did you see that snipe on the orb? Bebop was blocking my sight, but I just knew it was there. It, it was actually on purpose for once. Oh, big ghost. But I didn't get hit, so. More orbs for me. He's back to full health. I think he went back base. Ow. I just fuck off. I see my teammates rolling back as well. Uh, fuck, I missed the door, but they didn't deny it anyway. Um, my ult is back. A spirit urn is waiting to be claimed. Holy shit, that ivy is low, but I can't go in against three guys. Why am I still killing creeps over here when it's stupid Vindicta and all our enemies? Soul Shredder Bullets. I'm not getting any money because I'm just stuck here in this poke fight. Maybe I should just leave. Our lanes are looking healthy though, so... And someone else is doing the burn, but looks like an enemy. No, it's not the enemy. Oh, nice. We finally killed that asshole that was overextending all the time. Well, he's kind of near the base, but, you know, he just didn't go back no matter what his health was. Um, are we killing the walker now? We don't have creeps to support us, but now we do, so I'll at least poke it and maybe run away potentially. Okay, I thought he was hitting me, so I jumped. I dashed. Good. Okay, let's get away a bit. Just in case there are many of his friends coming to defend. It's just Ivy, but that's actually scary if she gets the second boy. To me. Gonna yeah, him. I'm overextending if I see what my teammates are doing. Uh, what can I do? Maybe I can help kill Vindicta over there because she's kind of hard to catch. And my ult could help. 
finish her off. I saw bullets from there, but... Okay, whatever, I will kill the blue, blue wave. There she is. Nobody's denying orbs. Feels good, man. I'm not saying More no souls. to free money. Their dreams will come crashing down. That's all of money, zombie. Come back if you need anything else. Um, I was supposed Walk to rush this anyway, so might as well buy that now. Instead of selling something, because I'm still following the guide. Yeah. yeah. Hello, pocket. Are you? Taking note of me, or why is he not really dying? I can maybe ult him, but he disappeared into the nether, and that always gets me. I, I never see how people teleport. Please kill her before she ults. Nice. Kill her. That was a very long punch, and it was very necessary to kill her. I'll burn all of you. Oh, maybe we can kill the walker. Any creeps? No. I could still poke the thing, I guess. Uh, blue is getting fucked. I will go over there quickly with a zip booster. I guess someone else is already doing that. Who also just boosted? Yep. This is why I wish we could communicate in these types of games. Like, I'm not blaming him. I mean, literally, just be in voice chat with all the randos. But I guess I can push this lane instead. Nobody's here. Well, maybe enemies in the jungle nearby, but... Let's see what this book can do. I like how they kind of pop like popcorn, these... Uh, creeps if you book them. That's kind of the sound they make. This walker is already damaged, so yeah, if I poke this, they have to come and defend. Oops, got too close. <laughs> I don't really know what the radius is on that. I think I'll just ignore the creeps. I'm almost killing it. Nice. Oh, there they are. I'll get out. I saw an enemy, I'm pretty sure. Pray for a salvation. That will never yeah, it was Ivy, so maybe I shouldn't have been so scared, but... Hey, nice, Urn. Can I do something in between the spawn time? There is a camp here. Uh, is that here, the camp? Where is it? I see them on the map, but then I just don't actually see them. You know what, I'll just <laughs> give up. It would have been nice to kill. You see on the map there is a tiny camp nearby me. I think I went the wrong direction. I should have. It's closer to the enemy base. Then I could have gotten 150 souls before picking up this urn. And I'm pretty fast because I bought the uh, upgraded sprint boots. Which is pretty nice. And nobody tried to stop me, as usual. Excellent. And now we're very much in the lead. We already were, but now more so. There's nothing to do on this purple lane. Even the walker is already dead, so I'll go back here. Oh, we're killing the shrines, even. Um, I'll kill creeps instead. In the push up this lane, I can maybe join. Reload the gun with a punch. And I can also kill the walker soon-ish. Let's not anger the magma boy too much. Please hit, thanks. Now I have a full gun. That's very relevant for finishing this off quickly. I'm getting closer because I have close quarters. I don't know how much 50 meters is exactly. Oh, shoot, thanks. I should have punched it to reload my gun. Um, okay, let's just kill this garbage, I guess. Uh, someone is near me, but it's in furnace. Oh, there's also some dick at all. Holy shit, she just went up as I was charging her. Good timing, I guess, if intended. I think I should back off a bit. 
Oh yeah, I should just get out. Yamato and Vindicta, that's a lot of damage. I will not go back entirely, I will just go to the secret shop. That is not so secret. You see, I'm sliding. Major Jay, are you taking note? I'm sliding. You'll be the last, you'll be okay, nice, a lot of upgrades. Didn't have to sell anything because we got two flag slots out of pushing objectives. Oh, okay, maybe I can kill this guy. I, no, there is another teammate nearby, so it's not smart, probably. But I'm getting help. Oh, where's Vindicta? I don't see anyone. Well, wait. I guess she was too high up. I need to escape, I think. I, will, I can do this wave without dying. That's useful. This is getting pushed. Let's use movements a bit more. Just in time to kill those two creeps. Let's heal a bit with the boots and I don't have to go back base. Didn't do much healing, but it's something. I'll kill this wave. Yeah, there's an enemy on yellow anyway. And we're kind of pushing base, I guess, so it's nice to go here in case I want to help in the front. I'm not really doing camps here, that's a bit of a problem. I could have had a lot more sauce, probably. I am killing a lot of creeps at least, but... Okay, yeah, there we go. I don't have my ult, so I can't really stop that. It's fine, though. He's just AFK. He even stopped it earlier, I'm pretty sure. That's what it sounded like. Ooh, I think we have to get out and see all the enemies nearby. Go, go, go. Uh, any camps? There is a camp here. Farm, whatever. I'll take you all on. Okay, that was pretty fast. Proud of me. I'm doing camps. There is a jackpot machine over there. If I can find it, there's also an ally here. Okay, uh, can we do the optimal clear? Oops, no. Uh, maybe I, I need to see how to do that in this room. I think it's possible. Maybe I should help in the fight really close to me. Also, not killing the slot machine is nice there because it's closer to the enemy base. So then it doesn't respawn, I think. Maybe the entire can. I have ult. Why are my friends? Not the, what the fuck, man? Why did I go in here? It's just enemies. Where the fuck are my friends? Did they all die? I saw a lot of friends here, but I guess they all pulled back. So, map awareness as usual. And now maybe I can escape with dash. No. Man, every time I try to help, this happens. It also means I lost my souls that I got from the slot machine, so double feed. Sad. <laughs> we had a very big lead and I earned, but it's getting small. I think they're just better at Overwatch. Yeah, they have three more kills. And a walker died. I wish I just stayed in the jungle. Now they're actually ahead. I feel like I'm participating in all the fights, but it doesn't look that way with 2-2-3 two, two, stats. Looks like I'm being passive. And everyone disappeared again, apparently. stood on something that I shouldn't have stepped on. How the fuck do we kill Vindicta? She's just in the air, man. I guess if you have, a, have a, another ranged guy in your team, I think we can get rid of this pocket. He's trapped because I went from the back. What? Of course he fucking teleported. And now we probably can't catch him. Teleports against me is just GG, honestly. You've been sanctioned by the ONIC. 
No, we are ahead again. I guess we killed. Yeah, we killed some dicks. Okay. Kill the wave. I'll take all of you. Popcorn these creeps. What? They're already dead? Oh, they were just being weird. Um, guess whoever that is, Hayes, is getting fucked. Should we help? I think she escaped nicely. Maybe they didn't even see her. Maybe she was invisible. I know you can see it from a short distance, but I'll just go through the salt machines over here. Oh shit, this thing is already dead. That looks like intentional, like don't respawn stuff. Yeah, that was intentional. Someone half cleared the camp. At least I think it's intentional. Maybe they were just running away from death. Because someone got to there. And now we don't miss any creeps because of the popcorn book. Okay, we're pushing base, I guess. I'll help. But first clear this blue wave. Maybe I can kill Ivy. No, she's just running away bigly. Hello? Hit it. I'm not sure if I missed a creep. Half the team is dead, so it actually makes sense that we're going in. Yeah, At least kill a shrine. For the flex slot. Oh, creeps. Spawns right next to each other, that's nice. And now we kill a shrine. I think my boys are on the other side. Let's do it like this. Now we can kill creeps and kill a shrine at the same time. With the boot. Nice. I won't be want this shrine myself. Very skillful gameplay. Um... Most of their team is... Where is the patron? Here, okay. Most of the team is here. The enemy team, I mean. But at least two of them are still respawning. Now we have one less. Okay, that was not what I wanted. People dodging my stuff. It's never nice. I honestly think we should retreat. We got two shrines. Well, maybe kill the patron first. I don't think we can, though. I see all my boys staying inside. I guess I'll stay on the edge and kill some creeps and do some damage where I can. Maybe kill this Yomato, but probably get ulted. Oh no, not ulted. Why not? Was to pull down? I didn't check. I couldn't really check that. I was busy killing her. I really expected like to get ulted over there. Uh, so now the enemy team is dead again. And now we can probably just finish the game. Indicta being an asshole. I'm getting kind of low here. Uh, I think my boys are not here. Um, like I'm not sure if I should go in because they still have two guys. That's more than one. I'm not sure why my team is now outside of the base. Maybe that's why the other guys are dead. Okay, nice play by Envy, I guess. Let's suck some health and do some damage to this. I think I'll just try it. No, there's the team is respawning. My team is also here though. Okay, yeah. Uh, I should have just backed off. But maybe my team can finish it off. I did do half the damage to the patron. Uh, we can get some big shit. Kind of. I would be surprised if they finish this off in a 5v5 and these guys are already dead and now this guy is dead. I don't think they're gonna make it. They should retreat, but it's not like I did that. But we should have done that together. Now just half a team is dead and they're getting back in souls, yep. This always happens at my elo that we all go in and then we all die. I hope the other two guys, like, you know, he's escaping, but I hope he's not going in. <laughs> What is that icon? Is that Raid? Yes, of course, that's the only other person alive. Okay, they actually are going both in. 2v4, I guess. I don't know, I don't see enemies, so maybe it's fine. He's ziplining, I think. Let's go back to our own gameplay. I can't really fight Vindicto with my character, but I will at least deny the pushing, kill all the creeps. Annoying. She's 
missing all our shots. Me too. It was a waste of a zipline boost, but at, you know, we killed almost all of their lanes, base guardians, so don't really need to boost that much anyway. It's only yellow that we don't uh, have zipline boost. Well. Um, maybe I can help over No, there's an asshole here. Could try to hide. I guess he's trying to... Oh, he's the urn runner, I guess. Maybe we can at least kill him before he does that. Did he just not drop the urn yet, or...? Kill assist. Did they get the urn? I didn't see any notification about it. Yeah, it is... No, this... So... Yeah, she actually did not drop the urn. Is that because of my stun? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for making me not walk. Okay, that Envy must have felt very sad that she died on the spot there, but I don't know. Does the stun interrupt the urn stuff? I don't know. Because I feel like she was standing there for enough time already. I should go yellow probably, but maybe I can still be useful in this clusterfuck first. Mm, no, I'm just going yellow. You guys deal with that. I'm pretty sure it's over anyway. I see only one guy left. Mm -hmm. Nice. Impressive as always, Haze. Why is Haze always fucking rich? Like every game I'm in, whoever plays Haze is god gaming. I don't know, maybe Haze is supposed to farm or something. That's just what she does. Three spirit, amazing. And I guess there's a big cost of fuck gonna happen here. In front of her base. That could be GG. Okay, we can just kill the Pater now. The guys is not gonna do anything. On their own. Actually, two guys just respawned. The guys just died, so I'll just DPS. I'm not doing much damage. Oh. Why didn't I get seven? Okay. That was retarded. I mean, he was pretty high up, but still. Okay, nice. Seven died. They should be able to finish this off then. I actually died more than I killed this game. I'm kind of surprised about that. I know it doesn't really matter in this game. Hello, can I watch? Oh, yeah, of course you can't. It's the enemy XD. I think she's ulting, and that's why she's not dying. Maybe she's in base, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, she died. GG. I feel like I played uh, better than usual this game. I felt like I was actually using my brain, thinking about what is good to do. Of course, there were many mechanical errors and dumb things I did and missing a million things, but like I said, relatively. I think this was relatively good. Mm, yeah, I'm like above average compared to the other people as well. Holy shit, <laughs> top assist and no kills. Feels weird, man. I mean, that means she was being useful. But yeah, every fucking game I'm in, Haze, Stomp... What the fuck are these bot names? You see this shit? These are actual bot names. And they're both in my team. <laughs> the player damage. Man, Ivy almost did the same player damage as me. Why do I do so little player damage? This is not... It's always like that, you know? But my objective damage is amazing. That's also very common. That's basically the only thing I do well in these stats. I always have the most objective damage and the rest is garbage. Well, I guess the healing is also usually good, but 
who cares about that? That's not an accomplishment. Yep, yep, yep. Bleh. I think I should stop playing before I throw my life away. So thanks for watching. And see you soon. And soon probably means first day, probably. Maybe some morning or night stream before that. Because yeah, I am addicted, so. I might go in back in soon. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Bye.